Hello, is this working? Okay. It, it should work. If you can hear and see me, then please say, Trust no one. If I know that no one can be trusted, then I'll know this is working. Can anyone be trusted? <laughs> Okay, no one can be trusted. Okay. I wonder what else is happening. Maybe the drums of war are beating? Maybe I should build an army. <laughs> Maybe this is... Fire Emblem, hey! <laughs> well, good morning, and welcome to... This playthrough of... Fire Emblem, Rekka no Ken. Known in English as... Fire Emblem. And that's it. No game sound? I can hear the game sound. Can you not hear the game sound? Can other people really not hear the game sound? It's very low. What? I see it in my interface. Hang on. What? Let me fix this. Technical difficulties. What? No, it's sending it to my headphones. Hang on. Hang on. Great start, right? Ah. Uh. Oh, look, it's a warrior. The audio seal. Options. Sound. It says it's on. I can hear it. What? I didn't expect this. How could this happen on my official Nintendo PC? Give me a second. Maybe it has to do with my output settings. Game got hit with a silent staff? But if you... I just don't understand. Why can't you hear it? Because I can. Oh, this might be why. What if I do... I think I know why. I think I know why. What if I do this? Can you hear it now? You should be able to hear it now. Uh-oh. Alright, well, knowing that, that also means you shouldn't be able to hear this, right? If I do this, you can't hear it? Um, as in, as in this, I'm gonna play this effect, and you won't be able to see, hear this. You also can't see it, apparently. But you probably didn't hear a little unfortunate sound. Okay. No! No program can be trusted. Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. If I do this, you shouldn't be able to hear it. Didn't hear anything, right? No! <laughs> it's not a problem. I can fix it. It's just going to, uh, it's just going to take, like, approximately 55 seconds. Not even a minute. Welcome, everyone. Enjoy this cutscene as I fix this audio issue. Uh, anybody know how to make the sound not cut out when I don't select the window? So I currently have it that... On my official Nintendo PC, it's on? And then I have that it's... It doesn't pause when it's inactive. But why does it stop the music? Use a better emulator. Thank you for the suggestion. I, I don't actually know what that means. Well, give me one second. Unfortunately, this- Hey, look, it's Blade Lord! Three strength! <laughs> Alright, one second here. 
you can't press alt. I think this is Visual Boy Advance. Don't use Visual Boy Advance. MGBA can do it, VBA cannot. Well, let's change it now. Hey, it's a fighter! I wonder if there's any fighters we're gonna meet today. Hey, fighter has five strength. It's a mage with green hair. I'm sure she's good. Wow. Look at all these great green-haired units. Oh. <laughs> Corsair, what? Alright, this will take one moment. Okay, now we added an M. And if we do this... Should be back up soon. We're starting in the lab, okay? I know this is riveting content. I removed that graphic, unfortunately. Okay, now you should be able to see it soon. I'm gonna pull it up now. Okay, now it's on screen. You can see that we don't actually have racial tensions. I do this. Oh, look at that. Full screen, baby. Okay, but now it does that thing where it keeps changing size. How do I stop it from doing that? Turbo mode, that's definitely not it. So, is this a let's play through of FE7 getting ready for the tier list? That's a good question. Is there any way you could figure out the answer to that? Is there any way? I wonder. I wonder. Oh. Wait, what? Nothing's working. Nothing's working. Hello, and thank you for calling the Automated Imported Cheese Content Pipeline. Your inquiry is important to us. For questions about the content of this ongoing live stream, press A. Please hold while we connect you with a representative. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thank you for your patience. If you're hearing this message, that means you typed an inquiry in the chat. If you can write, then it's likely that you can also read. Might I direct you to the title of this live stream, which may answer your inquiry. If you require additional information, check out the enclosed description box. The description often contains helpful information I wrote just for you, the viewer. After all, I already know what's going to be happening. <laughs> Thank you, and we look forward to any future inquiries. Let's answer your question, and the music should be back now too. Okay, we're, we're almost done fighting the OBS settings. <laughs> We've gotten the music to work. The only thing we're worried about now is, yeah, whenever I mouse over, the frame size changes. How do I stop that from happening? As long as we can get that to happen, then it should be okay. And once we, we fix that, we'll be able to enjoy this great game. <laughs> Any, maybe it's in UI settings? That seems like that would be it. It says hide menu bar. What if I don't do that? I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. I'm so good at this. I fixed it. I fixed it. We won the war, guys! Oh, that was so easy. 
Okay, we're finally ready to start this game. Well, that's not true. We actually have to thank Swansea Ian for the five euro donation. Don't say I don't care about Europe when I can accept money from Europe and I know what their currencies are, okay? <laughs> thank you for the generous microtransaction that's not in the right area. Maybe the wars aren't quite over. Thank you for the generous... <laughs> microtransaction, there we go, now we've got it. Uh, I just watched the grand finale of SNK and oh boy was it PTSD inducing, I'm here so that she's can recover my brain damage. Oh, that must be, um... SNK is, uh... Attack on Titan, right? No sound? No sound for the graphic, right. I figured out how to fix that. I have to fix that as well. The OBS wars aren't quite over. But I can fix them. I can fix them. Don't worry, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I'm fixing it right now. It's a shaman! I wonder if it'll cast Frost Shock. It's a Pegasus Knight! I I'm click- like, you can't see it right now, but I'm clicking like 50 different boxes. A transporter? <laughs> what? What the hell is that? This crude contraption can be used to transport the remains of our fallen master. It's a Blade Lord! I wonder if it's got Mirror Image and Critical Strike. And Windwalk. It's a Cavalier. I wonder if it can get Animal War Training. I'm clicking like 50 different boxes. Okay, I think I fixed the audio. How many stars does OBS get? Unironically. Five stars. It's my fault. It's not OBS's fault, okay? <laughs> uh, OBS is actually really great. I can't believe it's free. So, this is not an ad, but OBS is really great. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at using it, but it's good. Wow, it's a fighter. <laughs> okay. Second favorite FU game, gotta head out, so thank- uh, good, uh, head out, so good luck. Thank you, the Boonsman, for two dollars. Thank you, Abby Burton, for the two euros, and getting us to rate, uh, OBS. And then, Dil Conley, two dollars donation. Over ten minutes, and no poison in any mutton? I'm sorry. Yeah, also OBS, uh, Open Broadcast Software, that's what it stands for, is free, so you can't really criticize it. <laughs> Not that you really have to, because it is unironically very good. Alright, I think we're almost ready to start. Gotta play microtransaction. Should be able to hear that now. When you get to Lin, you genuinely think she's a good unit? Well, the graphics sort of spoiled what I think of her, but... <laughs> I think she's horrible! <laughs> That's one star. But we'll talk about that more once we actually get, uh, get Lin on our party. Wow, it's the magic seal! I I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, when we get to the chapter that requires us to kill Kishuna to do the guide, and we're gonna save Scummit. <laughs> we are gonna save Scummit, and I don't wanna hear any complaints about that, but it's basically a lottery, so... We're just gonna save Scummit. <laughs> uh, to kill Kizuna. There's- Cause you pretty much have to crit him at some point. So, we're just gonna do it. <laughs> we'll do it for the content. I generally don't know how Lin got so popular when she's so atrocious. It's probably because if you play on normal mode, like, she's fine. Okay. There is one last thing I need to do for prep. It's very minor. It's just that I have to get a stat window that actually fits on screen. So, not a... I'm not gonna take too long. I'm just gonna pull up uh, FE Wiki, FE7 characters. And as soon as we can get that to fit onto the screen, then we should actually be ready to start. So let's see, let's get that tier list window, stat window, that's probably what I want. Let's see. 
Don't use the fandom wiki? Oh, no, don't worry. It's not the fi fandom wiki. It's the uh, org.org .org wiki. I do this. Should be able to see it. But it's not quite centered. So let's do that. Look, look at Dorcas! Is it alt or control uh, OBS? It's alt. It's alt! Man, gotta rate OBS. Five stars! Good software. And let's... Uh, Lynn is obviously the first character we're gonna be talking about, so let's just make sure that we can see Lynn's stats, because that's... We, all we care about are our stats. Perfect. This looks good, right? Oh, yeah. Fire Emblem players only care about one thing, and it's disgusting! Did I try Dorcas Emblem? I did not. I've seen it, but I haven't actually tried it. Okay, here we go. Let's just move her a little bit this way. There we go. That's nice, right? I think that looks good. Wow, four strength! <laughs> With the depots! Oh no! Oh no. Well, we're gonna talk more about this soon. Don't worry, okay. For now, let's close the stat window. Okay. I think we are ready. Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, and thanks to Corpse Commander Cody for the $4.99 donation. Uh, gotta play the microtransaction. Thank you for the... Generous... Mm. Microtransaction. Good luck in your run. Reward Marcus with all your stat boosters. Unfortunately, we're gonna try not to use Marcus. Uh, cause we're gonna try and use the bad units, so... Good news for Marcus, that means he's disqualified. Because he is, in fact, a good unit. Uh, so, uh, just to run through exactly our plan for this run, uh, we are going to do Lin Hard Mode, then we're going to do Hector Hard Mode, and then we're going to try and use as many one-star units as possible, but it's not like a hard and fast rule. We're mostly cared about getting through at, like, a reasonable pace, so if we have to, we're going to use, you know, s some actually good units when it's convenient for us to do so. But we're going- oh my god, zero skill. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to try, for the most part, to focus on the bad units, and, I mean, we know who the bad units are. Urk? No, I, Urk's not bad. Urk's not bad. And just for you guys, um, I'm gonna, uh, just, like, these are gonna, they're not, it's not, like, quite a tier list. We're probably, at the end, going to organize everything in a tier list, but... I think just because it's more convenient for viewers watching along, we are going to do star ratings. Uh, before I explain the star ratings, I have to play another graphic. Yet another mm. microtransaction. Five dollars from silver, do what I do, hoard stat boost until you need them and then the game's over. Exactly. So here are the star ratings. It does go one to five, so... <laughs> one star units. <laughs> Uh, our units that would be in Elib's finest if this was a tier list. Complete garbage. <laughs> Pretty much no redeeming factors. Two star units. Uh-oh, you can see one of them on screen. <laughs> Two star units, uh, not completely irredeemable, but they have some sort of serious weaknesses that prevent them from, I think, even being called average. And yes, I do include Hector in that group. Three stars. As the kids these days would say, they're medium. They're okay. <laughs> they're just not exactly standout units. I wonder who will be in the three star units. <laughs> what is this? We have a, um, I think I missed a question. Is this English FE1? Well, that's def it's definitely not. Uh, is this gonna be Hector hard, hard Mode or Smelly Wood? I wonder if there is a way you could figure out the answer to that. I was very particular because the answer was not available to you until just before the stream started, but then I edited the description. The description does actually tell you the answer, which is why I'm going to tell the answer I'm going to tell the answer you, to you here again.
Hello, and thank you for calling the Automated Imported Cheese Content Pipeline. Your inquiry is important to us. For questions about the content of this ongoing live stream, press A. Please hold while we connect you with a representative. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thank you for your patience. If you're hearing this message, that means you typed an inquiry in the chat. If you can write, then it's likely that you can also read. Might I direct you to the title of this live stream, which may answer your inquiry. If you require additional information, check out the enclosed description box. The description often contains helpful information I wrote just for you, the viewer. After all, I already know what's going to be happening. <laughs> Thank you, and we look forward to any future inquiries. Is that your question? Hey, I was talking about three-star units. So next we have four-star units. So four-star units are just really solid. Not quite the best in the game, but ones that you should probably be using because you don't have enough five-star units to fill out your entire army. And five-star units. Wonder who will go there. So five-star units have very few weaknesses to the point where they should just be like auto-deployed. I wonder who could possibly be a five-star unit in this game. Uh, we're probably at the end not going to do a like separate tier list stream. So you actually have to watch these streams to catch the analyses live. I don't think we're going to be really ordering the units within the tiers. But the best character in the game is Marcus, we know that. And the worst is probably Nino, unfortunately. Although if you swapped Nino and Urk's join times, or I guess just removed Urk and replaced him with Nino, I'd probably give Nino four stars. It was pretty good. Unfortunately, she joins you at the end of the game at level five, so... <laughs> One star. <laughs> it's terrible. Here's your Nino review. All right. Okay. Nino Kuni. I think we are, the war is called the Scouring. Defeated and humbled. Dragons vanished from the realm. No! In time, man rebuilt and spread his... Man-spreaded? Literally man-spreading. Dominion across the land and... Onto the islands beyond. I'm guessing the scroll was a little better in Japanese, because you can write more in less space. A millennium has passed since those dark days ended. Fire Emblem. Alright, so welcome to this playthrough of Fire Emblem, Rekka no Ken. Fire Emblem, the Blazing Blade, known in English as Fire Emblem. And that's it. There is no subtitle, because this was actually the first Fire Emblem game released in the West, and you can really tell because the localization sucks. <laughs> There's a ton of mistakes. <laughs> we'll be talking about those. I think we're actually going to record the premium intro at the very end. So we'll go ahead and do that after we finish the game. Kinda crazy. Which means we can actually just play the game now. Could you imagine spending 26 minutes fighting the technology and then finally playing the game? Where's Roy? That's a question. Where's Roy? Don't worry, I have an answer for you. Where's Roy? He's right here! It's Roy! <laughs> uh, unironically, they tricked me when this game came out. I saw the cover, I'm like, oh, it's Roy from Fire Emblem! And then I bought the game, and it's not Roy. <laughs> they actually got me. But yeah, there's tons- when I say, like, the localization is terrible, not only do I mean that there's tons of mistakes, probably the most awful 
we're gonna actually talk about it when we talk about Lynn, but don't worry. Some of you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the localization is really bad. They got Roy's name wrong. <laughs> it's our queen. All right, let's start the game. Main character, Lynn. Weapon, sword. Uh oh, that's not good. No data. Prologue. Oh my god, we gotta change the text speed. Enter information. So here, if I enter information, does that mean I get to change it? Or does it proceed as now? I think yes means I get to change it. Okay, good. I'm sorry, I lied to you guys. Also, look at the top. Name entry, name entry, name entry, name entry, name entry. Great localization, right? <laughs> No, no, no. I know, I know what, what, um, what name we're gonna go, we're gonna put here. Did you guys think that this was a playthrough of a Fire Emblem Seven, The Blazing Blade? I've got good news for you. I'm sorry to have lied to you guys, but I think you'll be happy. This is actually a super secret world first stream of. Fire Emblem Four Echoes, Legacy of the Crusaders. I'm glad you could be here for it. I'm so excited. I can't believe Sacred's in this game. He's got the light affinity. Are these the settings you want to use? Yes. And we'll set text speed to fast as soon as we can. Prologue, A Girl from the Plains. We really have to change the text speed. Are you awake? <laughs> There's better places to take a nap than the plains, you know. Are you ready? I found you unconscious on the plains. If you're wondering why Lynn is so popular, this is why. Because this is the first Fire Emblem game that many Western fans played, and this was the first thing you saw. I am Lin, of the Lorca tribe. You're safe now. Wow. Ah, Vanilla Physics, welcome to the YTC Institute. I really like the music here. Who are you? Can you remember your name? Your name is... Sigurd, my favorite character! What an odd sounding name. I'm from a different continent. But pay me no mind. It is a good name. I see by your attire that you are a traveler. Okay, if I press A, does it finish the text? It does. Uh, what brings you to the Sake Plains? Would you share your story with me? Hmm? Alright, I took out the hmm graphic, but I guess I could have played it here. I guess I actually can still play it. Just this once, okay? Because I, I do still have it on the computer. <laughs> I'm only gonna play it once. I gotta find the Detective Pikachu folder. Oh, I'm glad that thing's over. Hmm. 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 What was that noise? She's facing us. I'll go see what's happening. Sigurd, wait here for me. She doesn't know who we are. If she knew who Sigurd was, she would definitely let us do the fighting. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Oh no! Bandits! They must have come down from the Burn Mountain! They must be planning on raiding the local villages! I... I have to stop them! 
If that's all of them, I think I can handle it on my own. You'll be safe in here, Sigurd. What? You wanna help? Well, can you use a weapon? Ah, I see. So you're a strategist by trade. An odd profession, but... I thought that was a weird line. What do you mean an odd profession? <laughs> it's a real job. You're a YouTuber by trade, an odd profession. <laughs> Very well. We'll go together! Farewell, Danny Doyle. Hope to see you back here later. Thanks for joining us. Over here! If you want to help, Sigurd. I could use your advice. I'll protect you, so stay close to me. We get the music. Objective, seize gate. Alright, the very first thing you have to do is... Oh my god, this tech speed. <laughs> okay, Max. There we go. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Thanks for surviving. And thank you to Silver for the... Gracious gift of convenience. Now ten more of you can call upon Lynn. She can stare right at you. Up the game speed as well? Uh, maybe. We'll see after we, like, take an action. Why does this look so pale? You can't say that about Lynn. Alright. Well, look who it is! It's our very first unit. Uh, probably the very first unit that many Western Fire Emblem fans ever used. Lynn! So she's gotta be great, right? How do we get the... The game colors look washed out? How do we make the game colors not washed out? R button? I gotta see what the R button actually does. Oh, R button is not the colors. Disable the filter ability? Hang on. I guess we're not done fighting. Bilinear filter. Well, now it's hashtag no filter. Did it change anything? I don't think it did. Now it's hashtag with a filter. Still washed out and now, uh oh. The sharpness is fixed. Uh, tools, palette viewer, view layers. This is MVBA. This is the filter off. So filter off equals very pixelated. So we want to put the filter. Hashtag with filter. And I do have to uh, address this very generous. I say address as if it's a problem. <laughs> uh, we do have a very generous 20 euro it's orange, which means we do get to pr play. We need more gold! Macro transaction. Uh, Dr. Dark 100 with 20 euro donation. Hi, Achieves. Unfortunately, I won't be participating in the stream today. EU times. Can I get a crux of fate? Alright, well. You asked nicely, so you can. People complaining about the washed out graphics? What am I supposed to do, okay? What am I supposed to do? Well, I know what I can do. I can either fix it. Or I can stop the complaints. This will stop the complaints. I tap three Patriots. I guess the planes are in trouble. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lava level now. And I cast Crux of Fate. Choose one. Destroy all viewers. Or destroy all YouTubers. Make your choice. I've made mine. I hope you're able to see that. 
destroy all filters. Oh, Sig- Oh, we are Sigurd. We are- We are weak to the fire. We'll spend a little bit of time trying to get the colors to work. Otherwise, I'll try and change it for next time. I don't think it's that bad. So I'm looking at this Game Boy Advance. What's an LCD filter? Maybe that's it. What if I turn that off? Oh, there we go. I fixed it. How's this? It's really bright. Way better. You liked it better with the filter on? Well, which is it? Which is it? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Ah, oh, there's no way to win. That's not true. There is a way to win. But it'll cost us. Well, it won't cost me. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Ready to work. I sacrifice five Patreons, and I play Wrath of Arceus. Destroy all video games, wherever they are. Destroy mobile games twice. This game actually doesn't get destroyed by the mobile games clause, because it's not a mobile game, it's a handheld game. Okay, I guess I'll start a poll. Do we want the filter on or off? Because I think this is too bright. But we will do a- we will do a poll. I'll try to make it clear what the option actually is. So, I guess I'll just say, like, saturated or washed out, instead of, like, filter on or off. Or bright, bright, or washed out. Bright. Stimulating. Washed out. Calming. There we go. How do I remove an option? Okay, I, ac I accidentally rem- Okay, there we go. Should be able to see it now. Okay. In the meantime, let's talk about Lin. Alright, uh, and then how do I actually get her stats to show up? That didn't get her stats to there, okay. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Nothing's working, man. We'll, we'll take a turn in this strategy RPG someday, okay? It's Lynn from the, <laughs> the Blazing Plane. <laughs> no! <laughs> Well, hopefully once we get to the, uh, the second portion, the second segment, we'll have all of this, uh, ironed out. Lin... Okay, okay. We've almost fixed it. There we go. Lynn's traveling the whole planes. Okay. I think we fixed it. Does Lynn get an exclusive uh, weapon early on? She does! Doesn't save her though. <laughs> I 
know, it's like overlapping with me a little bit. I think we've got it now, right? Cheese, please, there are other settings? What does that mean? To S or D? So now what do I want to do? The OBS wars never end. You can increase resolution but keep no filter. Filter settings between washed out and eye burning. Find and disable the bilinear filter. I thought this was a medieval strategy game. Why in this game about a girl on the plains am I getting instructions to find and disable the bilinear filter? I found it. And now I'm going to disable it. Now it looks like this. How's this? Is it, okay, is this good? Okay. Are people happy now? Are people happy now? Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Finally. <laughs> I just want to see some gameplay. Okay. Well, we are going to review Lin before the actual gameplay. Finally. All right. If I do this, it should pull up the stats. Yes, perfect. So I just have to figure out how to get Lin stats up. So give me one second here. Is it UI settings? It's not that. Is it input? Yes, it's this. I want this to be... Okay, now this should work. If I do this, I should see Lin stats. I did it! I did it! Okay. Finally! I want to see Roy. Well, he's in this game. Actually, uh, unironically, I'm not kidding when I say that Roy is in this game. That is true. Okay, finally. It only took us 44 minutes. We still can't take our first action, but we can actually talk about Lin. All right. <clears throat> well, look at this. We've got our first unit, Lin. Uh, for many Western Fire Emblem fans, at least the real ones. I'm not talking about those... All right, we've got our first unit. It's Lin. Uh, for many Fire Emblem fans, uh, Western Fire Emblem fans, right? We've got our first unit. It's Lindis. For many Western Fire Emblem fans, Lin is probably the first unit they ever use. And when I say Western Fire Emblem fans, I of course mean real Fire Emblem fans, not the scum who started with Awakening. If you can call that a Fire Emblem game. Ugh! Speaking of, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's Lin, oh no. So if you've only played Lin uh, in the more recent games, you might actually think that Lin is good because in pretty much every game except this one, yeah, she is. Uh, she's arguably one of the best emblems in Engage. Uh, she's well, an assist trophy in Smash. I don't know if she's any good in Warriors. I've never played that game, but I'm betting she's better than she is in this game. <laughs> I I don't know why Lin is so popular. It's uh, it's a mystery. In defense of Lin's gameplay within Fire Emblem Seven, if you play Elliewood Normal Mode, which I think is where most people actually did stop, Lin is actually fine, right? But that's because pretty much every unit is fine. Unfortunately, 
in the context of Hector Hard Mode, which is the hardest difficulty in the game, Lin is not good, to put it lightly. It's not so much... Actually, I, I was gonna say that it's not Lin's fault, but it kind of is Lin's fault. <laughs> Biggest problem with Lin, it's hard to narrow it down to just one, so maybe I shouldn't have phrased it that way, but if I had to choose one issue, it would probably be her weapon type. She is sword locked in her first... She is sword locked in a game where sword lock is a death sentence. <laughs> ah, the Fire Emblem 7 meta. So what makes Fire Emblem 7 units good? It's actually very different than Fire Emblem 6 units. So in Fire Emblem 7, you want to be mobile, you want to have 1-2 range. Wait, what else? Is that it? So what makes unit- what actually makes units good in the context of Fire Emblem 7? You have to be mobile, and you need 1-2 range. And you also want the durability to not suffer from success on enemy phase, and be able to counterattack and kill, like, 10-15 units. Lin can't do any of that. <laughs> she's not mobile because she's an infantry unit. She doesn't have 1-2 range because she's sword locked. And durable is not how I would describe Lin. She is actually one of the most frail units in the game. She is paper thin. Now, you might be saying that, okay, well, she can't take hits, but that's because she dodges hits, and that is sort of true. Lin does have one good thing about her, and that is her speed. She is lightning fast. She is super duper fast. Look at that, nine base speed. And we can actually pull up her growths here. Look at this. 9 base speed, and a 60 speed growth, so I think she's the second fastest character in the game. The only one who's faster is Guy. I think Guy has a higher base and 10% higher growth. But second place is not bad. Unfortunately, being lightning fast in this game doesn't really mean anything, because if there's one word to describe FE7 enemies, it is... Slow. Enemies in this game are very slow. <laughs> Usually enemies get faster as the game goes on. But enemies in FE7 have, like, three constitution? I think that's an exaggeration, but they have terrible constitution, and they all have steel weapons in the middle of the game. So they- some of them get down to actually zero attack speed. It's pretty pathetic. So having super, super fast speed doesn't actually mean that much. And this game is chock full of lances. Every enemy has a pointy stick, and when you rely on being a dodge tank, Having that 15% avoidance penalty is a really big deal. When you have weapon triangle disadvantage, you also lose one damage. When you have four <laughs> base strength and a 40% growth, that's a big problem. What else to say about Lin? Just get lucky level ups, thanks for the advice. Uh. Lin does actually have a really high growth total, one of the highest in the game, but unfortunately, it's not quite enough <laughs> when you have four base strength. Other things that really hurt Lin are that, although... One strange thing... One strange, like, sub-theme of... Mixed-race characters in Fire Emblem is that they tend to get really sick crits. <laughs> so, Stefan from Fire Emblem 9, he's mixed-race, he gets sick crits. 
Yunaka herself is not mixed race, but her voice actress in Japanese, Ai Fai Ruse, she's Egyptian and Japanese, just like me, and Yunaka has a critical bonus on Avoid Terrain. Most obvious parallel to Lin is from Fire Emblem 6, Rutger. He's mixed race. He has got insane crits. I don't know if they're sick, they're like terminally ill. And Lynn, she's mixed race, she's from Sake, and she's also Italian because she gets her special weapon, the Manicotti. And the Manicotti gives her some crits. She's also part Italian because she's got noodle arms. She does no damage, even with the Manicotti, because unfortunately, they made this game easy-peasy for Westerners, and they nerfed weapon effectiveness. Usually, weapon effectiveness means that your weapon deals triple its might to enemies, and it does that in the Japanese version. But in the English version, unfortunately, they nerfed weapon effectiveness to two. The reason why I think they did this is because if you're a total noob, weapon effectiveness being two is good because when you walk your armor knight, which you're definitely using because you don't know how to play, into a hammer and only deals two effective damage, you're okay. But when you actually know what you're doing, weapon effectiveness only ever triggers against enemies, so it's a nerf for you. I guess I can end the poll, right? Speaking of weapon effectiveness, some of you have a problem in tearing your hair out when I described Lin as sword locked. Because she's not. She actually has 1 2 range, because when she promotes to Blade Lord, she gets bows. So, she, yes. So, yes. Lin can attack at 1 or 2 range. That's what you meant by 1 2 range, right? Oh no! <laughs> Lin's promotion is, stat-wise, very good. You can see the promotion gains here. Plus three strength, excellent. Oh, plus five res, now we're cooking. <laughs> and you get bows. Bows are worthless in this game. They were actually kind of okay in FE6 because you had a bunch of accuracy issues, and bows were okay because they were decently accurate, and you did have triple effectiveness, and the main villains of the game, Burn, specialized in Wyvern Riders, so you at least had things to shoot. In this game, where counterattacking is super important, swords and bows, please no. Oh. Anything else to say about Lin? We would also be remiss not to mention that because she is one of the main characters, her promotion, as lame as it is, is story-gated, which is a downside. You can't actually get it until you get a Heaven Seal, which is a fair ways into the story. Now, although she is a... Now, because she, just because you're a main character, you'd think that you would actually get something cool, right? Like some sort of awesome final weapon on the mi... Like some sort of awesome, unique weapon on the final map? Well, you do get a final weapon. I typed Soul Katie. So I'm trying to... More OBS battles here. The Soul Cotty. <laughs> PRF. Only Lin can use it. 12 Might. 
14 weights. <laughs> what? Oh. It is heavier than a silver axe with less might. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Other... You can't quite see it. It's at the edge case here. Other effects and notes. Plus five. Plus five. It's gotta be like plus five strength, right? Plus five. Lamau. Yeah, the Soul Kadi is complete garbage. Oh. Yeah, the Soul Kadi is complete garbage. And by the way, it's 14 weight and Lin promoted has six con. <laughs> so you lose eight speed. <laughs> Where's Moolah gear, by the way? Do you mention the four fang uh, offense guidance requirement? No, we haven't. One of the only upsides to raising Lin is that if you raise her and the other lords, all of whom are terrible, by the way, yes, including Hector. You do get to go to the better version of Four Fanged Offense, where you get the way better unit, Geats. So there's your reward. Oh. Geats is good, but he's not that good. With all that being said, how would I describe Lin? Well, she's really fast, so she attacks twice. And then what? <laughs> one star. But hey, at least you get her on turn one of chapter one, in Lin mode. Which everyone loves, right? I would probably give her two stars if the... I would probably just barely give her two stars if Manikati had 3x effectiveness. With 1x effectiveness? Uh, no. One star. <laughs> Terrible. Anything else to say about Lynn? She's better than Will, Rebecca, and you know, I agree. They're all one star, though. <laughs> is there a secret zero stars tier? Uh, if there is, it's actually a secret to me, because I didn't make one. I would describe her as carried by the Manicotti. Yeah. There we go. Uh, not one to the right. Okay. Japanese version of FE7 has triple effectiveness. I did say that, right? What about availability, though? I also, I should be clear. I, I should be clear that, although we are playing Lin mode, I am ranking everyone based on Hector hard mode. And Lin's availability in Hector hard mode isn't actually perfect. Alright. I couldn't do it, guys. It's 801. 
It's definitely a cheese stream, right? One hour and one minute to make our first action. <laughs> and it's wait. Let's close in an attack. It's time for gameplay and no rankings. We ranked one unit, one hour to rank one unit and also to defeat OBS. Why does this have 46 uses? All right, let's look at the combat forecast. Uh, we should let him attack us, right? Dodge tank. Two stars. <laughs> and now if we attack him here, we don't get a counterattack because he dies. Look at this, I'm a tactician by trade. A strange profession. Rank D, five strength. <laughs> he has one more strength than Lin. <laughs> Why is he so weak? All right, let's see. Seven. How's this work? Wow, we do five times two. Uh, we actually can't attack him here because if he hits us both times, we actually die. So we have to wait here. All right. Do you think we can beat Bot of the Beast? Do you think we can beat Bot of the Beast? Who do you think you are? Get ready. You think you can stand up to Bot of the Beast? <laughs> Dodge tank! We don't even two round him. He survives on one. <laughs> what a beast! <laughs> so we should actually wait here. Because if we attack him, we have a chance of dying. Look at that, he raises his arms in triumph, here he comes! Oh, dodge tank! Alright, well there actually is still a chance that we lose here, right? Because we could actually miss both of our attacks and he could hit us twice, but like, come on. Sorry, man. What? Beast bested. Alright, what do we get? Strength? Whoa! <laughs> Good level! D did I say one star? <laughs> did I say one star? She's at full health at the end of the map? Gain strength? Gain speed? I don't know, maybe, maybe she's a good unit. <laughs> Two stars? Two stars? Beast slay. Good work, Sigurd! <laughs> yes! Let's go home. <laughs> Good morning, Sigurd! Are you awake yet? That fight yesterday must have taken a lot out of you. It was all you, Lin. Say, Sigurd, I want to talk to you about something. You have some experience in the ways of war, I can see. Yeah, I was the main character of another game. <laughs> Would you allow me to travel with you? You can get on my horse. What? You want me to get permission from my parents? Uh-oh. <laughs> Great writing, by the way. I wonder what happened to her parents. My mother and my father died six months ago. My people. The Lorca! They don't. They're the last of my tribe. Bandits attacked and they killed so many people, even though we all had weapon triangle advantage. The tribe was scattered. My father was our chieftain, and I wanted to protect our people. Oh, I can't scroll up. I'm sorry. Uh, old-fashioned. They wouldn't follow a woman. No one would follow me. Let's see. 
I mean, that counts, right? I think it actually does. Did I get rid of it? No, I didn't. Looks can be deceiving, and words are but air. But the nose knows. <laughs> Smells like deceit. Odor sloop. Sniff. I'm sorry, I've been alone for so long. Don't worry, Lynn Sigurd's here. No, no more. I will shed no more tears. Oh, we have a graphic just for that, right? Stalwart silence. Thank you, I'm better now. <laughs> okay. Sigurd, I want I want to I must become stronger so that I may avenge my father's death. We well, do have five strength now. Yesterday's battle taught me something. I won't become stronger by sitting here alone. True! Sigurd! Tell me you'll train me, that you'll let me travel with you. Yeah. You will? That's wonderful. Thank you, oh thank you. We'll be better off working together, I know it. You'll be my master strategist, and I'll be your peerless warrior. Keep that word in mind, peerless. It's gonna show up again later. We can do it, right? By the way, if you've only ever played Modern Fire Emblem, check out how we actually get to the next chapter in a GBA game. Are you ready? I hope you guys have a lot of time, because it's gonna take a while. Hey, it started. That was easy. The apprentice tactician Sigurd and the young sword fighter Lin. Excuse me, she's not a sword fighter, okay? She's a lord. A strange pair on an even stranger journey. I'm not sure what's strange about our journey yet. To prepare for the long road ahead. They go to Bolgar, the commercial center of Sake. I think Bolgar is a type of wheat, right? Unbeknownst to Lin, oh, she will discover something that will alter her life forever. Chapter 1, Footsteps of Fate. Oh no, not Fates, please. Sigurd, over here! This is Bulgar, the biggest city in all of Sakai. We should purchase supplies for our journey. Oh, my heart! <laughs> what a dazzling vision of loveliness! Oh, that's not Lin. Who could it be? Oh! Okay, maybe I actually do need this graphic, right? Oh, beauteous one, would you not favor me with your name? Or better yet, your company? <laughs> Where are you from, Sir Knight, that you speak so freely to a stranger? Ha! I thought you'd never ask. I'm from Lys Lycia? Maybe it's Lycia. Lycia, I actually don't know. Lycia. I think it's Lycia. I hail from the Kalen Canton, home to men of passion and fi fire type. Shouldn't that be home to callow oafs with loose tongues? Destroyed. Are we sure that Lin doesn't do any damage? Oh, you're even lovely when you're cruel, cruelette. Let's go, Sigurd. I've nothing more to say. Destroyed. Wait, please. Oh, that's five base strength or four base strength with plus one. Sane, hold your tongue. A firearm has a lot of good tongue units. Is it? Was it um? Is it Lucas? It's one of the Echoes lines. I think it was Lucas talking to one of the evil nobles. And like the evil noble says, I'll rip out that tongue of yours. And then Lucas says, then you'll finally have the truth in your grasp. Cool line. Anyway, saying, hold your tongue. 
Ah, oh, Kent, my boon companion. <laughs> Why so severe an expression? <laughs> if your manner were more serious, I wouldn't even ha I wouldn't have to be so severe. We still have a mission to complete, Sane. I know that. But how could I remain silent in the presence of such beauty? It would have been discourteous. What do you know of courtesy? <laughs> I guess I need this graphic too. Well, excuse me, princess. You're excused. Excuse me! <laughs> You're blocking the road. If you'd be so kind as to move your horses? Oh! I think these might be good units. Of course. My apologies. Oh! $9.99! We need A macro gold. transaction for Prometheus. Sigurd, can it be? Is the real Effie 4 we make? Yeah! That's why we named him Sigurd. Thank you. You at least seem honorable enough. Can't believe I've even considered removing this graphic. Hmm. 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 Pardon me, but I feel like we've met before. I beg your pardon? Hey, no fair, Kent! I saw her first! <laughs> Seems there are no decent men among <laughs> Lickius Knights. Let's go, Sigurd. I've run out of patience. She waited patiently, but only for 24 turns. Wait, please, it's not like that. Stalwart silence. Sane, you lout! <laughs> huh? Not like that. I thought you were... I'm not you! It's true. Come, we must follow her. I suspect she might be... Be what? She's our mission? You're joking! Wait. Run! We're being pursued! Good thing we have 10 speed. Could it be those knights from town? No, it's not them. These men are out for blood! Stalwart silence. <laughs> Aren't you a pretty one? Your name is Lindis, is it not? What did you call me? Who are you? Such a waste. An absolute waste. Yeah, things I'll do for gold. Oh well. Time to die, darling. Come on out, boys. It's the boys. They all have axes. Oh no. There are more than I can handle. One star unit. But I'll not give up. Hey, there she is. Huh? What? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> wow, look, the boys are also in the chat. We've got Joseph Neal, member for two months. T Dog Mass, member for seven months. And Depressed Micaiah ASMR, member for six months. Thank you for the support. Wow, good units. Whew, finally caught up. It's not as if we're on horses. Hold, you there. What is your business? Such numbers against a girl. Cowards! Every one of you! You! You're from... We can discuss that later. It appears these ruffians mean to do you harm. Yes. It's a, If it's a fight they want, let them look to me. Stand back, I'll take care of this. No, this is my fight, stay out of my way. Even though I just said I can't take them all by myself. Well, I can't just stand here and do nothing. I have a solution. You there, command us. But they can't actually draw a front-facing portrait for Kane. But he's talking to us. I'm Kent, a knight of... Maybe it's Lycia. My companion is sane. We will follow your orders in this battle. Is this acceptable, milady? Yes, it is. Sigurd and I will lead. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Lynn. 
All right, well, good news for Lin. She immediately gets back up from two very good units. Let's talk about Kent and Sane. GBA Cavaliers, so probably already know how kind I'm going to be to them. So here's Sane. And here's Kent. Hi, I'm Sane. And I'm Kent, and welcome to I, Cavalier. Does that work? It's just... I, I'm not sure. GBA Cavaliers, so they really can't be that bad. Look at Sane's bases. Pretty good bases. Eight strength, literally double <laughs> Lin's base strength. Four skill is kind of suspicious, but hey, you can use swords and lances. Speed six, probably going to be good enough considering his growth. Res zero, so I guess he's a bad unit. Here's Kent. He has two fewer points of base strength, but one better point of base speed. And he has one res. Wow. Earlier in town, they said that they're not the same, but let's be real. They basically are. <laughs> let's take a look at their growth rates. I've almost got it. Boop. For Satan's Gross, we've got 60% uh, strength, really good. 40% speed, pretty good. Oh no, 20% defense. And for Kent, we've got 40% strength and 45% speed. So. He loses 20% strength for only 5% more speed. I guess some of his other growths are higher, but they don't really matter. Kent here has the Anima Affinity, and Sane has the Wind Affinity, so Kent's is way better, but supports are kind of difficult to build in GBA Fire Emblem, so I'm not sure how much credit I can actually give to supports, but in terms of supports, I guess Kent is better. Realistically, you're probably going to be supporting them with each other, since they do share movement, uh, since they do share cavalry movement, which means they are able to be next to each other quite often. Between the two... Between the two... Between the two... Between the two, Sane is definitely slightly better. It might even be more than slightly, because he has a significant strength lead at base. And he has a 20% strength growth, so he's going to end up way stronger. And their speed is basically the same. If I were to describe them both very briefly, I would say that... I would say that... Both can probably reach doubling thresholds. But Kent might struggle to actually one round, since he has less strength. And can potentially get strength screwed more easily than Sane can. But the real answer for which one is better is whichever one gets the better level ups. They are GBA Cavaliers, so that means they can use both swords and lances at base. And then they both promote into the Giga Busted FE7 Paladin. They get all three weapon types. Why? At least they nerfed that in FE8. And that means that Paladins are bad in FE8, right? Another point in favor of Kent and Sane is that they're very unique in that because they are available in Lin mode and they are Nightcrest promotions, 
you can jack Wallace's Nightcrest and actually promote them into Super Marcus. Uh, if you do that, then I guess they actually count as the best unit in the game, but everybody hates Lin Mode, so I guess that doesn't actually count. I should say... Probably my biggest criticism of Sane and Kent, it's really only... Probably my, my biggest criticism of Sane and Kent, it really only applies to Kent. Uh, it's that Kent is really, really boring. He might actually be the most boring character in Fire Emblem. Sane is kind of generic. Oh, cute girls, I love them, but that's more interesting than, hey, stop talking about cute girls. Ugh. I think that Sane is overall more likely to be good, but I think I can pretty confidently give both of them four stars. Good units. Anything else to say about them? We could maybe even give them five stars. That's unfair, there's uh, playable characters in Thresh who literally have only death quotes and nothing else. You said some stuff about them? Is it anything that would change the outcome? Lowen is better. Five stars. Do they keep four stars if you skip Lin mode? I mean, we are... We're not actually considering Lin mode. So I think I would give them four stars. One star. Well, that's not true. She's already on a Hector mode. Three stars. Why would I give them three stars? <laughs> I'm already penalizing them by giving them four stars. So, we're not actually... These units are too good to use, so we're going to try not to use them. But this isn't like a strict challenge run, so it's not like we cannot use them. We'll just try not to. What happened to Dorcas? We're gonna find out soon. So, I don't think we won round this guy. No, we do not. Wow, he has no hit rate on us. If we weaken him with Sane, then I think Link can kill him. So we will do that. He doesn't even have a sword. Wow, he actually has a chance to get hit. And then, we can weaken him with Kent here. Not a dodge tank! Bad unit! Kent has been hit and Lin hasn't. And yet we gave Lin one star and we gave Kent four stars. What kind of sense does that make? This is hard mode, yes. Is there a way you could figure that out? Check the title of the video. What does it say in the title of the video? And when you know the answer, come back and tell me. Okay, Lin can reach here. Doesn't kill. Sort dodge here. So then he goes to 12. And then Lin can kill, right? Okay, let's do that. Dodge it, Will. Or Kent, come on. Easy. If you skip Lin mode, Sane is three star seal, he gets doubled his joint up by some enemies. Really? I don't think he's that bad. No, my dodge tank! So you can see that Lin literally gets two shot. I don't know if Lin's a good unit, guys. She might be one star. Alright, we actually cannot risk dying here, so... It's time. Gotta heal those wounds.
refreshed. <laughs> Maybe we'll change that to an elixir later. Oh, uh, this is fine, I think. We can even let Sane take a hit, potentially. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, they're, they're going after- ooh, five- Oh, uh, five damage! Oh, no. Sane! Sane! Skill issues! What even is a vulnerability? I think it's an ointment. We do this, and then- I'm not even gonna check, I'm sure Lin can kill him. We're taking heavy damage here. Get him, Lin. Weapon triangle advantage. Dodge tank. Got him. Oh, here we go, here we go. The hell was that? One star! That's the real Lin experience. Plus one skill, what? At least we got a good level up last time. I think they'll attack us on that forest tile, right? Yeah. Bandits are dumb. Come on! 16 hit. No crits yet. Yeah, at least we got HP. With Lin, that's actually a question, because our HP growth is not that good. Alright, we can maneuver over here to get closer to the enemy. We just have to make sure we don't get one-shot by the boss. I'm pretty sure we don't. We are still ahead of the curve in terms of strength, yes. Ah, oh, Zugu! <laughs> not Zugu! Eleven Khan, wow. I wonder if he actually attacks us. I don't think he does. No, he does. Okay. So we're supposed to go on the 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 forest here. Come on, Zugu. All right. I don't think we can take two hits, so we probably yeah have to let him attack us. Right, here we go. Yeah, cursed knights always tampering in others' affairs. No, my dodge tank. We have to heal here. One star, man. Alright, it's fine. We can heal. Refreshed. Alright, Zugu, taste my blade. My dodge tank! <laughs> no crits, by the way. Blast! <laughs> That's one of the things about early Effie. They, all of the characters said blast. <laughs> there was only supposed to be a lone... Girl! I mean, the others didn't really do anything. Alright, here we go, here we go. There we go. Are we? <laughs> we sure this is a bad unit? Very good level up. Very good level up. Are we sure she's a one star unit? I don't know. That's the last of them. Fantastic work, Sigurd. Look at this. Lynn and the boys. And now for these Knights of Ly Lycia. Lycia? You were going to share your story with me? Yes. We have ventured from Kaelin in Lycia in search of someone. Lycia. That's the country beyond the mountains in the southwest, isn't it? World building. Correct. We've come as messengers to the Lady Madeline, who eloped with a nomad some 19 years ago. 
Mixed race crits! Madeline? Our lord, the Marquess of Kaelin's only daughter. He was heartbroken his own daughter would abandon him so. Eventually, the Marquess simply declared that he had no daughter. And then this year, we received a letter from Lady Madeline. It said that she, her husband, and their daughter were li living happily on the Sakai Plains. The Marquess was ecstatic to learn he had a granddaughter of 18 years. I remember the smile on his face oh, also, I mean... I don't know if this was changed in the localization. I don't think it was, but... They're being very clear... They're being very firm and explicit. YouTube don't ban them. Lin is 18. I remember the smile on his face when he announced that he'd suddenly become a grandfather. The granddaughter's name is Lindis. This was also the name of the Marquess's wife, who passed away at an early age. Lindis? Yes, that's your name, Lin. Uh, <laughs> that she should bear his name thawed the Marquess's heart. Thawed. Oh, she was 15 in Japanese? Okay, so they did actually change it for the West, which, by the way, is a good thing. Now his only wish is to meet his daughter's family at least once. This is why we're here. We didn't know that Lady Madeline died a few days after sending her letter. We only learned this shortly after we arrived here in Bulgar. But we also learned all was not lost. Her daughter yet lives. We heard that she was living alone on the plains. I, I knew it immediately. You are the Lady Lindis. Why would you think that? Your resemblance to your departed mother is remarkable. What? Did you know my mother? I'm sorry to say I never met her directly, but I saw her portraits in Castle Kaelin. To the rest of my tribe, I was always Lynn. But when I was with my parents, when it was just the three of us, I was Lindis. It's also strange. I was all alone in the world, and now I have a grandfather. Lindis. I never thought I would hear that name again. Well, you won't be hearing it from Kent, apparently. Stalward silence. <laughs> Wait! That bandit! He called me Lindis too! Oh yeah. What? He was a henchman of Lord Lundgren, wasn't he? Lundgren? Who's that? He's the Marquess's younger brother. Uh-oh! Everyone assumed the Lady Madeline was gone forever. This made Lord Lundgren heir to the Marquess's title. To be blunt, milady, your existence is an obstacle to your granduncle's ambitions. <laughs> Lundgren's ambition. That's... But I have no interest in inheriting any title. Unfortunately, your granduncle is not the sort of man to believe that. I believe the attempts on your life will persist. What should I do? Accompany us to Kaelin. Continuing on this way is dangerous. I feel I have little choice. I will go with you. Sigurd, I'm sorry. This changes everything. What will you do, Sigurd? You want me to decide? Of course, your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you! Let me ask once again for your friendship and your aid. Let's start chapter two. Wow, it started! It's so convenient. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, temple sacred to the people of Sake, has long been known for... It's powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Ooh. I do believe we meet an important character here. Sword of Spirits. Sigurd, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. Here comes an important swordsman. <laughs> and an important axeman as well. Uh, hang on, let me actually just move this uh, a little bit. This meaning the YouTube chat. So I think there's a little gap between the YouTube chat and the game. And now there shouldn't be. I think I fixed it. There is a secret sword enshrined in an altar east of here. Oh. The people of Sake go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint. The teachings of Elamine have the most followers in Lee. 
It's nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. I think somebody said that uh, this is their first time watching a Fire Emblem game. I actually made a tutorial for Fire Emblem 6 on the channel. If you look for that, it'll help catch you up on all the mechanics. So I'm not going to be explaining the mechanics every turn, but uh, that video will tell you everything you need to know. It's nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Uh-oh, axe fighters. Well, this guy uses a sword. Old man, stay where you are. Another guy who has to hold his tongue. Threaten us as you will, but I will not give up the Manicotti. I spent hours making it. I bake one every night. The Manicotti is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use- True! True! He knows that hoarding is a pitfall. Use it in combat. Sacrilege. Sacrilege. I am glass. The gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. It's glass. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. <laughs> peerless. Now get out of my way. Oof. <laughs> peerless. This is it. It's more magnificent than I'd imagined. This sword was made for a swordsman of my peerless skill. Hmm. 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 <laughs> What's this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard? The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. They have rejected you. <laughs> well, the gods fear his peerless sword play, but not the spirits, apparently. <laughs> what? Listen, you senile old fool! If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight! I, I can't believe you didn't kill him. How merciful. Curses! Miserable spirits! I care nothing for you! I'll tear down this altar stone by stone! I beg your pardon, milady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there! He's a bishop, excuse me? I saw a band of local ruffians head in there not long ago. Local ruffians? They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. Uh, the Manicotti? They're gonna steal it? I can't allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. <laughs> I guess because we don't use axes. Please help him. Lindis, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Sigurd. There are homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. This is Detective Pikachu. Alright, so we can have our useless cavaliers do that. Do you know much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manicotti, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manicotti is waiting for its rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that the sword can choose who will wield it? Yeah. Sounds like a fantasy story. Fire Emblem Virtuosity be like pretty pale, uses swords and lances. Yup. <laughs> Mountains make it more difficult to be hit, but they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. I guess that means horseback units are bad. Be careful. Uh, how many uses on our iron sword? Uh, we're totally fine, right? Oh yeah. By the way, we are well above average for Lin in terms of strength. We got two strength level ups in three levels. We have six strength. And we're lucky to have six strength. We're fine taking this encounter. We're, we're intentionally moving into his range. Dodge tank! If only we actually got three strength level ups, then we'd actually kill this guy. Lin is actually pretty good if you give, if you rig all her level ups, yep. We can rescue. I think we can break through the wall on the shrine. Say, aren't you the? Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The bandits may have 
the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. I think we'll just have Lin camp in the forest here. This guy can't reach Sane. Wow, it's a priestess. <laughs> it's priestess too, with a Nino avatar. I can't believe my favorite Pokemon YouTuber is playing Sane mode. Well, thank you for the uh, generous microtransaction and the kind words. Unfortunately for you, who wields the Nino profile picture, I don't think Nino is very good, but I, I know that you know that. I think we. Ah, uh, no, Sane's there. So Sane doesn't have the sword. I actually don't want Sane to get attacked. It's not a big deal, right? Sane's not gonna die. We'll let Sane get attacked here. I just hope he actually hits on the counter. Hit him, Sane. Good job. If we kill this guy, that means that- Oh, look at that! Because we got two strength level level ups. We kill him here! Look at that! Good thing we're so skilled. Uh, if we attack this wall, that's actually- Let's have, uh, let's have Kent do it, because Kent has a sword. Although I don't think Kent can actually break the wall with his sword. Nope. No! No dodge tank! Probably have to double to kill here. Uh, with Lin here. So, two more uses from our Iron Sword. Oh, here we go! Strength? Well, we got the best stat in the game. Plus one resistance. I love resistance. Foul sorceries! Let's play a game, by the way. On how many maps, or try and keep track of how many instances res actually matters. So, so far, this is a tutorial, but we have not faced any magic units. So, Rez has done literally nothing so far. Kent doesn't die here, right? And then he can move out of the way to give the kill to Lin. Yeah, it'll come up eventually. Where's my dodge tanking? Just wait until Cog of Destiny? If we go to the magical one. Res is just as important as defense? That is absolutely not true. At least not in this game. There's a far higher weight towards physical enemies. Oh, sea swords! How come we haven't used Sane at all? Um, is there a reason why we haven't used Sane? So, you'll notice that we have two very good units, and we have one very bad unit. But we're using the bad unit, although we have good units. Is there anything that could explain why we're doing that? It's a mystery. Hello, and thank you for calling the Automated Imported Cheese Content Pipeline. Your inquiry is important to us. For questions about the content of this ongoing live stream, press A. Please hold while we connect you with a representative. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thank you for your patience. If you're hearing this message, that means you typed an inquiry in the chat. If you can write, then it's likely that you can also read. Might I direct you to the title of this live stream, 
which may answer your inquiry. If you require additional information, check out the enclosed description box. The description often contains helpful information I wrote just for you, the viewer. After all, I already know what's going to be happening. <laughs> Thank you, and we look forward to any future inquiries. Is that your question? So it's not a hard rule that we can't use good units. We're gonna try not to. We gotta kill all the units for the XP, okay? Ah, out of range. Wow. Glad we have cavalry movement. Let's save a turn here with these advanced tactics. Oh wait, I didn't need to do this. Okay, so I was going to trade the Iron Sword over to Sane so he wouldn't face Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, and then I just didn't. I, I don't know why I didn't do that. What a dodge tank. I don't think the Brigand can reach... Oh, maybe he can. I think he can barely reach Kent. No, he can't. So now he's gonna attack Lin on the pillar. Here we go. 11 hit? Dodged! I think we're gonna get a level up when we kill Glass. We got it! Secrets! Didn't matter, thanks, Lynn! <laughs> Be sure to use all three weapon uses before you decide to crit them on the last hit, thanks! Oh man, look at this guy! Oh, defense three. I guess he's a glass cannon. <laughs> glass. We're just, we're just... Did you see that glass? That's what's waiting for you. Wow, we double him. We can actually attack him because we, um, we don't die even if he hits us twice. Ah, let's just wait. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have against me? This guy's peerless. Ah, oh, he hit us. I think we have to heal, right? Yeah, I think we have to. No, we don't have to heal because he attacks us. Here he comes, here he comes. Glass shattered. You. You. Ugh. We're the peerless one here. Give me that strength level. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we stole it from glass. <laughs> Are we sure Lin's a one-star unit? We actually are straight strength blessed here. Ah, your clothing. Are you of the Lorca tribe? I'm Lin, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Ye all the uh, yeah, all these strength level ups and still less than base sane. <laughs> Thanks to you, I am unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword, is it safe? Yes, I have sealed the sword safely away. Wow, if it's a sealed sword, it must be really good. Maybe 1-2 range? With really good might? Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Manicotti. Wow, what a generous guy. Touch the blade's pattern and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. I wonder if we'll get an image here.
Hmm. 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 <laughs> what? Did... Oh, no, I was a little, a little early. The, the sword. It's glowing. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if it's glowing, that does count, right? Hmm. Oh! A bolt of brilliance. Shocking revelation, I guess. <laughs> Lin, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manicotti. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um... Stalwart silence. came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manicotti in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see that your sword reach your hands. My sword? It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip this sword and meet your destiny head on. Did I mention that the translation of this game was kinda bad? <laughs> yes, yes sir. Clearly they meant wield, right? <laughs> Just grip this sword. So this is the Manicotti, a blade with no equal. You could say it's peerless. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of Sake. In my hand. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners. And yet when I saw you draw that blade, Lindis, I felt something extraordinary. What does that mean? That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it! I, I'm nothing special! Well, Lin might not be anything special, despite her 60% strength growth, apparently. But Smash Hero 75 definitely is. Thank you for... The gracious gift of convenience. When I saw you gift those five subs, I felt something extraordinary. <laughs> Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Manikati feels very comfortable with you. We're its true trainer. <laughs> does this make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. A blade that only I can wield. A personal weapon. <laughs> that seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Sigurd. This is the Manicotti. This is... my sword. I must care for it well. You can actually break it in Lin mode, and it comes back in Hector mode, so... We shouldn't be that shy about using it. Uh-oh, Castle Kaelin. What? <laughs> Madeline's daughter is still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders? Uh, if we let them be. Bah! I've heard that northern burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. A poison. There must be no blunders. Oh, no. The poison? His older brother! Who's that? Is it an axe user? Yes, my lord. <laughs> yes, my lord. Uh, he suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death, uh, uh, do no doubt to sudden illness, is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon, Kaelin will be mine! Wow, I wonder if that guy's evil. Yes, my liege. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night. How do we start the next chapter? Wow, that was fast. The secrets of her past revealed in the words of two knights of Lycia. Now to meet her grandfather, Lynn heads west. To Lycia and to her destiny.
A mountain range separates the Sakai Plains from Bern. Oh! There are many bandits lurking here. The cruelest cruelest of which are the Tolliver. They wreak havoc on both Sakai and Bern, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day away from the plains, Lynn witnesses their atrocities herself. Oh no. Is that an atrocious unit? Band of mercenaries. No. This place, it's... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't the Marquess do anything to help? Tolliver Mountains is home to a gang of vicious, ruthless bandits. No Marquess holds power here. My village was near here, on the other side of the mountain. My people were. The Tolliver bandits came at night. It took only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. They're soulless beasts. I'll never forgive them. Thanks for the comforting words in this time of trouble, Kent. Stalwart silence. I'm not running away, although I will be dodging. I'll be back someday. I'll be stronger. Maybe in a different mode, under a different lord. <laughs> I'll break their swords beneath me like twigs beneath a stallion's hooves. Wow. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. Do you think there will be character growth? Between bloodthirsty, vengeful Lin and later? Hmm. When the time comes, bring me with you. Same. Don't forget me either. Look at this! Already they've become fast friends. Kent. Oh! You too, Sigurd? <laughs> I, you're, thank you. Oh! Wait right there, little lady! Yeah, what are you gonna do to apologize, huh? Uh, I, that is, I... Hey, she's quite a catch, eh, buddy? Yeah, I bet the boss would give us a pretty penny for her. Yeah, she roughed me up a bit, so I figure fair's fair. It's no more than she deserves. I... I... Hey, what are you gonna do with her flying mule? Don't you dare touch her! <laughs> what? You just watch your mouth, girly. Do what you will with me, just... Let her go, please. I beg of you. <laughs> Silly twit! Pegasi can only be found in Ilya! They're rare beasts, worth more than you by far. Wow, that's usually not what the bandits are interested in. We can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go? Ha! No, you can't. Come on, let's move. What's this? Be on your guard, Lindis. There seems to be some sort of commotion over there. Thanks, Kent. That's, that's a Pegasus. Could it be? Florina? Is that you, Florina? Ah! Lindis! Florina! What are you doing in a place such as this? Lynn, I guess the bandits are just letting us talk. Is it really you? I... I... Come now, no crying. I'm sorry. You are acquaintances? She's my friend. Where are the bandits? This is Florina, a Pegasus Knight in training from Ilya. She's a little uncomfortable around men. Tell me, Florina, what happened here? Well, uh... When I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village. I flew down to ask if they had news of you. I didn't see these two and, well... Did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I... a little... Aha! You heard her! She admits her fault! She stepped on my friend and now she's gotta pay! <laughs> I mean, I know that these bandits are, like, super evil and we're not supposed to like them, but you can't just land on people with your horse. Like, that's a serious deal. Did you apologize, Florina? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Don't cry. It's all right. Lynn. Listen, she's obviously sorry. Can't we just let this pass? You don't appear to be injured or anything. 
I mean, the bandits are a little bit in the right. Obviously, they shouldn't be kidnapping her and confiscating her horse, but there probably should be some sort of consequences to landing on someone with a flying horse. No chance! The girl goes with us! By force, if need be! And that's why we're just letting her go. Hey, come on out now, boys! The men are fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. Wow, where did that archer come from? Sigurd! We've gotta fight back! Lynn, I... You're a Pegasus Knight, aren't you? You can fight too, can't you? Yes! Listen carefully, Sigurd. We're facing bandits. They're underlings, but we can't take them too lightly. Let's clear them out of here. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, heroic music. The land around here might make it difficult to fight. The same holds for our foes, too. If we use these walls just so, they may ensure our victory. Lynn? Who's that? Oh, this is famous YouTuber Imported Cheese. Be sure to like and subscribe. Nah, this is Sigurd! He's still an apprentice, but he's my tactician. Oh, I see. Uh, Sigurd, I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, that's all she has to say. Well, we just got a g we just got a new unit. We should probably talk about her. I. So we just got a u. So we just got a new unit. We should probably talk about her. It is the Pegasus Knight Florina. Oh. Five-star unit, let's talk about why. Florina the Pegasus Knight. Five strength, that's a little bit worrying. <laughs> but hey, nine speed, that's really good. I actually pulled up the entry for just Pegasus Knight. <laughs> oh, here it is. Thing looter growth rates, forty percent strength. That's the same as Lynn, but at least she has. One higher base strength, right? So I'm sure she won't have any damage issues. Speed 55, definitely good enough to double everything in this game. She is very frail, so you do have to watch out. <clears throat> Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what Florina's stats are, <laughs> because she is your earliest flyer. Being a flyer in this franchise, which is named Flyer Emblem for a reason, is super valuable. Even if Florina herself had zero stats and she was just a taxi, she would probably still be five stars. <laughs> just because being able to ferry other units is so important. The fact that she can fight if she has to is just the cherry on top. I wouldn't quite describe Florina as a waifu, more of a waifu, because Forcon is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> so she loses speed to pretty much every weapon. I, I don't think she actually loses it to the Slim Lance, but she definitely loses it to Iron, and a ton to Javelins. But low con is not the end of the world, right? It is much better to have high speed and bad con than good con and bad speed. We're going to talk more about that combo later. But even with her poor con, she's definitely still fast enough to double everything. And when she promotes to Falconite, she does get swords, at which point her constitution doesn't actually penalize her if she chooses to use swords. And I, I did just slander her combat a lot, but... She's perfectly fine at combat if you give her the levels, and it's very easy to give her levels since she can go to the fight wherever that is, and she can use lances, so she has 1-2 range. She's also probably the unit that benefits the most from Lin Mode, so if you were going to play Lin Mode, you should probably pump all of your XP into Florina, at which point she becomes a very She's also the unit that... 
I would say Florina is the unit that benefits the most from Lin Mode because she is the best target for your Lin Mode XP. If you do actually play Lin Mode, you should absolutely just stuff all that XP into Florina's gullet. Oh, oh this XP is delicious. Oh, uh, at which point, so probably be your best unit on Hector Hard Mode, uh, aside from Marcus, obviously. Anything else to say about Florina? Oh yeah, triangle attack. Another thing, something, uh, don't forget that Florina is one of the resident Pegasus Knights, and there are three of them. You need three points in the triangles. She is part of the triangle attack. The triangle attack is mostly just for fun, but if you don't use Florina, you won't be able to use it. I guess that's a positive. It, it, it's not a negative. Florina is also... Somebody just mentioned it in the chat. Florina is also an excellent target for the Lin Mode Energy Ring. Energy Ring is this game's energy drop. It's plus two strength, but you double everything, so it's really plus four damage. You should 100% give it to Florina if you're actually playing seriously. But yeah, in case you needed a reminder, look at that movement range. Five stars. But she's weak to bows, no! <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, let's start the map. I'm pretty sure we can fight this guy, right? Should be no problem. Oh yeah, <laughs> four damage. <laughs> yeah, so we can uh, we can go ahead and visit this house. You came to help this village? That's good. She's really ecstatic to be saved. That's good. With so many bandits, I wasn't sure what to do. It's not much, but please take this money. There's an armory to the southeast of us. Equip yourself as you see fit and help us, please. We can actually go over here. Now this guy can't attack us. Five stars, baby! <laughs> I love the Kanto region. Oh, look at this archer. How much damage do we do with this archer? 12 damage, wow. Archers are terrible. Visit this house, Kent. Leave our village alone, you cruel thieves! Go away, go away! We've no gold left! Stay inside, everyone! I'll go see what's happening. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, who are you? <laughs> you came to warn us? There's fighting, you say. Bandits? <laughs> Many thanks, friend. My name is Will. I'm a traveler like you. These villagers have been kind to me. Let me fight with you. Well, we're definitely doing him a favor by letting him fight with us. Oh god, it's Will. Oh. <laughs> well, here's Will. Six base strength. Five base speed, Archer, in a GBA Fire Emblem game. You don't have to be a great detective to figure this one out. <laughs> one star. <laughs> Arguably worst unit in the game. Oh my god, Will. <laughs> Why is Will bad? Well, first of all, use your eyes here. His base stats are terrible. 
Why is Will bad? Well, let's start by using our eyes to investigate what's on screen. Very unimpressive bases. If he was a cavalier with these stats, I'd be like, ah, oh, he's such a little iffy. But he's not a cavalier. He's an archer. The worst class in the entire game. Can never counterattack in a game where the vast majority of fighting happens on enemy phase, which requires 1-2 range. Well, at least his growths are good, right? strength, that's 10 more than Lin. 40% speed. If he wasn't an archer, maybe there would be some hope. For this guy to even scrape two stars, I'm not kidding when I say he would need like 80% strength and speed. And then I'd maybe be like, no, he would still get one star. <laughs> Archers are so bad. Oh, 25% res growth though, mages, watch out. This arrow's going right between your eyes. <laughs> oh, God, Will. We should mention it again because it is a key part of why archers are such garbage. Effective weapons in English Fire Emblem 7 are only 2x. That's what really kills him. So, archers don't have good targets to shoot down, and they can't even do it, because they don't have 3x effectiveness. I gotta turn off the stats, hang on. Will is so bad that he's the reason that I and other true Fire Emblem fans who started with the GBA games distrust archers and bow units to this day. There have been plenty of games where bows are actually not only good, but the best. And I still have trouble admitting that because of Will. We've all been traumatized, okay? Hey, jeez, have you played Fire Emblem Echoes? Bows are 1-5 range. No, no! <laughs> Have you seen Will from Fire Emblem 7? Yeah, but I'm not talking about Fire Emblem 7, I'm talking about Echoes. No! Will's terrible! Have you played Fire Emblem Three Houses? Bows are the best weapon type in that. Fire Emblem 7! Will is terrible! Uh, but I'm talking about Fire Emblem Three Houses. Will! Uh! Horrible bases! Horrible growths! Horrible weapon type! One star. <laughs> also, shoutouts for having one of the worst names in Fire Emblem. No offense if your name is Will. You probably won't be offended because it would probably Will with two L's, right? Hey, how do we make this name sound fantasy? How do we just spell it wrong? It's Will. Oh. But hey, good news, good news for Will. Because he's a terrible unit, that means we do actually get to use him. I feel like Will would do better in a different franchise. I feel like he'd use psychic types. There's probably a better way to say that, right?
I feel like Will would do better in another franchise. He might even be one of the elites of that franchise. It's just speculation, though. He'd probably find a way to be kind of... He'd probably find a way to be kind of mediocre in that franchise as well, though. But at least he'd be a mage. Alright. Let's play the game. God! Uh, how do you see the stats of the, uh, the weapon? Is it select? R. It is also R. Okay. Oh, there it is. So look at this. This is a good sword. Might six. <laughs> Might six! At least against flying enemies, it's Might 12. Actual Might Yenna tier weaponry. Oh. Wait 5? Con 6? It's like they planned it. Here's what Lin's been co Here's what Lin's been cooking, by the way. This delicious manicotti. It is a personal weapon, 45 uses. You can actually break it in Lin mode, and then it comes back in Hector mode. 8 might, 80 hit, and wow, 10 8 might, 80 hit, and wow, 20 crit! So you can get some sick crits with this. I think it's strictly better than the rapier? <laughs> Which does make sense, because it is a magic sword. Really wish it was 3x effective? If it was, I think I would actually give Lin 2 stars, but no, it is only 2x effective. Also, shoutouts... Also, shoutouts for having... One of the worst translations I've ever seen. Effective against infantry. I have no idea how this even happened. I'm gonna show you what the Japanese says. So let's type this into Google. Fire Emblem. And then, uh, I don't know what this is. I, I guess, um... I actually don't know what it's called in, uh... Let's see. If I just search Dean, that'll work. <laughs> Characters. Or if I just search, like, Buki, that might work, like, weapon. From PegasusKnight.com. <laughs> okay, let's see what they say on PegasusKnight.com. Hang on here. I know it's not centered. All right, PegasusKnight.com. Wow, Japanese web formatting, it's horrible. Slim Lance, uh... Oh, these are all swords. Okay, so it will actually be here. So here on PegasusKnight.com, we can see all of the uh, weapons from Fire Emblem 7. Uh, so let's look for the Manicotti. This one's the Armor Killer. 
The Kill Sword, wow. Brave Sword, Rune Sword. Oh, here it is. The Manikadi, or as it's known in Japanese, the Manikadi. Lin only. Oh, this is actually... It's actually not what it actually says in game, because I've seen it in game. But this says, effective against social knights. So social media has finally been defeated. Paladins, armor knights, generals, nomads, uh, nomad troopers, troubadours, valkyries, uh, lord knights, great lords. You can't... It, there's so many that it's actually off the screen. This actually doesn't help. Because that's not what it says uh, in the base game. In the base game, what it actually says is... Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, this is Soul Kadi. Oh! <laughs> this is what the Manikadi actually says. Lin only. Effective against Cavaliers. And Armored Foot Infantry. I have no idea how they possibly got effective against infantry. It's like they only translated this part, which would be effective against infantry, and they totally ignored this part, which says cavaliers and armored infantry. <laughs> Great translation. Let's get this back to uh, correct formatting. Uh, let me get this filth off my screen. Oh yeah, and of course we should mention that being effective against land- We should also mention that being effective against cavaliers and armored units who are almost always lance users means that you will be facing weapon triangle disadvantage here to try to use this thing. It's still a good weapon, but it should be better. Let's make an action here, right? Oh, it's a tutorial on how to use Will. Rescue. Someone rescue me from Will. Nine damage. Alright, get him, Will. Will gameplay? He killed the unit! Oh, I missed your microtransaction, you're right, sorry. Let me scroll up here. $5 microtransaction for silver. Which means I do have to play microtransaction. Mm. Is Will the Onyx of Fire Emblem 7, or would you say there's another who's even worse? I mean, Onyx is not the worst Pokemon in the game. So no, he's not the Onyx of F F7. I don't know if Will is the worst. I don't know if Will is the worst unit in the game. He's down there. Rebecca might be worse. Nino might actually be the worst, though. Yeah, I think it's actually Nino. I'm just gonna leave. Bye! Five stars, baby. <laughs> we gotta choke this point. But that's really bad. Because now the enemy's gonna be in the forest and we won't be. Oh no, but it's actually okay. It's actually okay. Okay, check out these tactics. I'm actually serious when I do this. So we want to give, and this isn't meant to be difficult, but uh, it is like a basic Fire Emblem question here. So I want to give Lin an Iron Sword. Kent has the Iron Sword, but he's too far away. How do we get the Iron Sword to Lin on this turn? This is just a fundamental, uh, Fire Emblem Fundamentals question. This isn't like a trick question either. Trade chain, yep. So that's what we're gonna do. I bet you thought I was gonna give it to the Cavalier. Nope. Come on, Will. <laughs> And look, we can even get the bonus damage! Good unit! Take that!
All right, so we just have... Hopefully, Lin doesn't get hit here, and then she can go into the forest. Oh, dodge tank! I wish I had one more point of strength. That would be nice. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Dodge tank! Wait a minute. Okay, so we want Lin on the forest. But if Lin attacks and kills this unit, she can't actually move onto the forest. So how do we kill the bandit and allow Lin to move onto the forest? Does anybody know? Well, wait. Yo, this guy can attack at two range! Look at this! Will! Are, are we sure this is a one-star unit? Will! Only Will could have done that. We still don't kill this guy because we don't have enough strength. Now, I know this is not the most efficient way to play. But we are hoping to get the, uh, the experience on our good units. Oh, 10 hit. Dodge tank. We could have crit, yes. This is a str yeah, this is an incredibly strength blessed Lin, and we can't actually get these kills. Oh, four damage. Look at this dodge tanking. I think actually we will get this kill with Lin, because uh, Will can shoot that bandit. This is the most I've ever seen Will contribute. I think that this map is intentionally laid out to allow Will to contribute, right? So this is the game set up to make Will look good. This is peak Will performance. It's so sad. Man, I... Oh, look at this! It's because he was weakened by Will! Oh, this guy's got a sword. Oh, he has actually got a good hit rate on us. Oh, what a dodge tank. Do we double? Oh! Are we sure Lin's one star? Why does that guy have so little HP? What? Oh, accurate. Oh, what a dodge tank. Do we double? Oh, are we sure Lin's one star? Oh, we gotta level up. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> I'm glad it played the weapon breaking sound. That was terrible. <laughs> Lin. Lin. <laughs> One star. <laughs> what was that? Wow, we exactly won around this guy. Can we get a will kill? I think we can. Because Sane doesn't double, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Sane! <laughs> no! Alright. Archer v Archer comp. Oh look, they do two damage to us. Are we sure he's a one-star unit? Can the archer actually hit us from... Ooh. Uh, I really want to go shopping with Florina. But if we do that, the archer can shoot us. But we do want a low LTC. We do want a low turn count, so I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. I know this is risky, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll take, uh, just two iron swords. I know I'm taking a risk here. I know I'm taking a risk here, but it is worth it. Yeah, just kidding, Kanto, baby! <laughs> I love the Kanto region! Five stars! No lances? We're probably- Oh, we got hit. Probably not gonna be using our lance units that much. Wow. 
This guy didn't even didn't even try. Here we go. Oh, I missed another microtransaction? I'm sorry. $2 microtransaction from Silver. I, I was sorry. I mean, I think you'll forgive me, right? I was too enamored by Will. So it really wasn't my fault. But thank you for the $2 <laughs> microtransaction. But he's an Onyx! Is he Ledibo with no screens? I am serious when I say that. Will is better than Ledibo. Look at this. Kill Will! Level up, here it comes! Strength, speed! We got to oh, res! We got res! Yes! <laughs> Foul sorceries! Are we sure Will is one star? He's got res! <laughs> Fire and Will! Hey, we won round this guy, that's pretty good. Ooh, they have 70 hit rate on us, wow. Can can you see why Lynn is a one star unit? Because we are in fact she's almost dead. Oh, this guy's got a steel axe. Oh, Miguel. I think we actually need to heal, right? I think we get one shot by Miguel here. He's got, yeah, he's got 18 attack. Whoa. Yeah, I think he one-shots base Lin. So how much damage do we do here? Eight times two. Wow, he has 23 hit on us. He can't hit well. We can use the Manicotti. I think we want a Will kill, right? I mean, this is Will's joining chapter. I'm not intending to, like, save scum this, but, like, just in case. He can't counterattack! Draw your swords! <laughs> We're not listening to any of your stinking apologies. I don't have a sword, man. I got a bow! <laughs> I wonder if he's actually going to attack Will. Is he going to move around and attack Will? No, he's just going to sit there. Hey, listen! <laughs> Navi cosplay. Hey, listen! There's something I wanted to ask you. Begging for your life so soon, we wench? Excuse me. Are you... Tolliver bandits? Tolliver? Those greedy monsters? We're nothing like them! Those fiends will even kill women and children! We're from Ganelon... <laughs> I'm going to Ganelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. And we know a little something of honor. We don't harm women for one thing. <laughs> After all, why kill what you can sell? All right, well, almost not a bad guy, right? If you're not Tolliver, then there's no reason for you to die here today. If you would like to tuck your tails and flee, do so now. You. You! No more courtesies! You gotta learn to watch your tongue. Lots of tongues in this. If you're not Tolliver Bandits, then I'll let you live. But Will won't. Draw your swords! <laughs> You'll live to regret this, my brothers. The cattle on bandits will not let this stand. Ugh. We'll level up. What do we get? Oh, we got strength last time. We got speed this time. It's almost as if he got one good level. <laughs> That's finally taken care of, Lynn. Florina, why did you follow me? It's so dangerous. Favorite in donation from Pikahiri. Thank you for the... A microtransaction. 
Those guys harm women and children. Nothing like us. Now die. <laughs> Female child. <laughs> Do you remember the knighting ceremony of the Pegasus Knights of Ilya? Yes, you join a band of freelance soldiers to further your training. Wow, I guess they all use lances. Is that what brought you here, Florina? Uh-huh. I wanted to talk to you before I set out, but when I went to Sake, I heard that you'd left with some strangers and... You were worried for me? Thank you, but I'm more worried about you. Me? Listen, most mercenaries are men, right? Bands of men? I can't imagine being at all comfortable around them. I know, I know. So here, here's an actual question. Are most Fire Emblem units male? Or is it, like, balanced? I think it does skew male. Why is the emblem on fire for the seventh time? It's a new mystery of the emblem. It's just, I've always dreamt of being a Pegasus Knight. I imagine I would just work it out somehow. After today, I'm not so sure. Maybe I should just... I'm glad we have an emote for this. Maybe I should just... <laughs> give up. Don't give up, Florina. You're a five-star unit. <laughs> don't give up. Florina, don't cry. Yes, there's no reason to give up on your dream. It's true. Don't give up. Five stars. <laughs> Glad we have all these graphics. Hmm. 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 Is it well? No, it's say. <gasps> Lovely Florina, I have the most brilliant idea. Sane. You should come with us. Actually, a good idea. Yeah. With the addition of Will here, we're all <laughs> we're a fine group of soldiers <laughs> and freelance to boot. <laughs> Can I fire freelancers? <laughs> Wait, did you just include me? Uh, I was just gonna stay here with my, like, family. I'm not really a fighter. <laughs> of course, we were destined to meet here. It's fate. <laughs> Come now, Lindus' band of mercenaries is as good a training group as you'll find anywhere. Sane, this is no joking matter. Yes, Sane, please don't invite Will. <laughs> Lindus, uh, Lin, mercenaries? I can give you details later. This is all a bit rushed. However, Sane is right. Will you come with us, Florina? That's true. Please join us, Florina. Travel with you, Lin? Truly? I would be so, so happy. Fantastic! Beauteous Florina, I'm a knight of Kaelin. My name is Sane. Eek! Stay back! Don't get so close! Beautiful, and yet so modest, enjoying a 10% bonus to special attack at the cost of 10% physical attack. Okay, actual question. Why is everybody, like, flip-flopping on, like, different sides of the screen? I beg your forgiveness, calling us mercenaries. No, I approve. We can't leave Florina on her own. She requires special attention, though. Can I count on you? Yes, you have but to ask. So. <laughs> is it really alright if I travel with you? Oh, yes, of course, if you're willing, Will. <laughs> Actually, I'm very grateful. Truth be told, all of my money was stolen and I'm at a bit of a crossroads. I'd be honored to count myself as one of Lindus' Legion. Oh, at least Legion was a good expansion. Live Kent reaction? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Lindus's Legion. This is getting stranger with every day. Sigurd. Yeah, Kent could be an emo next time. Hey, the next chapter started. That was easy. After defeating the bandits, Lin continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. <laughs> the, the axes of Ganelon. <laughs> the Ganelon bandits are in a rage after their brethren fell to Lin's swords. That's why they're going to keep using axes. 
They race in pursuit of the companions. Pursuit, good move. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Uh oh. Well. I have a feeling that most of the Ganelon bandits are bad guys, but there might be one that maybe we can trust. Maybe. In Occupation's Shadow. Ah, this should suffice, says Will. Tonight's bed. This mildewy old fortress, is this the best we can do? You should be glad there's any place to sleep. Come on, Sane. Oh, never mind. Come, Will, surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. And there are rather a lot of us. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan Rogers, for the... Gracious gift of convenience. Now five more of you can apparently wield axes with Dorcas. <laughs> This'll be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. I guess she is a nomad. As long as I'm at Lin's side, I'll be fine. Wow, she really likes Lin. And for your protection, your man-at-arms, Sane, will be right here by your side, ladies. Good unit. Sane, both you and I are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, alas. Zane, what were you planning to do? Hey, it's us! Sigurd! Where's our horse? Who's this? Your pardon, milady. Who's there? I forgive my intrusion. My name's Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Oh, ow. Are you alright? Hmm. 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 Your leg? It's fine. Don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. I can't travel far in it, but it doesn't travel. It doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. Oh, she's married. Who's her husband? He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. Well, I'm sure he's doing honest work. Maybe like, uh, woodcutting? He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeness at best, but... His name is... Dorcas. Do you know of him? Oh, yes. I know him very well. By the way, if you're ever confused about something that happens, the pinned comment is required viewing, okay? It's only about 15 seconds long. You have to watch it. So if you're watching this stream but you haven't watched the pinned comment, do it right now. Otherwise, nothing I'm gonna say is gonna make sense, okay? I'm sorry, I, I don't believe I've seen or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him. I promise. Oh, well, that's the bad guy, right? Here they are. We finally tracked down the band that defeated Migal. Heh, <laughs> so they decided to hole up in his ruined fortress. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we'll wait till it gets dark and then... You're an idiot! There are only a few of them and some are women! If we attack them at night, I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. Ah, uh, yeah. I will not be so wasteful. Gotta reinforce that they're evil. Yeah, you're right, Karjiga! You're so smart. I think there's one among them who might be even smarter. He might have a degree. <laughs> we'll avenge Miguel and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a leader after all. <laughs> let's go! Oh, let's go, Karjal. Spread out and circle this place, you rogues, even though none of you are in the class rogue. Let's finish this before it gets too dark to see. Oh man, there's so many of them. Wait, one of them's not a brigand. Hey you! Your name's... Dorcas, right? What a beautiful opening line from our hero. Stalwart silence. <laughs> you haven't done much since you joined us. 
If those weapons of yours aren't just for show, today's the day to let us see what you can do. Stalward silence. You gonna say something? I want you to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that and it'll increase your share of the take. If you want gold, you'll get the job done. A bunch of women, huh? Break Natalie's sweet heart to see me sink so low. Lady Lindis! Outside the fortress, bandits! What did you say? Persistent bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go out and face them? No. Natalie can't move well, and that would put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight here, within these walls. Sigurd, take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. Is this defend? Sigurd, this fortress has two, two? Two entrances. I'll take the eastern door. Wait. Sigurd, that man over there. Doesn't he resemble the picture of Natalie's husband? Ah, <laughs> uh, it is, uh, defend. Or I guess, protect. Can't actually reach him in one turn. Oh, he actually has a hand axe. So we can't actually reach him in one turn. And you have to use the talk command. So I, I think he just moves towards us, right? So I think we actually don't have to move any of our units in his range. I think Lin has to actually talk to him. All right, look at, look at these tactics. We don't have any healers yet. Oh, he's static? Okay. So we'll move towards him with Lin then. Oh. Gotta get that one. Then actually put her right. There we go. This should be fine. Uh-oh. 11 damage. Oh, no. Zero damage. Well, he's not static. <laughs> Ooh, five damage. I have to go I'll probably watch the replay and have fun. Thank you. No. Ooh, damage. Wow, look at look at that base strength. Really good. Alright, so we definitely should have had Lin be on the absolute edge of Dorcas's range. I, we didn't know that he was actually uh, gonna move. I have the Iron Sword equipped. Okay. Talk command. Get ready. Select which unit to speak to. You! Tell me, are you Dorcas? How do you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing with these rogues? I need money. I, I guess there was no... There was no donation, but this does play the line, right? We need more gold. We need more gold. <laughs> that may be, but joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold in these parts. I'll do anything. Even this. For gold? Anything? Would you hurt your wife? Natalie is here! We're protecting her within this fortress! What?! Natalie's... She's here? She was so worried that she came looking for you! She was wondering what happened to Dorcas! <laughs> Think, Dorcas! Would your actions please your wife? Don't you want to please your wife, Dorcas?
stalwart silence. You're right. Well, I understand. I can't do this. It's true, he can't do it. I'm done with these bandits, here and now. Really? Yes. And I would repay you for your kindness toward Natalie. Allow me to fight for you. Should we trust this guy? I don't know. I was told we should trust no one, but... <laughs> Build an army, trust nobody, fire emblem. For now, it's an uneasy alliance. All right, let's talk about our new unit, Dorcas. <laughs> oh, Dorcas, more like Dork ass. Am I right? Oh God, Dorcas. Take a look at this, Dorcas, Axe Fighter, seven strength. Our Lin has seven strength. Our Lin has seven strength. Dorcas, what are these anchor arms? Dorcas should have like 10 base strength. Why is it so low? So, Dorcas, one of the worst units in the game, unfortunately, despite the meme factor. Speed 6, a speed base of 6 is actually kind of okay. It would be okay if he had a good growth. Does he have a good growth? At least 60% strength growth is good. Dorcas is one of the few characters in this game who is so slow that he doesn't double Fire Emblem 7 enemies. That is a travesty. At least with his base speed of 6, he can double some of the Lulgers. And his speed will increase, just very slowly. I think something that really, really hurts Dorcas and the other Axe Fighter that we get later, Bartra, is this. Speed zero upon promotion is so bad. If he had maybe like plus three speed upon promotion, I, I, I would, I mean, he would still be horrible, but I would maybe give him two stars. I guess that sort of spoils what I think Dorcas is going to be rated. I'm not giving him two stars. Because I'm giving him five stars! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. One star. But it is at the very high end of one star. He does have one two range. That's about the best thing I can say about him. Also, don't be fooled by Max HP 30 into thinking that he's bulky. Like, Max HP 30 is good? A defense 3. <laughs> defense 3 and so slow that you actually do end up getting doubled by like enemy sword users later on. No. One star. But in terms of meme factor, oh yeah. Five stars, baby.
Anything else to say about Dorcas? What Pokemon do you compare Dorcas to? I have no idea. Oh, he's better than Bartra for sure. Oh yeah. He ain't bulky. More like Baruki, am I right? Baruki is Ty Ruff's Japanese name. I would imagine that Ty Ruff might actually have 7 strength. Definitely wouldn't have 14 con though. 14 con is good. Uses a hand axe without speed loss. Too bad he doesn't have much speed to lose. Dorcas. Alright, let's get him closer to the action there. So, so far, the units we're gonna try and use are Lynn, Dorcas, and Will. But not because they're good. Oh, look at this! Are we sure that Will's not good? Are we sure? Are we sure? Does killing the boss end the map? I don't think it does. I think we're actually going to send Lin to kill the boss. It does? Okay. Too strength. Check the status screen, it might say. It says protect, right? It doesn't? Okay. Might stop reinforcements. How much, uh... He doesn't drop anything. So I guess it's just the XP. We don't have javelins or anything. Let me just end our turn here. Ooh, we're gonna need to heal soon. Lynn has Vulnerary, so she can go on a mission by herself. Oh, look at this dodge tank! Even killing the boss just stops the reinforcements? Okay. Come on, Lin. I wish we had one more strength. And we're strength blessed, by the way. What are you waiting for? She's just a child, a girl. Get more men up here now. All right, reinforcements. All right, we want to move Lin this turn, so. Dorcas, you're up. 65% hit rate. Are you kidding me? Come on, Dorcas. Come on, Dorcas. Come on, Dorcas. Dorcas! <laughs> Dorcas, please! I thought this game had two RN! Don't worry, Will's here. 10 damage, baby! You sure this guy's one star? I'm worried about this choke point here. They won't break this this turn. Wait, yes they will. Sane will not kill this. Actually, he might. Maybe Sane should use his Vulnerary. He has a Vulnerary, right? Who has a Vulnerary? Okay, Kent does. I was scared. Having consulted the official Nintendo Power Player's Guide, it says nothing of use at all. Well, thank you for both the... microtransaction. And also... For the research! Research complete. Can we actually rescue Dorcas? 
Oh, we can't- look at this! Get on the horse, Dorcas! Ooh, got hit. Two damage. I think these enemies might be a little bit undertuned. I think they break through the wall here now. Yeah, with the archer they will. How good would Dorcas be if you were on a horse? Four stars? I'm not kidding. Alright, Dorcas, you're up. If I put Dorcas... I want to drop him on the choke point. Dude, but then he... I mean, we can, we can drop him here, right? And that works? It's the same thing. It still blocks them. This guy will shoot us. That's fine. Does this guy move? I don't think so. I think we can reach him next turn. If we equip the Manicotti... Uh, we don't actually... I guess we'll do that in case someone attacks us. Alright, Will. Free kill for Will. Ooh. Which one does Will kill? This guy's a better hit rate, right? Come on, Will! Are we sure Will's a bad unit? And I think both of our knights just hold the line there. We're trying... The reason why we're not attacking with them is we're trying not to use them. Because we're trying to mostly use bad units. Are we going to die here? We might suffer from success. I don't think the next unit can deal 8 damage to us. Especially if we get a defense level. Well, we didn't get defense. Dorcas! Dorcas has hit nothing! Look at this crit rate. Look at this crit rate. Nice crit rate. <laughs> okay, he doesn't die, he doesn't die. Good. It's close though. Is the archer gonna take a shot at Dorcas? I'm wondering. Wow, the two base strength lead on Sane is so nice. Ooh, six damage. Five damage. Come on, Dorcas. Come yes! One, two, range! I think Lin... So the boss doesn't move. First of all, we have to celebrate Kent's amazing level up. Oh, sorceries! We love Rez. Kent definitely has to vulnerate here. Gotta use this. Let's see here. I, I think he actually just stays in place, right? Alright, Dorcas. 18 HP. I think he survives combat from both this guy and this guy if they both hit him. Wait, who has the Iron Axe? Lin does, right? Uh-oh. This guy can't even count. He's a sitting duck! Get him, Dorcas! Yes! Does Lin die to this guy? I don't think so. Oh my god, she does. But she'll never get hit, right? So we would have to crit him, and he can't hit us. Our crit chance is actually higher than his hit chance. I know the numbers don't say that. I'm not kidding when I say that our crit chance is higher than his hit chance. Uh, for people who don't know, this has a 2RN system. What that means is that the accuracy lies to you. So the closer the accuracy is... 
if your hit rate is below 50%, it, it actually gets closer to zero. And if your hit rate is above 50%, it actually gets closer to 100. So he really has like 20 hit on us. And the archer doesn't kill us, but I think this guy would kill us, right? We can't get to the forest. If we can attack him from the forest, I would do that. Crit is 1RN, yes. I mean, it's early in the chapter, right? We crit him. We crit him! Let's do it! Ugh, how? How are they so tough? You! Bring more men here right away! Goodbye, man. Okay, we didn't crit him. Dodge tank? Easy. Sick crits. <laughs> ah, this is not me. Are we sure Lin's a one-star unit? Strength? Strength? There's your commentary for that level up. <laughs> At least we got a crit. <laughs> what was that? Will, I don't think, can kill that one, but he can kill this one. Look at look at the marginal differences on Sane. Alright. Get him, Will! Yes, you're right. There's still plenty of time to gain more strength. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, Lynn has to not die in enemy phase. I think if she gets hit by the... By the bandage, she still dies. So she has to be a bit careful here. Wow, Dorcas can get crit. Dorcas, please. Lynn can still die here, yeah. Okay, Kent doing well. Shouldn't Will help Dorcas by shooting the Merc? Maybe he should. All right, we just have to dodge this. Oh, 20% chance to the... Oh, dodge tank. My Manicotti uses. Can I get a crit, please? Well, we didn't save any durability with our crits. What? Sick crits. <laughs> Didn't matter at all, but sick. Ah. Uh... Five stars. And a strength level. I mean, that's why we're trying not to use him. He's way too good. <laughs> All right, Dorcas, get him! Yes! First blood on Dorcas! Apparently killing the boss doesn't stop the reinforcements. Okay, let's see. So if we go here and attack with the iron sword, uh, we don't kill it. So we'd have to use the... I wish I had a strength level, that would be nice. We'll actually just move Lin over here onto this forest and uh, Vulnery. We're, we're very dodgy on the forest, at least. Cheers. Refreshed. I hope we get a staff user soon. Uh, genuine question, how much does an extra point in strength matter in damage calculation? Uh, it's one-to-one, -one, so an extra point of strength is one more damage. Uh, Dorcas definitely needs to heal here. 
Will should definitely shoot this archer, you're right. Or shoot this- oh, wow! Dude, Will two shots this guy! He has a- oh, he does have a vulnerary. Very good, very good. Wow, we have so much HP that doesn't really do anything. Anyway. Cheers. Refreshed. Wow, there's only one more turn after this. I don't know if we'll get a... I don't know if we'll get a Dorcas level. Dorcas won't die here. I think even if he kills this mercenary and the... Oh, actually, if he kills the mercenary and the axe fighter attacks him, maybe he dies. I wish I had another point of strength. Wouldn't that be nice? They could have very reasonably had Lin have plus two starting strength. She would be so much better. Seven damage. Do we actually die? If we okay, Dorcas might actually die here. Don't do nine damage to me, bro. Don't do nine damage to me, bro. Oh my god. Oh, good thing Dorcas has got his glasses on. He was able to dodge that. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, are we sure Dorcas is a bad unit? We actually did get quite lucky there. We would have we would have died. Okay, so Will can Oh, maybe Will can actually get a kill. Alright, so let's make sure we're not putting Dorcas in harm's way. 69 hit? That's 100, right? Yeah. Dorcas level up, here we go. God. We didn't even get strength. <laughs> Dorcas. Uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. We we did get. I mean, it was better than Lin's last level. Six damage. And how much does Will do? I. I it looks like Will's a better unit. I don't think this guy can reach Dorcas if we use Sane here. So Sane can actually attack this guy, and then Will can kill him, right? Oh yeah. Wow, dude, Sane is so good. Okay, Sane might actually be five stars. This guy does zero damage to Sane. This is Lin hard mode, by the way. Will level up? Will level up? Oh! Plus strength! He's stronger than Dorcas! Eight strength. Seven strength. Dor- Dor- Why does Dorcas have seven base strength? I'm not kidding when I say that he should have ten. Ten base strength would be, I think, perfectly reasonable. I think the enemies do get actions. There's no way to kill this archer without letting our enemy attack us from a forest, right? That's a bit unfortunate. Hey, we won round exactly. Ooh! Is that... Do we have B swords? Wow.
If we move Dorcas, then the bandit can attack him. Is there a reason to let them do that? This bandit has how much attack? They have 13 attack. And we got a defense level up, so we have 4 defense. So we take 9 damage. So we would die. So we won't move Kent. Just have to hit this guy once we get a kill. Oh yeah, did the brigand have sea swords? Unfortunately, we can't check because we don't get any more actions this uh, this map. This guy does literally zero damage to Sane. What? Florina did nothing the whole map other than rescue drop once. Well, in Florina's defense, we're intentionally not using her. She'd be doing a lot more if we were actually trying to use her. She'd probably be rescue dropping Lynn over there. We saved Natalie! Curses! <laughs> They're not human! Listen up, rogues! Retreat! Pull back! Uh, I guess we actually can use this. Tactical retreat. Not what this was intended for. Okay, well, because you did type this line, although it's not quite appropriate to play, we will play this. We're definitely going to be using this soon. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. The enemies fled. Sigurd, we won! Dorcas! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Natalie. All's well that ends well. Right, Natalie? Natalie, is it okay if Dorcas comes with us? Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Why can't we just say our farewells today? Lynn does not want Dorcas around. Well, I... I spoke with Sigurd. I, I've been invited to join your group. It's true, we do want Dorcas to join us. But we're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. If you think I'll be of use, I'd like to fight for you. Well, I do want you with us, not because I think you're going to be useful. You helped my wife. I owe you. Dorcas, dot, dot, dot. Please, Lynn. We're both in agreement on this. Watch over my husband. <laughs> Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please rest easily. That's a Japanese line. Is that alright? Are you sure? Sane? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Let me warn you. If bandits sneak up on you, they'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What? Do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There's no need to worry. This man was literally taking zero damage. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well, good night then. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Sigurd. Let's go. Oh, let's go Sane. Ha! No one ever trusts me. I trust you, Sane. How do we get to the next chapter? Oh, it started. Wow, that was easy. The next morning comes too quickly. Lynn has fought back the bandit's attack. Now, she rushes for the border of Bern. If she can reach it, Lycia itself is not far off. Trust in Mutton. For a moment, Lynn stops to imagine the face of a grandfather she's never seen. Oh! More bandits! <laughs> we gotta give the uh, Iron Axe to Dorcas. Beyond the borders. We've almost reached the Lycian border. Once we cross, we'll be safe from bandits, right? We should be. I doubt they'll be willing to pursue us across the borders. If there's anything bandits are known for, it's respecting the laws. Lycia at last! It's been a long time. Tomorrow we'll dine on a feast of Lycia's finest foods. Yeah. We should invite Dorcas to that feast. 
He'll love Lycian seasoning. What's my favorite class, Swordmaster? Uh, Calderic, welcome to the YT Institute. And the mistress of the inn at the crossing is said to be a beauty. Ah, uh, yes. Food and love. No better way to restore a man's soul. This is gonna be a fine evening, eh, Kent? Eh? If your behavior is as deplorable as ever, we'd best stay elsewhere. We're not here for sightseeing. Oh, come now. That's not fair. Kent, the inn will be fine. As you say, milady. Lindus, you are truly an angel from on high. It's nothing. Forget it. She's not impressed. I guess she was f away from the battle. She didn't see Sane get two 2% 2 crits and take zero damage. Ah, we'll finally be able to get a good night's sleep. Oh no, those bandits are persistent. I'll give them that much. Oh, well, they really are. Ah, here they are. I found them. What? Not again. They're still after us? <laughs> Don't think you're getting away so easily. You leave alive and everyone will think the Ganelon bandits have gone soft. So, we care nothing for you or your reputations. We must get to Lycia, get in our way, and you'll pay. I'm Lynn, the poet. Cheeky little thing, aren't you? Let's get them, lads! And no holding back just because there's women with them. Wipe them out! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Ooh, we're lost. That makes me so mad. <laughs> Is this Cypher Admin Lavrina? <laughs> you told me you were certain this was the correct path. What's your point, Urk? What are you trying to say? I swear, you are not the woman I agreed to escort. What? What's that supposed to mean? I heard someone was needed to escort a frail Lycian priestess to Ostia. Yes, and I'm that priestess. Frail? You? Sarah, you have no need of any escort to protect you. Even the most hardened criminals would flee in terror after five minutes in your company. I'll return your money. Gladly. Now will you please go to Ostia alone? <laughs> no! You're my escort, Urk. Mine! You're so clean and tidy. A noble woman like myself can't be seen without a proper escort. Your personality's nothing special, but you're not bad to look at. Uh, oof! <laughs> I believe that's my line. Oof! <laughs> Devastating! And I have to take you all the way to Ostia? I only hope my nerves can endure the journey. <laughs> what are you mumbling about? You're so gloomy. Hmm. 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 Something's happening over there. Let's take a look. Ah, of course. The first opportunity to get involved in trouble and she jumps right in. No amount of money is worth this. Whoo! Wow! A fight! A fight! Urk, take a look! Fighting those bandits! It's a young girl! Fool! Keep your voice down! Yeah, what's this? Hey, you're in league with that she devil! Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah, oh, this is so wrong. Yeah, I'll take care of you with one sip stroke. That's a Japanese sentence. Eek! 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 His name is Urk? Urk, help me! <laughs> so loud. Sarah, behind me. What a Chad. You there, see if you can match me! Look at this- oh, he's an archer. Look at this combat! He's a mage! That scream! Look! Sigurd! Someone's over there! I'm a green unit. Talk. Well, excuse me, princess. You're excused. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Hello?
Hmm. Hmm. These graphics are so useful. <laughs> hmm. Why are you fighting these bandits? Stalwart silence. It just happened. That's not true. Those ruffians thought that we were with you. <laughs> you got us into this terrible situation. Now, how are you going to get us out? <laughs> Sarah, if you'd not been so meddlesome, this all could have been avoided. My apologies. Please trouble yourself with us no more. But if you're going to have to fight anyway, shouldn't we team up? It'll end things faster, right? That's true. Yes, that's a good idea. Urk, go and help these ladies. But I... Fine. Very good. My name's Lynn. So tell me, will you join arms with us? Yes. We... Oh, that's Sarah. Yes, we'd be glad to. My name's Sarah, and this is my escort, Urk. Be a good boy and go fight now, Urk. <sighs> we just met these guys. I, I don't really think we should trust them, but... I guess we can for now, right? <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. Uneasy Alliance. Two new allies. Let's talk about... Two new allies. Let's talk about Sarah and Urk. First up is Sarah. She is a cleric, so she is a staff pot. Two magic? <laughs> I, I don't know why her magic is so low. It doesn't actually matter that much because the base heal staff heals 10. Probably enough. She is made of absolute tissue paper, so if she ever gets touched by any sort of weaponry, she will die. But there's no real reason that she should be exposed to enemies anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm pulling up her growths here. Fifty percent magic growth is actually, you know, perfectly decent. But yeah, with two base magic, Lamau. Her magic is never getting to acceptable levels. Uh, 40% speed, really, it doesn't really matter what her stats are, because she should never be fighting anything anyway. She is a staff bot. When she promotes into Bishop, she then gains the ability to wield Light Magic. Light Magic sucks ass. So even after promotion, yeah, she should never ever be seeing combat. That being said, she can use stabs, which is useful. Oh yeah, she's got plenty of room to grow. Staff bot out of 10. Three stars. I guess that's a spoiler for Urk's rating. Let's try and look at uh, Urk's stats here. Here's Urk! <laughs> Your quintessential early game mage. Five base magic, hey that's better than four base strength, right? Having low magic is much better than having low strength because the vast majority of enemies have very poor or no resistance. So, 5 magic is actually a lot better than it looks. Decent enough speed, not lightning fast, but probably fast enough to double.
taking a peep at his growths here. 40% magic, a bit low. I mean, lower than Syrah, but hey, he has a... Taking a peep at his growths here. 40% magic, a bit low. 10% lower than Sarah, right? But of course he has a much better magic base, so overall he has more magic. 50% speed, probably good enough. I'd say that Urk is somebody you can invest in, and by the end of the game, he'll probably be doubling and one-rounding most enemies, because magic is very good. Perpetual 1-2 range. This guy's pretty good! Uh, look at these Sage promotion bonuses. What the hell is this? Plus four HP, plus one magic, zero skill, zero speed, zero luck, but plus three defense and plus three res? I, I guess we cast mana shield? Like, what is this? Uh, extremely outclassed by Pent, who gives you basically a trained Urk for free with a way better staff rank, but outclassed by Pent isn't really an insult, right? Pent is amazing. This is five con. How heavy is thunder? I think he loses speed to thunder, right? I'm looking at this. So fire in blazing blade is four weight. Thunder, I think, is more. I'm still in Japanese. Thunder. Oh, Thunder is six? Okay. Oh, actually, I do have to say this, right? Anima magic is okay? Anima magic is okay? Urk here has five constitution and fire weighs four, so he doesn't lose any speed from fire. But thunder is a really, really good tome in this game, and thunder weighs six, so unfortunately, Urk does lose one speed to thunder. It's not a big deal, but I always think it's funny that these books are too heavy for people to use. Oh no, this thunder tome! Oh no. Uh, I think that's enough for the stats, right? It's how long you have to read? I feel like that's the difficulty though, right? So it's like the weapon rank? Urk is a very respectable unit. Not gonna... Urk is a very respectable unit overall. Perpetual 1-2 range. Urk is a very respectable unit overall. Always has 1-2 range, gets staff utility upon promotion. And of course, he does have one huge advantage over Pent, which is that Pent is fairly late game, and, well, Urk's here right now. It's a pretty big lead. I will award Urk... Three stars. A very high three stars. You could even argue four stars. Urk's pretty good. And in terms of having a silly name that you'll remember for the rest of your days and maybe chuckle a bit when you hear it. Five stars. Everybody okay with three star Urk? It's a high three stars, arguably four. Alright, are you ready for healer gaming? <laughs> Kanas has dark magic which weighs him down. Wow, this map is really small. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll elsewhere and we can't. Yeah, Kanas' promotion is really good. 
All right, let's see how to do this. Oh, no, Dorcas is in a bad spot. Oh, he's stuck in the forest. All right, we got to get the Iron Axe. I think Sarah can actually survive a shot. Let's get Will up here. Try... I think we can mostly not use our Cavaliers on this map. We, can, we actually have enough bad units to form a real squad, right? Will, Lynn, and Dorcas. And then they can be backed up by healing from Sarah here. Use Florina to transport the Professor? Oh, we can! You're right! Oh, let's get Dorcas into the action next turn. We're gonna- we're gonna drop Dorcas on them! <laughs> uh, let's just put Urk in a forest and heal him with Sarah. Can- Sarah can heal from there. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Sarah's gonna take a shot here, but she's in the forest. She'll be fine. And she doesn't die in one shot anyway. Uh, we're gonna turn healing animations off. Remind me to do that. I think I can do that right now. Oh, because we still have one action. Let's turn healing animations off. We can change the window color. We're not gonna change the window color. <laughs> I think it's the best one, right? What is this? This is horrible. That's too much. Let's just change, let's keep it on green. Strat. What is this? Animation with backgrounds. I guess we want the backgrounds. Okay, we're not going to be healing that much. Alright, let's let the enemies uh, come to us. Yeah, as we thought, they're going to shoot her. Wow, they do no damage. It's notable that uh, healers, they can't actually heal themselves. So she would need a Vulner and she wants to restore her health. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have actually rescued Dorcas. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Well, Dorcas is going to conduct a sneak attack here. Dorcas is going to get him from behind next turn. Got to get rid of this archer so he doesn't shoot Florina here. So our priority here is to kill this archer, which should be pretty easy. I think Lin can do it with the Iron Sword, right? Oh, yeah. Jeez, can you set the game speed to fast? Does that make a difference? I mean, I can. Should I do it? I think Urk, and then we can- oh, we can shoot him. We can finish him with Will. Will from here. He won't be in a forest, but it'll do 10. Can Urk do 8? Wow, yeah, it works pretty good. Oh, it's a movement speed thing? Yeah, sure, I can set it to fast. Alright. Get him, Will. Alright, we just don't want Sarah to get attacked. There we go. Perfect. We'll just move our Cavaliers forward. Seems fast enough already? That's what I thought, but... Are they gonna attack? Oh, they're attacking Will. Oh, six damage to Will. Oh, zero damage to Will! Are we sure he's a bad unit? Alright, we gotta get a Dorcas kill for sure, right? How much damage does Dorcas do? Dorcas with the Iron Axe! Ooh, 12 damage! That's so good! So if we shoot him, easy Dorcas kill, easy Dorcas kill. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> Dorcas, please. Dorcas! <laughs> Dorcas! <laughs> One star!
Dorcas, you're being exiled. Get him, Dorcas. Is he in range of that guy? I think he is. Okay, good. You gotta get ready to heal Dorcas. We'll heal him next turn. Perfect. Who do we uh, support Dorcas with? And who do we support Lin with? Oh no. Bartra? I guess we're using Bartra. Lin and Elliewood? Okay. Ah, oh, Dorcas is getting... Oh, there it is! Alright, we, we can at least get a kill with Dorcas here. We need Carla after all. Oh. oh, exact kill? Exact kill? Exact miss, Will! Manicotti's a one shot, right? Let's do the Manicotti. All right, Dorcas. Show him who's boss. Yeah. <laughs> what a ridiculous animation. Ooh, an iron sword. Of much use to Dorcas. <laughs> so who are we supporting Rebecca with when we get her? I guess Will, right? Unite! We're going for a ride, Lin. Lowen is canon, Rebecca Husbando, really? We're not gonna use any Cavaliers. We can dodge this, we can dodge this. Dodge tank Lin. Yeah, obviously we can't use Pent. Pent is way too good. But we don't even have uh, deployments yet, so I think it's... We're just trying not to use good units. Doesn't mean we can't. Oh, perfect! We can feed this kill to Dorcas, thanks to us not getting strength level ups. Oh! But here's our strength level right now. Lin! Lin! Get him, Dorcas. <laughs> How many times has Dorcas missed like a greater than 80% hit? What is this? <laughs> Oh, good thing we've got Will in the back. Get him, Will. Are we sure Will's one star? <laughs> oh, there's only two enemies left. Gotta visit these houses. Who should go shopping? Probably Florina, right? Florina can actually get attacked if she goes to shop, but I mean, that's fine, right? Oh, javelins. That's really good. We definitely want a javelin. We definitely want a hand axe. Why are bows so expensive? I guess we'll take two hand axes. I've counted two 80 plus misses from Dorcas, but I haven't been paying attention to what game you play anyway. <laughs> Fire Emblem 7! So two 80% misses from Dorcas? He has like a 50% hit rate. We can rescue drop Lin. I don't think... Will Lin kill this guy? He actually might. By the way, this guy has the same strength as base Lin. Let's rescue drop Lin. Oh no, let's do let's do the dwarf. There, no, I shouldn't have done that. I that was a big mistake. Oh, maybe we can drop him on the mountain. Oh, look at this, look at this! Dorcas on the mountain! Okay, Mountain Dorcas is gonna destroy them. Let's visit this house. Magic can be used to attack enemies from both near and far. My man, you were telling this to a mage. 
Plus, you might find that magic can hit an enemy that normal weapons do not harm. However, mages are notoriously susceptible to physical attacks. Just because they're versatile doesn't mean you should put them in harm's way. It does you no good if they are lost because of your carelessness. Wow. We're on a mountain, and he still has 78 hit on us, and one crit. Dorcas, please. <laughs> Dorcas, please. <laughs> Can you see why we rated him one star? 44 hit. Not that mad we missed that one. Don't think the boss moves. Easy kill for Will, though. Close to level up. We get the triumphant music? Definitely want Dorcas to kill the boss, right? And we heal? Uh, do we have to heal? I don't think we have to. I'd rather just keep the heal staff charge. Visit here. Ah, so you're a traveler? Listen to my advice. Handle your money wisely. If you spend too much too soon, you'll run out early and suffer later. There are other shops, so save about, oh, half your money. Okay. Money is important. Yeah, thanks for the tip, lady. I don't think we need Sarah XP. Can... Oh, Lin actually can't reach. I don't think he moves, so we'll just do it next turn. Does this guy even have a hand axe? I don't think he can counterattack. I think Dorcas can just chuck hand axes at him, right? Tell me, are you using the R button? This is very strange. You raid this guy's house. Excuse me, are you using the R button? If there's something you don't understand, use the R button to investigate. It's essential. Place the cursor on a unit and press the R button. This displays detailed information on the unit. You knew that, right? While that information is displayed, press the R button again. That'll give you even more detailed information. Did you know that? The R button can be used in many other places, too. Anyway, when you come across something unfamiliar, try pressing the R button. Won't hurt to remember that. So let's press R. Can that tell me why I keep missing? Fighting skill. A higher number improves the unit's hit percentage. It's time to take on this bug. It's bug! Eight strength. That's more than base Dorcas. One luck. Fifteen con. Level nine brigand. Bug. We're coming for you, bug. Wow, this guy's a lot of health. You're gonna learn why people fear the Ganelon bandits. Oh. Sick crits? <laughs> Fighting skill, good job, Dorcas. Unfortunately, they didn't really do any damage, but... Jeez, how long are you planning to play today? We're probably gonna beat uh, Lin Mode is my plan. All right, we gotta give the kill to Dorcas. Is there a jerk appointment? No, it's Monday, so jerking ends at 2.30 p.m. There's no way I could do it. How much do we do with this? Seven damage. We take 15 damage in return, wow. If we shoot him with Will, then we can kill him with Dorcas, right? Let's do it. If Dorcas fails this, Lin can always save him, right? Here you go, Dorcas. Ah! Ah! Scum. You're all one star. Dorcas level up? Hey, that's 
Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Nicely done, Sigurd! That should just about do it. What a surprise. You were very strong, Lin. Your staff is a wondrous thing. That's what she said. Healing powers amaze me. Only those in the service of good can wield them. You helped us tremendously. Well, it's time for us to go. Take care. Goodbye, Lin. Fare you well. You too, Urk. Goodbye. Yes! <laughs> Well, let's be on our way, Urk. What have we here? Another wildflower? Perhaps a butterfly? We did just complete a- we did just kill a bug. <laughs> what an absolutely delectable creature! You can't say that! Oh my, are you one of Lin's companions? Please, call me Sane! I'm Sarah, I serve House Ostia. Sarah, what a lyrical name! I am in service to Castle Kaelin! Oh, so is Lin a member of the Marquess's family? She's the granddaughter of our lord, the Marquess. Hmm. 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 Such an important person. Sarah, what deviousness are you contemplating now? Tee hee. Having a person of power in your debt is never a bad thing. You can't be serious. Oh, Sane! Do you think we could join the Lady Lindis's company? She seems like such a nice person, and I would ever so much like to help her. Of course, we couldn't be happier. Why, we were only just saying how we needed some more fighting power. Are you being hunted or something? Yes, it's an inheritance dispute. Assassins everywhere. Oh my, in that case, my healing staff and Urk's magic should come in handy. Well, I... Uh, sounds dangerous. Your staff and magic would be extremely helpful. Please wait here. I'll go speak with Lady Lindis on your behalf. Unbelievable. This is fantastic, Urk! Our good deeds will earn us gratitude beyond imagining. I... I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna be ill. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> Maybe we should use Urk. Uh-oh. Evil is afoot. That little girl crossed the border? Yes, Lord Lundgren. She's en route to Arafen. Fool! Send out soldiers to meet her! Hold nothing back! Do anything to finish this now! First the old man, and now the girl. They cling to life like a drowning man to a rock! Double the poison strength! If he struggles, hold him down and pour it down his throat! No! no. I'm not sure if that's refreshed. Poisoned, I guess. <laughs> Once the girl is gone, Caitlin is mine. I will let lo no one stand in my way. Wow. Oh, hey, the next chapter started. At long last, Lynn arrives in the land of her mother's birth. Lycia is a federation of territories, each one ruled by a powerful Marquess. Now, Lynn takes her leave of one of these territories. Arafen, and sets out to meet her grandfather, the Marquess of Galen. However, the Marquess's brother, Lundgren, hungers to rule Galen. He is preparing a deadly welcome for Lin, who stands to threaten his grasp for power. Oh no. Blood of pride. Ooh, scary. Oh, but this music's not scary. What city is this? This? This is Arafen. After Ostia, it's the second biggest city in Lycia. The second biggest. Hmm. Hmm. It does seem awfully busy. By the way, where's Kent? He said he was going ahead to the castle, but... Ah, here he comes now. Wow, he's fast. Milady Lindus, let us proceed... <laughs> Milady, uh, let us proceed to the castle. They've prepared supplies for us. The Marquess has agreed to aid us on our journey to Kaelin. Oh, I'm glad he helps us. Oh yeah, he's gonna help us? Yes. Arafin and Kaelin have enjoyed a sturdy friendship for many years. 
Once I informed the Marquess of our plight, he agreed to lend us his strength. That's nice of him. Looks like we've got a smooth road ahead. Oh, I hope they don't betray us. If we could pick up some soldiers, the road to Kaelin would be that much safer. I'm truly sorry for hardships you've suffered so far. <laughs> don't be silly. You're so capable, Kent. True. Kent? Oh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and so are you, Sane. Of course I am. True. The castle awaits. Oh, this is terrible. The castle is burning. What did you say? What's happening? Smoke from the castle. Hey, what are those men doing? Oh. Who are you? You, you're Lindis, aren't you? Ah, uh, what do you- No questions! Prepare yourself! Ah! <laughs> What? An arrow? Stalwart silence. Who are... Milady Lindis! Are you alright? I'm fine. He... This man saved me. May I ask your name? Well, we asked. I guess he's not obliged to answer. Stalwart silence. Wait! Why did you help me? I thought a Sakane plainswoman was being attacked. I was mis- Wow. Uh, that's definitely... If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Racial tensions. No, you were right, I am from Sakai. I'm Lynn, the daughter of the Lorca chieftain. The Lorca? There were survivors? Yes. You should leave at once. A blaze has started in the castle. Blazing blade? And it's spreading. Don't be foolish and waste the life I just saved. You're from the castle? What's happening? How severe is the fire? Is the Marquess safe? The castle is under attack, and the Marquess has been accosted. That means that they started two rounds of combat with him because they had greater HP. The man who attacked you was probably one of the Marauders. As captain of the castle guard, it's my duty to rescue the Marquess. I see. All right then, we'll help you. Milady? Why? These brigands are after me. If they're attacking the castle, it's because of me. So, I must help if I can. It sounds like you're involved somehow. Let's go, Lin! You'll accept our aid? Thanks for your contribution, Kent. Stalwart silence. And he actually just left. <laughs> like, what was the point of that? I am Wrath of the Kutola. Our tribes may be different, but I will not abandon a woman of the Sake. Thank you, Wrath! A thousand blessings upon you! And a thousand curses upon our enemies! Wow, we actually do have curses and blessings, right? So I guess for- for Wrath... <laughs> a thousand blessings. And for our enemies... A thousand curses. I guess we gotta play it 999 more times. Alright, so... 998. And then we can keep playing. No, I'm not gonna do that. Come! So he joins us automatically, I think. You! What are you doing in my house? Peace, I mean no danger to you. Your home offers a good view of the battle outside. Look, I'll pay you for the privilege, please. Like a vulture waiting for the spoils, eh? Terrible! Pay up! <laughs>
<laughs> I'll be hiding below, so don't bother me. I, I think this counts, right? Mm. Can't believe they put microtransactions in this GBA game. I wouldn't dream of it. Now then, which side has the most to offer? Once the Marquess is safe, my men can move in. Perhaps the secret passageway. Secret passageway? An underground tunnel leading to the throne room. There are triggers in the barracks that will open the tunnel. Head through the passage to the throne room and rescue the Marquess. Once that's done, can you drive the enemy from the castle? We actually do have this line, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> if we can release those triggers, my men and I can handle the rest. There are three triggers, though. All three need to be released or the entrance won't open. But the doors to the barracks are locked. The enemy's within. If we don't get inside and finish them, we're stuck. So opening those doors is our first objective. Wow. What should we do, Sigurd? We don't have any keys with us. Perhaps some of the marauders are carrying keys. Alright. New unit. Wrath of the Lich King. I wish. Ugh, Wrath. He's level 7. Level 7 with 8 strength. Speed 10, that's pretty good. So let's see here. We got a good unit. Wrath. Wrath of the Lich King! I wish. More like Polyrath. Level 7 with 8 strength. I mean, 10 speed, 9 skill. His stats aren't the worst thing ever. Unfortunately, he is a bow unit in Fire Emblem 7. Yikes. In terms of growth, hey, 50% strength, 50% speed, probably good enough. Good enough considering he has reasonable bases. And hey, he does have a horse. Uh, when he... Now, as a nomad, he is... Oh, yeah. Check out his Hector hard mode stats. Wow. In Hector Hard Mode, he actually has better stats. So this is one of the few units that is penalized by actually doing Lin Mode. Wow, he might actually be the only one. As a Nomad, he is unfortunately locked to bows, but the good news is that when he promotes to Nomad Trooper, he does gain an additional weapon type. Swords. So he has one and two range. That's what you meant by one, two range, right? exactly mad at this guy but he's no sin all right sin's definitely way better I wouldn't say I'm mad at wrath but I I'm definitely disappointed he does have a mount and he does eventually have an option to not use bows but unfortunately that option is swords I guess we could say this Ha! 
how do we do this? So, at worst, he is a mounted unit, right? He can ferry people around, and he can eventually escape Bolock Hell. Unfortunately, he escapes that by picking up a sword. I'm not mad at Wrath. I'm just disappointed. Two stars. If only this... If only he wasn't a goody two-shoes. He'd be better if he sinned. Sinned... Sin is much better. If you want to make... Ironically, one of the best ways to make Lin Mode Wrath better is to kill him so that you can get Hector Hard Mode Wrath, who is better, but still not good. Should we use Wrath or not? Do we want to use every bow user? More bow units, the better? Okay. So should we kill him? We should kill him on the last chapter. Yeah, let's kill him. Will you use Luis? We might use Luis. Actual... Actual niche for Wrath. He has some of the highest aid in the game. He's got a very strong horse. He can rescue, I think, almost anybody. It might actually be everyone. Hawkeye might be too big, but everyone else that's not Hawkeye for sure can hop on Wrath's pony. That is a real use. Don't kill him so he's, he's worse. We might kill him just because we want somebody that'll, um miraculously revive. So I think we'll kill him at the very end. Oh, Hawkeye only has 16 con. Wow, what a wimp. I think that's everything for Wrath, right? Can anyone recruit Matthew, or is it only Lynn? I think it's anyone, right? I think they definitely want you to do it with Lynn, right? I mean, they put her right in range. Let's, let's have Lynn do it. Hey, you! <laughs> hey, you, Lin. Can I talk to you? Who are you? I'm Matthew, a specialist in acquisitions of all kinds. Would you like to buy my services? I've no need for a thief. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she knows right away. I've no need for a thief. Really? Now do you plan on opening the barrack doors? What? How'd you know about Bullseye? <laughs> he knows we're using archers. Stalwart silence. Don't be mad. Hire me. For you, I'll even lower my normal rate. Hey, nice guy. I do need those doors opened. Okay, you're hired. Why did you choose to ally yourself with me? Um, I, I think it's because we paid him, right? <laughs> Come on, Lynn. the battle from up above. Your group looked like a lot more fun than the dead guy. <laughs> That's pretty simple, really. You're so odd. It's time to get to work. 
Should we really trust this guy? He seems pretty suspicious. And I was told to trust no one. <laughs> build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. We do have to build an army, though. Uneasy Alliance. Hmm, visiting this house earned us the allegiance of this suspicious fellow. Not sure we should trust him, but it looks like he's on our side for now. I do believe that... Now, although we had to pay him in the cutscene to recruit him, I don't think you actually lose any money, so... There is no cost to recruiting Matthew. You get him for free. Thief stats out of 10? 4 base strength, 11 base speed. Seems about right. Five dollar microtransaction from Solomon Kearns. Thank you for the microtransactions. My reading skills have failed me. What are they star rank to speak of in the description? I haven't heard anything about them. Uh, do you want a description of the star ranks? So it is one to five stars. One being like unusable garbage, total meme. Two being like really disappointing, but not the worst thing ever. Three being like fairly average, you know, not necessarily good or bad. Can easily be made good, but it'll probably be bad if you ignore them. Four being super solid, probably should be fielded on your army but not, like, game-breakingly good, and five stars is... Marcus. Indispensable. Don't leave your base without them. Can you guys guess what this thief's growth rates will look like? Thirty percent strength, seventy percent speed. Seems about right. So, this guy's no Chad. <laughs> Remember that Chad from FE6 actually had insane growth rates, but thieves could not promote in this game. In this game, they can into Assassin using a special item, the Fell Contract. But you don't want to sign this contract, because it's very valuable. You would much rather sell it for a ton of money. Especially because Assassin super sucks. Assassin is terrible. People just think that Assassin is good because Jafar is an Assassin, and Jafar is good, okay? Don't fall for the... sneaky swindle? <laughs> Assassin's terrible. You don't have to level up Matthew, you don't have to promote him. He can do everything he needs to do. He can do everything he needs to do without actually fighting enemies. You should never intentionally be fighting enemies with Matthew. Remember that doors and chests don't fight back. 18 HP, 3 defense. <laughs> One nice thing about Thieves is that even though they are an infantry unit, they do actually have six movement because I guess Thieves are kind of fast. They're so nibble you get that one extra movement. His stats are pretty much just worse than Legault's, but hey, you don't have Legault yet, and you do have Matthew. Matthew is actually a l Matthew is actually extremely useful. Uh, on Hector mode specifically, because he's one of Hector's starting allies. In fact, I think he's the only one. And there are a ton of goodies that you can only get with Matthew. Matthew has to be the one to steal them, or the one to open the door or chest. Thief utility out of five. How many stars is that? Three? He's pretty useful. But he should never be fighting anything. Ever. Good for filching, not for fighting. Oh, that's good. Good for filching, not so much for fighting. 
But I don't think you should penalize him for having bad combat, because he's not supposed to be fighting anything anyway. We might actually even give him four stars, because he does do a lot for you. I think because we are ranking based on Hector hard mode, where he does actually have a lot of extra utility. Sure. Four stars! And hey, he even has almost blonde hair, so he can hang out with those other four-star units. Congratulations, Matthew. If only he had the Infinity Edge, then he might actually be a combat unit, but that might be a different Matthew. Why is Bada four stars? He should probably be five. Everybody okay with begrudging four-star Matthew? Are we allowed to bring him for chest maps only? Yeah, we should check to make sure. I mean, he's not really going to be fighting anyway. So we'll probably give Legault three stars, is what I'm thinking. She stopped rating units. Tell me what these star rankings are. Cater to you specifically? I did say, right? I, I did actually explain the star ratings after you paid me to do it, right? I guess I'll do it again. Ugh. No, I don't me the unit ratings. I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> I'd give Matthew a two? Really? No. You mean the star rankings? Oh, those star rankings. Oh, okay, you're right. So, um, there's a couple star rankings that rate your performance. I guess? Uh, it happens at the end of each campaign. So, there's funds ranking, which is pretty much how much money you have. And it counts the weapons that you actively have. So, it's, it's a terrible system. Because if you actually use durability on your expensive weapons, you lose funds ranking. It's really dumb. There's tactics, which is basically how quickly you clear the maps in terms of turns. There's combat, which I think is how many encounters you take and actually win. Basically, you want to one-round things, and that gives you a better a, a better combat rank. I think there's a survival rank, so you lose survival ranking if your units die. That one's pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. Well, they definitely want you to open this door with him. Wow, useful. Alright, our Cavaliers, we're probably going to have them visit these houses. Can anyone see combat this turn? Florina can maybe weaken them for Will and Dorcas to pick up the scraps. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We can't do business with all the fighting in town. You're mercenaries, right? Can't you do something? Huh? You can't get the barracks open? I bet a thief with a set of picks could open any door you needed. Hold on, I may have something here to help you. Here it is! This is it! One door key! Not quite Dorcas, we got the door key. Door keys can only be used once, but anyone can use them. Here, no charge! Now go get those thugs, will you? I think we've got a- oh. Oh, we have to pick one to discard? Oh, that's really bad. We don't have a convoy yet. Thanks for the key. We don't need the key. Sarah just needs to be here. Uh, Will can get attacked. We don't want Will to get attacked. Tactical retreat by Will. And we probably don't want Urk to get attacked. Uh, if I move Kent, can Urk get attacked? Well, actually, they're gonna attack Dorcas, right? Ah, Dorcas can take it, right? Dorcas can take it. So, what's your weapon of choice? Swords, lances, spears? Really feels like it should have been swords, lances, axes, right? Swords, lances, lances, 
Or do you favor bow bows or magic? Staves? Axes and shambles? Whatever it may be, the more you use it, the more skilled you become. Swinging your sword about will allow you to master it. Eventually, you'll be able to wield weapons of greater power. It's as they say, practice makes perfect. You can check your skill level by pressing the R button. Hey, how come R isn't in uh, red this time? Thanks for the tip, old man. He's from Valencia. <laughs> okay, Wrath is kind of beefy. We can have him attack Wrath. It's probably it for our turn. I don't think Sarah needs to move. Wow, one damage. They might have made this segment a little bit too easy. Wow, one damage. They might have made this segment a little too easy. Alright, Sane. We're gonna use your excellent mobility to stand on this tile. Well, now this looks to be the trigger. Milady Linda's two triggers left. Gonna have our armor knights visit these houses. Or our social knights visit these houses. Surely the best use of their talents, right? This guy's a bandit. How much damage does Will do? 10 damage. So you have to deal 8 damage to them. How much damage does Florina do? Oh, slim lance moment. How about with the javelin? Javelin does- And she gets doubled! What in the world? Weighs 11. Oh my god! No! Oh! <laughs> Four gone! Horrible! Oh, Florina level up. Oh no, just 10 XP. Alright, here we go. Get him, Will! Exact kill for Will? Oh, we'll level up. Here we go. Will has gotten either strength or speed each level. One or the other. Never both. Not that bad. Alright. What's our accuracy? Oh my god. It's terrible. We have to deal 7 damage. How much does uh, Urk deal? 10. Perfect. Probably won't watch much of FE since I haven't played them and don't want too many spoilers. Uh, I think you can... I mean, I guess there's spoilers for this game, but... It's probably fine. Get him, Dorcas! Chops! There's nothing else down here, right? Oh, there's that door. We probably want to get in that door, right? Can I reach this chest? Oh, six movement! Six movement! Angelic robe. Uh, give it to Lin? Probably Lin, right? Angelic robe uh, increases your HP. Dorcas or Lin? Dorcas doesn't need HP. The captain of the Marquesa's guard is a fellow named Wrath. Ever met him? <laughs> I've heard tell that he's a nomad from the plains of Sake. Hey, you kind of look like a nomad from the plains of Sake. <laughs> Odd, considering how the Marquesso obviously hates the Nomads. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm looking for it. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Racial tensions. I guess the Marquess is pleased to have a nomad under his control. Uh oh The ways of aristocrats are beyond my comprehension. He also apparently doesn't know what a nomad looks like. But if Dorcas caps his HP, then he can improve his other stats? True! Using the, uh, the bonus XP. Yeah, I wish we had a door key. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh. Hey, it's our first enemy lance units. We know who to... We know exactly who can deal with these lance units, right? Get him, Dorcas! Are they gonna move? I hope so. 
Uh, we can probably do some rescue dropping to get Matthew over there, right? We're probably going to give the angelic robe to Lin. Visit this house, Kent. The Marquess of Arafin's hatred for the people of Sakae is well known. Uh-oh. Nomads are barred entrance to the city on the Marquess's order. That's definitely... If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Racial tensions. He says he will not allow the Nomads' stench to infect his city. Oh! Long ago, the Marquess was in love with Marquess Kalen's daughter. It said she spurned him in favor of a nomadic prince. Even so, I think the Marquess goes too far in his treatment of the horsemen. And she calls them horsemen. I thought she was our friend, but I guess she's also... If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Contributing to the racial tensions. Gotta get Will ready to shoot that guy. Wrath can visit here. We can't- Oh wait, no, we already did that. But the door didn't close. They're called Bone Agarathos would be proud. Agarathos. I'm starting to hate that man. Oh, that guy knows he has to guard the treasure. Alright, we'll get him with a combo here. Okay, we can't even reach him. Dude, maybe Dorcas doubles. Lolgers. Didn't even level up. Thanks, Dorcas. Ah, uh, only red roofs have items. Okay, so this is just dialogue. Oh, we've seen this guy before. Okay. D double Dork! Uh, I mean, Matthew can just reach next turn anyway. So let's get ready to, uh, let's get a rescue chain for Dorcas, right? I guess Lin can fight this bandit? Like, th these soldiers, they're called Lolgers for a reason. I'm pretty sure if I picked up a spear, I would be stronger than this guy. Three strength, zero skill, one speed, zero luck, zero death, zero res. More con than Florina. No wonder Dorcas doubled and killed them. Horrible. This is hard mode, by the way. We need that guy on the team. Actual, yeah, he has minus two attack speed. Because look, the Iron Lance weighs, the Iron Lance weighs eight. And he only has six con. So he actually has minus one attack speed. Actually horrible. Does he move? He has the lift key. I wonder if there's anybody in this room. Uh oh. Good thing we came prepared. Get him, Dorcas! <laughs> Dorked. Double dork? Can I have speed, please? I really need speed. I really need speed. Oh! Dorcas! At least we got skill. I guess we can just wait here, right? Oh. That's trigger number two. Where's the last one? Does this guy have a javelin? No, he doesn't. Bool! <laughs> what about Bool? Can Lin one round this guy? I wish I had one more strength. Uh, 
Uh, set the kill up perfectly for Will. He has four cred, that's pretty good. Bool. It is the real Doyle, yeah. I like the win condition in the bottom right. Hit switches. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this is probably a treasure item, right? So we have to get Matthew up there. Matthew has six move, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we should go here. Check out this advanced movement, okay? I think this will work. So Matthew goes... Ah, oh, it didn't work. It's not the end of the world. Uh, five stars? Okay, well, that wasn't quite right, but it, 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 it does work. Wrath doesn't do anything. Control the power of effective weapons? Alright. So first off, let's try Will here. How much will Will do? Wow, he actually doesn't do zero. That's kind of crazy. So... Lin with the ineffective iron sword only does one. Pathetic. Wow, she takes 17. <laughs> but with the manikati. Wow, effective weapons. Amazing. I think we can give Lin the kill, right? But only if Will is able to soften him up. Bah! Lindis and her cadre. Cadre? When did you arrive? No matter. I shall deal with you by standing here and getting shot. I won't hit the switch. Alright, let's see. We gotta open this door, so we gotta get this guy out of the way. I mean, Will definitely doubles, right? This is so sad. Imagine getting doubled and killed by Will as you just stand there. Lolgers. Oh wow, weapon level increased. Oh, a door key. Ooh, a treasure chest. Okay, so we can end the map next turn. Alright, what's in here? That's good. And he- does he have the angelic robe? He does. We should probably give the angelic robe to Lin, right? Alright, we'll end the map next turn. Boss with no two rain. Oh. <laughs> I guess you can't trade twice. We want to lower our rank anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Armor Slayer in this game is not very good. What an angel! Max HP increased. Now we have 29. That's still one less than base Dorcas. Why on Lin? Because we're going to be using Lin. Now maybe she won't die in one shot. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Can we get a crit and save one durability? I believe. Easy. Ah! Lord Lundgren! Easy. Oh, one less weapon XP. 
And who else could seize? Oh, it has to be Lin. <laughs> oh, it's not a seize. It's a... A will could have done it. Ah, oh, sorry. This is the final one. We should be good to go. Here it is, Sigurd. The hidden passageway. Good work. We'll let Wrath take over from here. I, I think Wrath didn't do anything this map. Ah, it's Wrath. Man, this guy looks evil. You've done well. What a performance. I bet he didn't expect us to do it, because we're not a, uh, we're not from Vern or Ostia. Sir, if you have praise, it should be given to this group. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, who are you? My name is Lindis. I'm pleased you're well. Oh, it's you. You're Marques Kalins. Leave us wrath. I would speak with this girl. This guy looks like, uh, that Star Wars guy, the main bad guy. Thank you for your contributions, Wrath. Stalwart silence. Now, Lady Lindis, do you know the identity of those responsible for this uproar? Bad move. I believe it to be the work of my granduncle Lundgren. That's exactly right. Which means my castle has been damaged in your family's petty inheritance dispute. My, my apologies. When I heard that Lady Madeline's daughter was in trouble, I thought to lend my assistance. I find I've changed my mind. I withdraw my offer. Marquess Arafin, you gave me your word, my lord! Stalwart silence. Your name is Kent, is it not? You failed to inform me of one most vital detail. I mean, I already know what he's going to say, right? I'm going to play this in advance. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. What? What do you mean? This girl does resemble Lady Madeline, but... I didn't expect to see her so tainted with the blood of Sake. What? you feel the Marquess of Kaelin would be troubled to meet this nomadic mongrel? Oh! If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Racial tensions. You! Chain, hold! My apologies, my Lord Marquess. Hmm. 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 Your man, your man is poorly disciplined. Marcus Arafin, please, if you would grace us, we, we don't want this guy's help. He doesn't have anything else to say to us. Oh, that's not right. Well, this guy is very shadowy, though. Stalwart silence. Well, it's better that this guy say nothing rather than slurs, right? I hear Marquez Kalen is ill and abed. I question whether he will survive to meet this girl. In which case, his brother Lundgren will claim his title. And I certainly wish to avoid trouble with the coming Marquez. You, you scheming... Sane. I understand. Can't Sane. We take our leave at once. Lady Lindus, we... I am proud of the sake blood that runs through my veins. I will not accept aid from one who disparages my heritage. True! Girl Boss Lin! We don't need this guy! That was well done, milady. That Marquess is a lout. I agree! Don't worry about anything. We're all here for you. Isn't that so, Kent? I beg your forgiveness. Why are you apologizing, Kent? I've been so concerned with seeing you to Kaelin. I failed to take your feelings into account. 
Is that so? Trouble yourself no more. You have put my safety above all else. I have seen that. Hold your head up and be proud. Lady Lindis. Good character. Ah, arrogant child. If she had but shed a single tear, I would have granted her request. Evil? We, who is he talking to? Uh, we Lycian nobles will never understand those prideful savages. Savages? Oh my, this guy's awful. <laughs> what? If you want something done right, leave it to a human. This guy hasn't seen Pocahontas. <laughs> I guess he was talking to Wrath. Are those your true feelings towards the nomads of Sake, my lord? I mean, he knew this, right? What? Oh, Wrath, I didn't see you there! <laughs> well, my comments don't reflect on you. You're one of the good ones. You're my captain, I'm proud of- He literally says that, you're one of the good ones. You're, one of you're my captain, I'm proud of your service. Of course. As long as we bend our knee to you, you do not care where we're from. Or you care not where we're from. But when an equal comes from my lands, what conceit. Wrath, how can you speak to me like that? I've treated you well, have I not? I've paid you well. I've treated you better than your kind deserves. You will never understand. My service ends here. Yeah, we're out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Racial tensions. <laughs> the Marquess of Arafen. He said my grandfather was ill. We gotta use Wrath, right? We must hurry to Kaelin. Yeah, this is a Nintendo game, by the way. I've treated your kind well, have I not? Excuse me? As we approach Kaelin, Lundgren's obstacles be will be more difficult to overcome. However, I've vowed to see you through to the end, lady. I'm counting on you, Kent. I'm with you, too. Thank you, Sane. Sigurd. Thank you for always standing at my side. It's because of all that, all of you, that I... I will persevere. They will never break my spirit. Yeah, let's go, Lin. Man, why do people hate Lin mode? Oh. Man, this is not a very talkative guy. <laughs> Wrath, what is it? What are you... I overheard the Marquess talking to himself. I didn't know he was super racist, but he told me he was. <laughs> Lynn of the Lorca, proud daughter of the Sake. I would join you. I would add my strength to yours. Really? And this. I want you to take it. This is... Gold? Maybe this is Pocahontas. <laughs> Gold! It's too much. I can't accept it. I have no need for it, and if it will help you... I cannot take back something once offered. Uh, Wrath, I thank you. 5,000 gold! <laughs> Reddit gold! Ooh. How do we start the next sentence? Or next chapter? Oh, we did it! $5 donation from uh, Boss Rollip. It's not quite 5,000 gold, but thank you for the generous microtransaction. Need to see a playthrough of this. Lots of neat use in this game. Looking forward to seeing lots of stinkers, too. Yeah, we've got a couple of those on our team. Lynn takes her leave of Arafin, finding no aid from its spiteful Marquess. Bad move. Now, she and her companions resume their march towards Kaelin in earnest. I guess we weren't serious about marching before. Racing against time with her grandfather's life the prize. Harried and impatient, Lynn presses onward. Suddenly, a young boy appears and pleads for their assistance. Oh, I wonder if he's a good unit. What kind of weapon does he use? It's like an instrument? I don't think he can do any fighting. Doesn't seem that good to me. Siblings abroad. Please. Somebody, somebody please help me. That's enough. Get out now. I want none of your trouble. But sir, why? You were so kind yesterday. I thought you two were just kids. A couple of traveling performers. 
If those men are chasing you, you must be up to no good. Now get up and get out! You're a plague on decent folk. No, but... What a mess. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Where are we, Ken? This is Catholic. If we head due south, we'll pass into Kalen. From here, I'd say we're about 10 days right. Oh, yeah, we are going to do 19xx. Uh, so, we probably have to level up. Um... What's his name? I'm playing the flute, by the way. W what's his name? Nils. From here, I'd say we're about 10 days ride to Kaelin Castle. Assuming we don't run into any delays, of course. Yeah, I hope we don't run into any of those. 10 days. For this. Pardon me, but... That's close enough, right? Well, excuse me, princess. You're pardoned. <laughs> excuse me, but... Yes, can I help you? It's probably nicer than that, right? Yes, can I help you? You and your friends, are you mercenaries? And if we- wait, why is she so mean? What? Maybe she was passive-aggressive there. Yes. Can I help you? You guys are mercenaries, right? And if we are? Lynn, what's the attitude? I need your help! Milady Lindus, you mustn't let your guard down, not even for a child. Kent. Are you saying we shouldn't trust him? Perhaps that we should trust no one? <laughs> Kent, why are you so wary? I know. Forgive me, but we're in a hurry. Is there something else you- Is there someone else you can ask? <laughs> there is no time. Ninian's been- It's my sister. Some men have taken her away. Your sister, you say? Did you say your sister's been accosted? Sane. That's right. By some cruel, awful men. I don't know what I'll do without Ninian. Milady Lindus, we have to help hi him, right? Uh, yeah. Nonsense, we haven't the time. You can't. Kent. If the Marquess is as ill as we've heard, we must proceed. I guess he is focused on the mission. Kent, I... I want to help this child. Milady? I'm worried about my grandfather, of course. But this! I cannot stand by and let a child be taken from her home. I see. I'm sorry, Kent. I am your loyal retainer. You owe me no apologies. You must do as your heart dictates, Milady. I will follow you, no matter where that may lead. Thank you. Such a noble speech. Ever the true knight, that one. Ah, well, you're in luck, laddie. Yeah, let's go get your sister. <laughs> will you lead us to this... Will you lead us to the men who've done this? Uh-huh. They're really tough, so be careful. Leave them to us. We're pretty tough ourselves. Right, Sigurd? Uh-oh, a man in dark robes. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Found him. Come on, it's back to Nurgle with you. Quiet now. No, let Ninian go. We ain't supposed to kill you, but we sure can't rough you up. <laughs> Get him! Oh. Huh? Who do you think you are? Lynn. Let the boy's sister go. Ah, so you want to help the kid, huh? What a shame. You gonna die for something that don't concern you. You think so, do you? Do we look so meek to you? I think you're in for a terrible shock. <laughs> we can shock him, right? He's on screen right now. Let's use our lightning magic. Hmm. A bolt of brilliance. Shocked. <laughs> Stupid girl, you'll regret those words. Take him down, boys! Preparations! We gotta defeat Heinz! <laughs> Not Heinz! 
The worst condiment. We actually have battle preparations. I'll make you eat those words. So we can actually undeploy some units. Yeah, we're gonna grind nils. Unfortunately, you have to get nils to level 7. Does it have to be on this chapter? It's just within Lin mode. Yeah, we can deselect the good units. Let's, uh, let's check the map. It has to be within Lin mode. Okay, so we don't have to grind it this time. Are there any, uh, stealables for enemies? Heights. No, no. Oh, well, that's just droppable. So we don't actually need. Uh, we don't actually need Matthew. I think we do want Wrath. So goodbye to good units. And we'll keep Florina around, uh, actually... I mean, Urk can do the rescue- or Wrath can do the rescue drops, right? It's probably good. Oh, you- you have to clear it in under 15 turns for the Gaiden? Okay, okay. So, no grinding on this one. Thanks for the warning. Considering that, we might actually use, uh... We'll have these guys rescue drop. We'll just try not to fight with them. Let's get our inventory squared away now that we can actually trade. I guess I'll take this armor slayer and iron sword. I mean, it's not like Matthew's gonna need him. Wrath only has a short bow. We need another bow. We only have 20 uses on our bow. Can Will even use the short bow? I think he can. Let's use Urk. Urk's probably too good. Like, Urk's, Urk's definitely a solid 3-star. Like, almost 4-star. We're gonna try not to. At least you're not bored out of your mind with this game. I'm glad. Uh, Iron Sword here on Florina. This is fine. We bought javelins and hand axes and not a bow. I mean, D D Dorcas is packing, right? Dorcas is ready to go. <laughs> Uh, we can change our formation, right? Oh, we can. Dorcas to the front. Will to the front. Ah, uh, we're ready to go. And here we can buy magic tomes. Is there an armory? There's no armory, so we're at, we actually might be out of bows here. It's fine. It's fine. Let's save here. Probably ready to go here. Just in case, I will. Save on my Nintendo PC as well. Alright, let's go. Who's this? I see we're facing a shaman, Sigurd. I've heard that practitioners of the dark arts are fearsome foes. We have to be careful. What? Who are you? Please forgive me. I never meant to startle you. Your robes. They look like religious vestiary. Do teenagers know what vestiary means? Are you an Elamine bishop? Yes. Well, no. I'm only an acolyte. My life for Elamine. <laughs> My name's Lucius. Do you have any business with us? Or do you have business with us? I was at the inn when this child came seeking help. The innkeeper was afraid to get involved. He was unpleasant. I wasn't afraid of him. I'm used to being treated that way. That's awful. May I please lend you my services? I truly wish to help the boy, if only a little. Of course. Thank you very much. The blessing of Saint Elamine be upon you. All right. Two new units to talk about.
Are we sure we can trust this guy? We could barely trust Nails. I mean, we'll take all the help we can get, right? <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. Uneasy Alliance. First up is... We got Lucius with the Luscious Locks. Seven base magic, look at that, and ten base speed, whoa! Don't look at the defense. Ah, oh, six resistance, wow! Resistant guy! I think Lucius has some of the best offensive magical growths in the game. Let's get his growths up here. Oh yeah, look at that! 60% magic, 10% more than Urk, and 40% speed. With a really good base speed stat of 10. So you have got tons and tons of magic firepower coming your way. So when it comes to firepower, Lucius is packing. Did I say fire? I meant light. Uh oh. Although Lucius himself does have super good base magic and magic growth. Lightning Tome. Might 4! Light magic really sucks. It's the Swords of Magic. Not quite as bad, because it is at least 1-2 range, so like, it is better than Swords, but god, light magic sucks. <laughs> it's so bad! Uh, if he didn't use light magic, I would probably actually say... I... If he didn't use light magic, I I'd probably actually give him four stars. <laughs> Super good offensive growths. Magic is great, even if it is light magic. But, yeah. If it... Hmm... If it wasn't for the magic type... Uh, uh, Lucius being a monk actually promotes to bishop and not sage. And a bishop upon promotion actually gets C rank staves, which is much better than E rank for sages. The big downside is that he is still locked to light magic. <laughs> light magic sucks! Uh, the Weapon Triangle does actually exist in this game for magic, so Lucius does have Weapon Triangle advantage against uh, Dark Magic users, but the Weapon Triangle doesn't really matter that much for magic because all magic is so accurate anyway. And Lucius dodging magic doesn't really matter that much anyway because he does have really good resistance, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> If he actually could use anima magic, I would say that he's such an offensive juggernaut, I would actually give him four stars, but... I'm just not seeing it. I guess the light is too bright. Three stars. Oh, I guess we can do this. Lucius is such an offensive juggernaut that I would actually give him four stars, especially considering that he actually has Lin mode training that he can do. How bright do his stars shine? Twinkle, twinkle. Three stars. But a high three stars. I, I do want to say, don't... I do want to say, I am slandering light magic here, I do think it's terrible, but he has such good magic that eventually, he does do a lot of damage. It's just that, 
I, I really wish that it wasn't damaged with light magic. It could have been even better. Everybody okay with a three-star Lucius? Okay. Now, Lucius gets three stars, but he's not the only boy... Lucius gets three stars, but he's not the only little boy who joined us this chapter. We get this dude, Nils, a fan-favorite character from Fire Emblem Engage. That's what they... That's what people mean by Nils, right? Oh, sorry. Nils, not to be confused with Nil. They're completely different characters with very distinct names. Literally zero strength and zero skill. So what is this guy gonna do? Nothing, right? Can't even fight. Five stars, baby! <laughs> Bard is this game's version of Dancer, although Dancer is actually also in this game, it's his sister. So his sister Ninian is literally the same character. They share stats and XP and everything, and they're functionally identical. It's just that you don't have them at the same time. So for story reasons, Nils and Ninian flip-flop in terms of who's actually in your army. But things that happen to Nils also happen to Ninian. His stats don't really matter. They could all be zero, but it's nice that they're not. He does actually have a lot of speed and luck, so he is quite dodgy. You still shouldn't actually let him get attacked, but if he does get attacked, he'll probably be fine, at least once. Somebody said, Playing flute with zero skill? Excuse me. You can press the R button to learn more. Fighting skill. So he can have zero skill in terms of stats, but still be skilled enough to play the flute. Trying to find the uh, the stats page here. Here it is. For some reason, even though strength and skill do literally nothing for him, he can't equip weapons. He has a 5% growth in both of those stats. Why? <laughs> but wow, 85% HP, 70% speed, 80% luck, 30% defense, 70% resistance? Like, these are very, very, very high numbers. This guy really isn't even that frail. Wow. Are we sure this is just a little kid? Hmm. Hmm. You're gonna head to bed? Good night. Now, although he only refreshes one unit a turn... Now, although he only refreshes one unit a turn... Nils and Ninian actually have another thing they can do in this game. It is... Phyllis Might? Nils and Ninian actually have another thing they can do in this game. They can wield special... Rings, I think? I'm not quite sure what they are, but they actually let you stat buff. Some of your other units for one turn. I think it's either plus 10 strength magic or plus 10 skill speed. It's, it's a gigantic buff, and that is very useful, but it does have limited uses. So you have to be careful about when you use it. Their refresh action, either the flute for Nils or the dance for Ninian, that's free, and you can do it every turn, and you should do it every turn. No matter what it is you're trying to do in Fyral, I can't explain every way that dancers or refresh units are useful. Just watch any playthrough and you will quickly learn their true value. It, it cannot be described. 
It, it even goes beyond five stars. No matter what you're doing, you should be using a dancer. If you are try-harding the game, trying to finish it as fast as possible with the best units, dancers help you do that. If you're trying to use Dorcas <laughs> and Will, well, guess what? Dancers help you do that too. Five stars. All right. Let's play the chapter. I mean, we can, I think we can use Nils, right? Because we're using him to use our bad units. I think that's allowed. He's probably the only five-star unit we're actually going to use. You can't beat double Dorcas, okay? So the game definitely wants us to use Lucius here. How does he do? He doesn't even kill him. Bad unit. Sick animation, though. Now, who gets this kill? Yeah, let's go. Iron Axe. We double him. <laughs> wow, Dorcas one-rounded him. Dorcas actually would have one-rounded. Alright, Dorcas. To the front! Oh. Look at Nils' little shorts. Up and at him, Dorcas. And look, we can even counter-attack because we have the hand axe. Oh, only Dorcas could do that. I guess Will could do it too. Are we sure Will is a one-star unit? <laughs> One-rounded by Will! Quick question, has anyone ever seen Lucius and Bridget in the same room together? Ah, curious. Uh, there is a chapter limit here, right? Or a turn limit? I think we'll be okay. Hmm. 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 Maybe I could get some firewood out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, you're just passing through? Pay me no mind, I was just thinking out loud. You see, there's an old tree on the other side of this mountain. It's just a dead old snag, really. I was just thinking of some way I could put it to good use. As I said, it's nothing that need concern you. Ah, curious. Hmm, a snag. Is this just the snag swap challenge number three? Unfortunately, I won't call you a fake fan if you stop watching the stream now. This is going to be exactly like the previous two Snag Swaps challenges, so... You don't have to watch if you don't want to. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. This is where the Snag Emote came from, by the way. It's this thing. Dude. What if we do a Dorcas drop? What if we do a Dorcas drop? We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Hop on, Dorcas. We're going for a ride. Dorcas dies? Ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. Do we have inventory space? We'll take a Vulnery, right? And we'll take a heal. I love Volnary. It's my favorite item. Cheers.
Refreshed. <laughs> Got here late. What's a snag swap? Never read a stream title before. You can't get me. We propose we call rescue dropping Dorcas a door dash from now on. Okay. We're gonna Dorcas dash him, okay? New tech just dropped. Can this guy reach us? No, right? No. So we can just move Wrath all the way forward. Dorcas has a Vulnery, right? I think we'll be okay. And Dorcas has the Hand Axe equipped, so he should be fine. I think we might need a Rescue Drop. We might need a Dance. Yeah, we're gonna need a Dance. Because we actually don't want Florina to be in trouble. We're definitely playing around with this one. Ah, uh, get ready. Here we go. Here comes the Dorcas Drop! We're put in the forest. They'll never see that coming. <laughs> Get him, Dorcas. Yes! Can Lynn reach the... Oh, she can. Does Will one round? No, he doesn't double. Does Wrath. Ah, uh, but then... Uh, I think we can weaken him with Sane, right? Yeah, and then, uh, Will can kill him. Oh, hey, it's Akira! Are you getting Nils to level 7? Yes, we are gonna get Nils to level 7. Uh, probably in the final chapter, though. Are we sure Will's a one-star unit? Look at that. Oh, these are Black Fang enemies. I didn't notice that. Oh, an Iron Lance. We need a Dork Dash graphic? We can add that. What happened when Nils gets to level 7? Uh, nothing, but you need it for an, a chapter that happens later on. Much later on. It's really annoying, they don't tell you anything about that. Okay, Lynn is really far behind. Now she's in front. Oh. That's far behind. We didn't really move her that far up. Black Fang enemies, I did notice they were pretty easy to beat. Let's see how Dorcas does. Here it comes. Oh, she might they might actually attack uh Florina though. Are these really the Black Fang's finest? One damage. No. He knows not to mess with Dorcas. I wonder if we get doubled. Are we sure Florina's a five-star unit? Okay, we're kind of choked here. Okay, I, I might have made a mistake. Is there a turn limit on this map or no? There is, okay. God, this is such a terrible turn. I'm so sorry. This was so bad. <laughs> oh, 15 turns. Never mind. We're totally fine. I guess this is a tutorial, so... Yeah, 15 turns is a zillion. We're, we'll be fine. It's what? It's like turn two. So Dorcas deals 11 damage twice. This guy has 22 HP. Double Dorkum. <laughs> what if we dodge? <laughs> Dorked. Oh, we're such a high level. We can have Florina rescue drop this guy, right? And then have him fight the boss, and then have uh, Dorcas mop up the uh, the spoils. Have to go to the guidance chapter to get the hammer? We gotta do it. I guess we can put this monk here, whatever. Oh, Will's injured. Better heal him. Alright, 
let's see if this works. Who are you supposed to be? Playing the heroes in some foolish knightly romance? You may think you're helping the children, but you're only rushing to your doom! Oh, this guy's so evil. But he only deals three damage. Well, actually deals zero. Heinz. <laughs> oh, perfect. Aw, oh, my, man my Manicotti uses. The Manicotti uh, gets refreshed in Hector mode, so it's actually okay if uh, it breaks. Uh oh. They might have made these enemies a little too easy. Oh, that bandit's gonna destroy the village. I mean, we're gonna be fine. Wow, um, five stars? Six. Oh, we have like no HP. Did we get hit? Oh, we did. Wow. Easy kill. Easy kill! Like shooting fish in a barrel. Only Will could do it. God. Lin. I don't want the guy to be on the mountain, so I'll put Lin here. And Iron Sword's probably good enough. Sarah, unfortunately, cannot heal herself. Uh, we probably want to get Nils up there as soon as we can, right? Rescue drop? Look at this! So did you see that? Nils was here. Now he's here. That's why Florina is five stars. Lin mode is peak gaming? No, she's on planes. This is a peak though. All right. So how much damage does Dorcas do to this guy? It's 11 damage. We do it, right? We do it for sure. you think that Dorcas can defeat Heinz? Oh, you know, that ends the map! Emergency maneuvers from Dorcas. <laughs> I did that so that the boss wouldn't attack Lucius and get himself killed. Oh yeah, obviously Dorks is gonna get the final- wait, does he not heal? We can get the village here? So how much do you know about magic, huh? Magical attacks are special. You can't just avoid them like a sword or an axe. Not even if you're wearing armor. It's probably just a bad translation, because you can dodge magic in this game. Who's tough against magic? Let me think. Well, anyone who uses magic or staves. Pegasus Knights, too. Hmm. 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 You got others who need to battle magic users? I got something for them. It's a special kind of water. Pure water, it's called. Just sprinkle a bit on you. It'll protect you and lessen the damage you take a bit. Go on, take it. Don't be so shy. It's not like I'm giving you gold or anything. This stuff's strongest when you first put it on. It gets weaker as time passes, so be careful. So he's basically admitting that what he's giving us is worthless. Pure water. Thanks. You can't even drink it. Cheers. Refreshed. <laughs> Pure waters are actually pretty useful. 
they're a large part of why resistance is useless, because you can just use pure water if you actually need it. Can't believe I didn't end the chapter, because I wanted to get pure water. Ugh. What are, you, what are you looking at? Will level, here we go! Will! <laughs> At least he's skilled. Skill will. Probably turn the animations off for Nils. Lynn. Lynn, can I have another point of strength, please? What is this? Crits? Crits? Lynn! <laughs> Lynn! Lynn! One star. <laughs> What's Gouda? Not Lin's strength and not Will's levels. Oh. What do we do here? Oh, we already did that turn. Okay. Once we defeat Heinz, the chapter ends. That's a lot of damage. Oh. Now remember, you can't dodge magic. It's not like swords or axes. <laughs> I, he was right. Yeah, you can't dodge magic. <laughs> Lin. Is Iron Sword good enough? Lin. Is Manicotti good? Lin. <laughs> I wish I had another point of strength! We could actually die here. If we don't crit him and he hits us both times, we die. If only we had pure water. Like, the chances are so small, though. The chances are so small. Easy crit. Dodge or crit on the second hit, please. Okay, we're fine. Lin! <laughs> Lin! <laughs> Can we dance? Ah, oh, no, we can't. What about this, though? What if we crit him? What if we crit him? Will. Will. Alright, I think we're gonna try and end the map next turn. So we'll actually do this. Heinz is healing. Oh, he's retreating. We want to not crit him here. Perfect. Good job, Wrath. Oh, what a tank. Alright, let's get him. Easy will kill with the with the iron bow. Right between the eyes. Good job, Will. And we'll take the let's actually do this. 
Because we've seen the animation enough times already, right? Let's go to options. And we're just turning the animation off for the characters that we don't actually want to have animate. There we go. Free XP! Oh, it's so cute. All right, Lin. Well, at least it's a guaranteed kill, and she does level up. Strength level or you're fired. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, she gets hit by magic a lot, right? Sorceries. Good thing we've got resistance. I wish I had strength, though. Yeah, lucky. Sure feels like it. Vis oh. We sure this is just an innkeeper? Quite a group you've gotten yourself involved with. You do know you're facing the Black Fang, right? Anyone they target winds up. Well, you know. No one escapes the Fang! That's what they say, anyway. You and those odd children? I'd say you're finished. Not that I'll have any part of it, of course not! Uh, I, I, we're gonna give that in a one star review pretty spooky. However, this unit gets five stars. Let's go, Dorcas. If we don't look at the hit rate, it's a hundred. Got him! <laughs> you were only striking it. Yeah. You are too late. The girl is already... <sighs> Easy. Yes! Speed level up, please. Please, speed. I'll take strength, okay? Good job, Dorcas. We won. <laughs> Nils, where's your sister? Ninian. Ninian. She's not here. Why? Where could she be? My lady Lindus. A villager spotted a group of men riding south. The boy's dear sister. They must have her. He just assumes that Ninian is hot. I mean, he's right, but you shouldn't assume. Come, we must give chase. But, but we won't make it. What if they've already... Are you looking for this girl here? It's Roy! Ninian, Ninian! She'll be fine. She's just lost consciousness. I didn't know Roy was in this game. Who are you? I'm Roy of Foray. My father is the Marquess. The Marquess's son. She was with a band of ruffians. She seems except, upset. She looked in need of rescuing. What a white knight. Was I wrong to involve myself? No, you saved her life. Thank you. My name is Lynn. I'm from Sakai. I'm Marquess Caitlin's granddaughter. Marcus Kalen. <laughs> and that's my story. Yeah, that kind of counts, right? Not really sure what they would have shown. It's not an easy tale to believe, I know. Are you saying not to trust you, Lin? No, I do believe you. Oh, okay. You're not supposed to trust anyone, though. What? <laughs> she can't believe it either. At first glance, all I saw was a daughter of the Plains Folk. You can't call them Plains Folk, Elliewood. Excuse me? What a charmer. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Well, Sane wouldn't have called her plain, okay? Now I can see it, though. You have your grandfather's eyes. Do you know my grandfather? The Marquess Lord Housen is my father's good friend. I also know the proud people of Sakai tell no lies. Oh, yeah. 
Sakain people never lie, keep that in mind. It's true, isn't it? Yes, thank you. You don't lie, right? Of course not, I wouldn't lie. You can trust me. I would not have expected any Lycian noble to be so courteous to a Sakaian nomad. You seem to be in trouble, may I be of assistance? Thank you for your kind offer. This is my problem though, and I'll deal with it. I see. I'll be in the area for a few days longer. If you need anything, please let me know. No, we don't need your help. We really don't. <laughs> Lindis, I'm on your side. Ellawood. That's a weird typo. Why do they translate Roy as Elliewood? Thank you. Ninian, are you awake? Nils? Is it really you? Oh, you're safe? Uh-huh. These people help me. Who are they? Uh... I'm Lynn. I'm glad you're feeling better. Milady Lynn, thank you. I'm called Ninian. My brother Nils and I are traveling performers, and nothing else. Both of you? Your brother's a musician. How about you, Ninian? I... I dance. What? Oh my, you are a dancer? <laughs> Saying later, please. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, th I think that that was actually a cutscene that was better in 2D than it would have been in 3D, right? It's like, where did he come from? <laughs> oh, you're a dancer? <laughs> a dancer? Your clothes don't look like those of a dancer. Ninian dances to honor life. It's special. Sacred stones. A sacred dance? What does that mean? It means you get to act again. I... The dance I perform when we travel is just a normal dance. My other dance, though. When they caught me, I twisted my ankle. I cannot dance to aid you. I'm sorry. Please don't worry. We're just happy to see you that you're out of harm's way. Thank you. But I am concerned about your leg. You can't travel on it. I have an idea. Would it be too, mas too much to ask if we travel with you? You have some mounted units. I can't allow that. It's far too dangerous. We're being hunted. We never know when we're going to be attacked. We wouldn't be a hindrance. hindrance. We could even help you. Right, Ninian? Yes. We might be able to repay our debt using our... Special talents. Special abilities? No, she said talents, not abilities. When something poses a threat to us, we can sense its approach. Are you saying you have visions? Truly? That's amazing. We can feel it coming, but we can't do anything to stop it. Oh, well, <laughs> this is very useful. Hey, we're in huge trouble. What should we do about it? Ah, uh, well, nothing I can help with. <laughs> You're warriors, though, so you don't have that worry. What do you think, Kent? I think leaving them here would cause Lady Lindis more worry than having them travel with us. Saying, well, we already know he's on board. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, never mind. I know what your answer is. Are we sure Lin's a one-star unit? <laughs> Five-star dialogue. Good job, Lin. Why, why don't people like Lin mode? He doesn't even get to say a line. <laughs> Do you really want to travel with us? Of course. You have our gratitude, milady. Oh. What's wrong, Ninian? I've lost my ring! Your ring? Not Ninus's grace. The very one. They stole it? Those curs! Hmm. I feel like that's a word a little kid wouldn't know. Are we sure this guy's a little kid? Was it valuable? It was a keepsake from our departed mother. It was blessed by the spirit of Ninus. There's no other like it in the world. And now we have lost it to those villains! There's nothing we can do. You're right. I guess we just give up then. Okay. Well, there's really nothing we can do, so... Well, that's the end of this plot thread. Oh, well. Oh. I thought Lin was gonna help us, but I guess not, right? Stalwart silence. <laughs> Can I talk to you, Sigurd? Sure. You heard all that, right? What do you think? I'd really love to retrieve Ninian's ring for her, but if Nils is right, those thieves might prove to be too strong for us. What should we do? What do you guys think we should do? Should we go after the ring or not? I guess you're my counsel if I'm Sigurd. Should we go after the ring? Do you think they're too strong? I think we have some strong units. Get the ring? But our units are terrible, right? 
Go for the hammer, get the ring? Trust nobody. I think we're gonna get the ring, right? Yeah, we can do it. Where is it? We're not gonna give up. We have Will, we have Dorcas, we can't lose. You wanna help them? That's great! I was hoping you'd say that, Sigurd. Kent, Sane! Those men were headed south. We must give pursuit, which means we can double attack them if we have a one speed advantage. And if they switch out, we actually deal double damage. Pretty good. On your word, milady. There's no turning back now. Let's ride! Will, you speak as if you have a- er, Lynn, you speak as if you have a mount. If only. The Black Shadow. Uh-oh, spooky! A mysterious group seems hell-bent on capturing Nils and Ninian. That's why they spent sent such weak units as Heinz. Having failed, this group, the Black Fang, flees. Rumor has them traveling southwest. I thought it was south. Uh, Lynn and her colleagues follow in hopes of recovering a lost heirloom. The Black Fang have made a stronghold of an abandoned castle in Catholic. Its dark halls are alive with shadowy figures. Wow, <laughs> spooky. The Black Shadow, whoa. That's a lot of units. So the brother escaped. Dude, who's this Chad? And the sister was rescued by a band of strangers. Do I understand you? Yes, they ambushed us and hold your excuses. The end is all that matters. Yes, ma'am. And your plan for recovering the siblings is? We've word that the entire group is headed this way, with the brats in tow. Oh, they're bringing sausages? They're coming here? Why would they do that? They may well be after this ring. It's a rare piece. We took it from the girl. It was a stroke of luck that we did, especially if it brings them to us now. I'll grab the whole of them with this to bait the trap. I see. Very well, I'll give you another chance. I have business elsewhere, but I shall return once it's finished. You have until sunrise tomorrow, do you understand? Yes. If you do not have the children when I return, my hand will deal you the fang's punishment. My hand will deal you the fang's punishment. Remember that. Bear it closely in your mind. Stalwart silence. If only Ursula stayed behind. She's really strong. Oh, hey, they auto-deploy Matthew for you. <laughs> I believe they went in here. Milady, are you really going in there to get the ring back? Yes, we are. But this is their stronghold. They're bound to be well defended, not to mention well armed. Please forget about the ring. It's okay. Sigurds agreed to attempt this recovery. I wouldn't be here if not for that. Sigurd believes we can do this. I'm sure that decision was not made lightly. With Sigurd at my side, I'm confident we can win. Let's get your ring back, Ninian. Milady. Stalwart silence. Milady Lindus! There are more of the foe inside than we thought. This is their stronghold. It's imperative we move carefully. Exactly, milady. This now recorder can be used to our advantage. If we draw the enemy through here, we can engage- Fire Emblem engage! In small numbers and remain relatively safe. If time is a concern, we can always rush them. If we do that, we'd better be sure we can win. So, Sigurd, what do you think? How we move forward is completely up to you. Alright. Well, definitely check the map. Gotta check every map for stealables, please remind me. I thought we would start outside, but I guess we're right here. Vulnerary, but that drops upon defeat. You can steal this door key. And you can steal their vulnerables. There's also an enemy thief. So it's just the door key. 
But I mean, we're gonna be deploying Matthew anyway, for sure. Have I played Sekiro on the channel? I have! Uh, you can see the VODs in the history. But if anyone is wondering, Sekiro is the game where all of these graphics come from. Also where that sound effect comes from. But there's only like three in the entire game. I've made way more. <laughs> Nobody watching the channel was dying? Imag it's not past tense, man. The channel is still dying. So there's that one... This guy... Where's the enemy thief? He's gonna go after this chest. Oh, Bayard! Look at that smug grin. He's got a steel sword, which weighs 10. Ooh, and he has 10 con, wow! Seven speed. This guy's kinda scary. I don't actually know if we bench anyone. I think we actually use all of these units. We can give Wrath his, uh... Clearly the Pokemon Gen 5 move tier list will save the channel. Nice try, man. Alright, formation. We definitely want to get Matthew near the front, right? Dorcas has got to be in the lead for sure. Is Can Nils help us here? Can't move Lin, unfortunately. Select to hit the menu. There we go. We can have them break down walls. Oh, we can deploy... Okay, we're definitely gonna... We, we are definitely going to deploy nails for sure, right? In New York. And we should probably give Wrath his bow back. We really need bows. This iron lance doesn't really do anything. Okay, maybe we should give Matthew a sword, right? He should at least be able to hit something. You can have this one. Because he might be doing some attacks. Probably not many. He's good for weakening things, because he himself is so weak. Let's make sure that Nails is in a position to actually dance. It's probably fine, because we don't actually need uh, Matthew there immediately. Okay, this is probably good. I learned the hard way that assassins suck when I promoted Nagalt. Yep. Let's go. Ooh, spooky music. Is this guy a Lulger? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> what is this? Oh, the Black Fang's finest for sure. Dude, we don't even we don't even need the dance. Doubled by Hand Axe Dorcas, what is this? <laughs> the Black Fang. Oh, I'm scared. God of Vulnery. My inventory. I guess it's not refreshing. Drop a Vulnery. We should pay our respects before we actually drop it, right? It's gone from our inventory, but not from our hearts, right? And it is an emote still. I'm looking for it. Hang on. Never forget. Refresh. Dropped a Vulnery. Our first unit death. <laughs> no. This guy. How is it possible to be that? This guy has Lin's starting strength. Terrible. Fuck. 
five speed. Who do we dance for? Can't actually get Lin up there. This guy's got an Iron Lance. Ugh. Dance for Dorcas? Sure. Dorcas breaks the wall? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, if we use the Hand Axe, we can counterattack the Archer. Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll just have Will ready to break the wall next turn, I guess? And then what do our other units do? Wrath can, I think, can kill this guy. Oh my god, the Black Fang. The Black Fang. Lamau. I know the Mage has a door key, but we don't actually need it, right? We can just let Wrath kill him. I guess they can attack Lin. Lin will be fine. I'm not gonna move the Cavaliers. Oh, I gotta turn the animations on for Matthew. Ooh, that guy's coming for us. Six damage. Oh, this guy's got a Thunder Tome. Oh! Alright, let's see. Maybe have Lin kill this guy? With the Iron Sword. Wow. Oh, perfect! Good job, Lin. Can I have a strength level up, please? It's eventually. This guy has 6 HP. Will, you have a mission. Oh! Are we sure Will's a one-star unit? Look at this! Now look at this. We'll, we'll break this wall down. Good thing we've got a bard. What are you looking at? <laughs> Double dork? Two actions with Dorcas? Ah, and we're one short from actually getting to the chest. That's fine. Ah, uh, we can have... We don't have to break that. Just have Sane hold the line here. Anybody hurt? You can actually heal Lin, right? The GBA fighter animations, they're pretty funny. Alright, it's probably good enough. Oh no, the enemies are on their way. Wow. Sane is so strong. Like, actually. Hmm. How? This can't be! They should be dead! Everyone, get in here and finish them! This is our final chance! This guy's gonna finish us. This is their reinforcement. Three strength, zero skill, one speed, zero luck, zero defense, zero res, five move, six con, loses two speed to the Iron Lance. Black Fang's finest. He was treasure. Yeah. Yes. I got a present for you. Perfect. Don't actually have a use for that, though. I know that uh, Nils is exposed here, but whatever, it's fine. How you doing, Will? I thought I had the short bow. I 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Effective! Crits? Got him. Sick crits! Who kills this unit? Who else but Will? I think we can actually look at his record, right? 35 battles, 22 wins. Look at that. Look at that. Not only does Will win, he wins 22 times, apparently. Kent's just chilling here. Is anybody hurt? No, right? Wrath can tank that hit. <laughs> Doubled by Dorcas, so sad. Weapon level increase? Ooh, five damage. Wrath definitely took that like a champ. Oh, he's out of here. Oh, oh, enemies. Enemy mages. We'll meet them head on. I'm not even going to check how much damage they deal. Because I know we'll be fine. What do we do here? Will, I don't think, can reach him. No, he can. I guess Lin can go this way? We can weaken them with Sane. And then we can finish them off with Will. Ouch. Look at this. Our iron bow's gonna break. Can we reach? We can. Healed. These guys, we're gonna have them fight Lin. Or Lin fight them. Lin will be okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what Nils is gonna do here. I guess we could... If we do this, maybe Dorcas can actually reach them? I think he can, right? He can, but then he'll be attacked by this guy. But this guy doesn't have two range. Don't Dorcas will choke this point, okay? This guy can't even hit back. How do we win? Is it route? It's, it's route. Here we go. Here we go! mustn't fail. I cannot fail. The consequences are too... Free XP? Man, look at this movement. We want to get them to attack him. That's why I moved him up. Wow, he actually has a crit chance on us. This is base level Kent, Kent, by the way. We've gotten zero level ups. Six damage. Pathetic! Nine damage. Uh, not pathetic. We're actually in trouble. Never mind. Never mind. Dorked! Your magic will not save you. Are we sure Dorcas is a one-star unit? Oh! Nils level up doesn't really matter. Yeah, he's got good growths. Lin kills the boss for XP? Nah. Wow, we won both 50-50s. P 
Pibu Matondes changed his name. With the $5 microtransaction, thank you for the... I gotta find it. Mm, generous microtransaction. The sword users would be much better if only... Ko o da o. If only the Kodachi were in this game. Very, very clever. Very clever. Can anyone read the Japanese katakana they wrote? Here's your chance. Otherwise, I'll read it for you. Put the iron sword here. This guy's 9 HP left. Actually, he's got zero left. It is all touchy, correct? <laughs> Depending on the uh, Nils Paralog and Hector mode, yes. Uh, so we are gonna do the Nils grinding, but probably on the last map. All right, Lin. We do have six crit. Hey, was that six crit or? Sick crits. We saved one durability. All right, time for target practice. We get two shots a turn. We only have to hit one though. That was easy. <laughs> Can I have a speed level up, please? Please. Oh. <laughs> At least we got one res. Foul sorceries. Uh, no, I cannot. Well, we killed this guy with an axe, right? Let's extract the information from him. Give us the ring and swear us this oath. You must promise to leave those two alone. If I have your vow, I'll spare your life. Failure means death. What? Wait. How did that guy die? Does anybody know? How did he die? What happened to... I forgot his name. What happened to Mercenary? He put poison in himself! These are no common brigands we're dealing with. This man was trained by a well-organized group with zero stat soldiers. What do they want with Nils and Nillian? Ninian. Well, they're not gonna tell us, are they? Stalwart silence. Nils, Ninian, everything's gonna be fine. As long as you're with us, you'll be safe. But you've witnessed our victory, right? With Sigurd's planning and my sword, you've no worried. No worries, and Dorcas's axe, of course. If we all work together, there's nothing we can't overcome. I don't care who comes after you, I'll not let you be taken. Really? Yes, on my honor. Right, Sigurd? Milady. Oh yes, this is yours. Ah, it's... You called it Ninus's Grace, did you not? That lout had it. Third time we've seen lout. Milady Lindus, thank you so much. I have no other words. Safe, thank you. Wow, we did it. LJ Samson, welcome to the YTC Institute. Enjoy the power of Dorcas. He was defeated, but he couldn't afford to fall here. He had to retreat from life. How do we start the next chapter? Oh, that was easy. Passing through Arafin and Catholic, Lynn and her friends arrive in Kalin. However, Kaelin is now under the rule of Lord Lundgren. Lundgren's henchmen lay in wait to assassinate Lynn. No. They wait for her approach and ready a special weapon. What could this weapon be? A vortex of strategy. I forgot the monastery fishing. I guess this isn't optimal. Look, Sigurd. The mountain seems so far away now. We've come such a long way. Milady Lindus, Sigurd. We can't be very far from the castle now. 
By my reckoning, we can reach Castle Kaelin in two days. Ooh. If we hurry. Two more days. Hold on, Grandfather. Please. Cheer up, Lynn. If they see you looking so sad, the entire company will lose heart. Florina. You're right. There's nothing to be gained by worrying. We just have to press onward. That's the spirit. Well. Okay, well, the music is not quite right, but... Hope kindled. Lynn. A vision. Danger approaches. What did you say? I don't see anything. Are you sure? I feel it, too. I'm sure of it. Ah. Milady, don't move! Hmm. Hmm. from okay that definitely counts right where did this bolt come from hmm. <gasps> a bolt of brilliance a bolt of brilliance <laughs> they have a ballista Lord Lundgren is getting serious that's why he's got bows deploying siege engines is no mean feat what is a ballista? It's a weapon designed for long-distance attacks. Only archers can use them, but they can be devastating. Florina, you must stay aground. Do not take to the air. The ballista would target you in an instant. Is there a way to combat it? The safest course is to use... Someone with good defenses as bait, so the enemy wastes arrows. Then you can walk up and knock the fool on the head. Will, can you use a ballista? I've never tried, but... It's just a really big bow, right? I should be able to figure it out. I'm sure it's that easy. All we can ask is that you try. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, Lady Linda Sigurd! I have some minor business to attend to. I'm unable to join you. If you need any of my possessions, please take them now. Thanks for warning me. He has a sword, right? I... He has the hand axe. Yeah, it's fine. We get him back later, right? So I think this is actually fine. We'll keep all these units, and let's just check our deployment. We can Dorcas drop, right? So here's our plan. I don't think Florina gets one shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Dorcas move as far up as, he, as we can within uh, Nils' range. And then probably going to uh, Rescue Drop and Dork on him. And then Dorcas on this peak, he's going to be unkillable, okay? Unkillable. And we'll probably buy some bows with these guys. I think we're ready to go. A vortex of strategy, apparently. So Nils can... Wow, Nils can move really far. Okay. This should work. What is the ballista's attack range? It can it can't move, right? Oh, you can't actually drop him there. I mean Dorcas will be fine, right? Dorcas will be fine. We can put him on that one. I th oh no. Good luck, Dorcas. I hope Florina doesn't get one shot. I don't think she does. I need a bow. And an axe. Oh. 
Look at this. Lin with the grounded movement. Are we in range of that guy? Oh, that was a mistake. Look at the rescue drops! Alright, we just have to hope that Florina doesn't get one shot. I don't think she does with double effectiveness. Lol. Don't oh, worry. We're tanking, okay? Oh, my hand axe. I hope that doesn't equip our iron axe, because then we can't counter the archer. Uh-oh. Oh, four damage. 100% hit. Chonked. Lance? Ooh. We're taking big damage. <laughs> oh, he shoots Nils. That's fine. He attacks Nils. That's fine. Good dodge. Seven damage on this flux. Surely. Surely. Lin ones rounds this guy, right? Uh oh. I think we equip our hand axe and use a vulnerary. Get him, Lin. Lin! Lin! How many times have we tried to start combat and Lin misses the one round by two damage? I think it is actually a majority of the time. Meanwhile, Will can't stop winning. Doubles and kills. You just need one more strength. Oh, we can't actually reach him. I mean, we have 30 Manikata uses, right? Armor Slayer does kill him. This is the Armor Slayer. Lin. Lin! Barely any XP. Alright, Wrath, see what these uh, townsfolk have to say. Do you remember the weapon triangle? I do! Axes over lances and whatnot? Yes. This is important, so pay attention. There are some weapons that don't follow the normal rules. Ooh. This your Lance Reaver is one of those. It's a sword that reverses the triangles. If you wield this blade, you can best a lance with it. Of course, there's a downside. Axes can best this sword. Take this as a gift. It's your reward for listening to an old man ramble. Don't be so shy. It's not like I can use the thing. Not everyone can wield a sword of this caliber. I'm sure you know someone who could use it, though. Thanks. We'll give it to Lin. We have to equip the hand axe. I think Dorcas can survive next phase. But only with the help of a vulnerary, okay? Cheers. Hold the line, Dorcas. I guess Florina can... No, if she attacks that, she'll then get hit by the archer. Get some elixirs. Alright, here's the strategy. We did buy a bow, yes. Bring it will into into the fray. Look at this. We're over here. Now he's over here. Incredible. It's not like there's gonna be any enemies anyway. What are you curs waiting for? They're nothing but fleas! Call for, call up for reinforcements and rush them! 
Well, we know it's a 100% hit. Can we hit him? Ah, can't be that mad. Don't hit me. Ooh. I don't think we suffer from success here. We should be okay. Can I have speed, please? Please. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Dorcas's level ups have been pretty bad. You can give, right? Give. Over here, they're probably gonna try and attack him, right? You can go here. I think we have to refresh again, right? What are items for if not to be used? Cheers. That is the saddest thing. We're not actually getting unlucky with Dorcas. This is about what's expected. It's this bad. One star. This is probably fine. We can have Florina try and... Actually, no, we can rescue... Oh, no, we can't quite rescue Nils. But we can set up the rescue. Oh, enemy Lolgers, what are we gonna do? Will, why didn't you die? Can we hit? Excellent. Does this guy have... Yeah, we can almost certainly get this guy. Alright. Defeat! Kent! Lady Lindis. Sigurd! I am no good to you in this condition. My apologies. But I must withdraw. It's fine, we have another one. We're not gonna reset. Maybe I should've paid attention. <laughs> Also, he comes back in Hector mode anyway, so we haven't even actually lost him. Does Dorcas get attacked next turn? He does get hit by that guy. Ooh. Can we double the hand axe? We can. Let's get him. Dorcas, please. Ah, oh, we don't actually have the Lance Reaver on us, right? Looks like a job for Will. Is Will hurt? He is, but not really. Uh, we definitely want to heal Lin, I think. Lin over here? Hector Kent has more luck on average than Lynn Kent. Excellent. Is there anything we can actually refresh? We want the XP on Nils. So we're just going to do this. I 
499 donation from the AMG criminal. Thank you for the... Mm. Microtransaction. I know literally nothing about FB, so I don't understand the memes here, but I'm in entertained regardless. You gotta, you gotta watch the pinned comments. The pinned comment will explain... Not everything, but a lot of what we've been saying. Units that die in Lin mode came back in X chapter, do they? I know they come back... They come back, uh, in Hector mode. I don't know if they actually come back from the same chapter, but either way, we're not resetting. If I take him here, I can't actually drop him. Is this, is this actually a one-shot? Well, he missed. Okay, I don't think Dorcas is in that much danger here. I think he can actually just Iron Axe this dude. <laughs> Got him! Please watch the FE6 video to keep the channel from dying. True! Although it won't help. Also true. Alright, Lin. Can Nils... Nils cannot actually reach there. Iron Sword? What if Lin had one more point of strength? Then she would one round this character. Wouldn't that be nice? Lin, please! At least... Oh, Armor Slayer, we lose speed. Can we save the durability at least? Nope. Well, it does look cool. Crits. Lin, please. Get him, Will. Will. Oh, we level up. Strength and speed. been getting some ass level ups. What is this? Horrible. Get him, Will. Sarah will get attacked if we move there. She should be fine. Moving all our units forward. Oh! Well, we don't have any stats, but we do have five gifted. Uh, well, we do have five gifted subs from Smash Hero seventy five. Thank you for the gracious gift of convenience. Now five more of you can enjoy Dorcas emotes. All right, Dorcas. This guy still has 47 hit on us. That's crazy. I need healing. Double Dorcas? Sarcher was running away. Uh, actually, Dorcas might be in danger if we go there. Well, this guy doesn't have that much attack, right? Oh, he has a lamp. Oh. Perfect. Where are you going? <laughs> Can Lin even kill this guy? She can. That's actually surprising. Dodge tank. Fire all from Giga Dweeb. Weapon level increase. Wait, do we have B swords?
We have A swords in Lin mode. Wow. $5 microtransaction for Giga, Giga Dweeb. I remember back in the day when you used to play good games like Detective Pikachu 2. Now you play trash like Fire Emblem. Sad. Sorry to disappoint you. The games can't all be as good as Detective Pikachu, okay? Uh, a Will can actually make it into the forest. That's actually fun. Good stream, thank you. What about Detective Pikachu Gaiden Alpha? If only we'd gotten the Gaiden! I think this is fine. I don't think anyone will die here. Uh oh. Reeved. Oh! Reeved! Nice try, kid! Crits. I hope this boss doesn't have a javelin. That would actually be a problem. Oh my god. Oh! Double dorked! <laughs> Double dork! Wow! That deserves some healing for sure. Ah, uh, Dorcas is- he's just so thick, he needs to be healed twice. That's a- that's a Sarah level. How is Plan Super Dorcas going? Zero speed level ups. <laughs> that's an issue. What level is he at now? I think he's level 9. Level 9 with base speed. He's got a lot of skill, though. Alright. Obviously, Dorcas boss kill, right? We have the counter for this armor knight. Uh, we want more Nils XP, though, so we're gonna do this. The sneezing gives Nils XP. Say goodbye, pal. We don't even double- what? Never mind. And then you're up. Hey, she actually kills him. If we use the Armor Slayer, do we still get him? Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Curses! <laughs> The ballista must have been taken. What's going on here? Somebody get that girl! It's you, bro. Dodge? We got him. Lord Lundgren! Lord Lundgren! I failed you! I pray you hurry. Those reinforcements you promised. Level up? Strength, please. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> and hey, we also got if I can find it. Foul sorceries! Plus one res. We did it! Is it over? Father, is it o- Hey, I thought you died, Ken. Yes, I see no more enemy soldiers. However, something is bothering me. What is it? I noticed it during the fighting. Our opponents. They were soldiers of Kaelin. I even recognized some of those I we fought. I trained with many of them. They attacked us without hesitation. They're black-hearted traitors who've joined Lord Lundgren! Good riddance, I say. It also means less resistance at the castle. I hope you're right. I'm just glad Nils and Ninian were with us. If that first shot had hit me, I might not have survived. True. <laughs> we, we are honored to have served you well. We won't let you down. Actually, true. I know, I'm relying on you. 
What's this? You dealt with the ballista too? Nicely done. Matthew, where were you during all this? I went to the village to... Sniff about for information. Looks can be deceiving. And words are but air. But the nose knows. <laughs> Smells like... Deceit. Sleuth. It's not even the first time we've used it. I got some interesting news for my trouble, too. Let's hear it. First, about Marques Kalin's illness. He really is unwell. He's been abed for nigh on three months. Oh no, grandfather. I heard an interesting rumor about his condition, though. Great Detective Matthew, the people believe that someone's been poisoning the Marques. He's been poisoned? And this someone. Well, everyone's too afraid to mention a name. However, they say that as soon as the Marquess took ill, a certain noble took control of the castle as though it were his own. I fed a hungry innkeeper some coin, and he fed me a name. The Marquess of Kalen's own brother. Lord Lundgren. Hmm. <laughs> A bolt of brilliance! Shocking revelation! I can't believe it! How can this be? How can they allow him to get away with this? The villagers know he's the one poisoning my grandfather, and yet no one raises a hand against him. Why? They're afraid, and they lack proof. The whisperings of the common people means nothing. That's the truth of it. And the Marquess's loyal retainers, who might have lent credence to these rumors, there is no sign. Are you saying they've been silenced? It's a fair assumption. This is beyond believing! The worst news is yet to come, oh no. What? An imposter has appeared, claiming to be the Marquess's granddaughter. At least, that's the story Lundgren's telling to all who will listen. What does that mean? It means that people are waiting for two traitorous knights and a base-born child to appear and lay claim to Castle Kaelin. But... but that... it can't be! Traitors? Us? Ridiculous! Have you lost your mind, Lundgren? Have I? He says... I'm an imposter? Don't you have anything that proves your lineage? When my mother joined the Lorca, she brought nothing of Lycia with her. Milady, Marques Arafin himself remarked at your resemblance to Lady Madeline. Your face is your proof! <laughs> That'll show them. They'll say we found a lookalike somewhere. We're seen as betrayers of our knightly vows. Our word means nothing. No, our only hope is to see Marcus Kalin himself. We must hurry, if not my grandfather. I must see him, with my last breath, if need be. But we must formulate some manner of plan. Even if we set out for the castle, the troops patrolling the area will cause no end of problems. You've been, br you've been branded as oath breakers, after all. I've got it, Roy. He seems sympathetic to our plight. He should still be in Catholic if we can talk to him. He might help us. Of course, a sound idea. Let's hurry. Yes, back to Catholic. Kent, should you be up? Oh, I think this is special dialogue for if Kent died. I'm fine. Please forgive my earlier behavior. The injury to my right leg was more serious than I thought. Ah, that's terrible. I apologize for my negligence. You should find some place to rest and heal your wound. No, we must hurry and move forward. But, milady, my goal is to present you to the Marquess as quickly as possible. I'm unable to fight, and I may slow you down. But please allow me to continue traveling with you. Of course, I understand. We go together. However, you mustn't overexert yourself. If your injury grows graver, I will force you to stop and rest. I understand. Thank you. There is no way that I, a cavalier, could fight with an injured leg. A grim reunion. Lynn and her friends have been branded as traitors. 
Yeah, he literally took a ballista to the right knee, apparently. Pretenders to the throne. Lundgren has sent word to Kaelin's neighbors, warning them of Lin's approach. He calls for reinforcements to put an end to the imposters. This guy hates Among Us. Maybe he's not that bad of a guy. If the other realms of Lycia choose to act, Lin will never reach Kaelin alive. Lin places her faith in Roy and waits. A grim reunion. Uh, are we sure this is a grim reunion? Sounds pretty happy. We received word from Kaelin's neighbors. Laos, Toscana, Catholic, Tanya, and Shantaroos. They will not interfere in Kaelin's affairs. They have promised. Roy, I don't know how to thank you. All I've done is convince them to remain neutral in this dispute. However, this means I cannot aid you in any way either. Will you be alright? I will win. I have to. It's the only way that I can help my grandfather. Very convenient that Roy can't help us. I understand. Although I cannot help you directly. As a friend, I pray for your success. I just met you. Thank you. I won't waste the opportunity you've given me. He's out of here. <laughs> and now this sounds like a grim reunion. All right, everyone, let's get going. This weather is turning foul. It looks like a fog is rolling in. This is no good. If the fog thickens, we'll be blind in battle. It'll be difficult to fight what we cannot see. Just use defog. We can't let it delay us, though. Let us press on. We must get closer to the castle. What's the best route? Well, it's probably Hector. Let me think. Our best path is to the south. However, that runs through General Eagler's estate. It looks like we will still have one final obstacle to pass. Oh. Oh, okay. Check map. Let's see. Anything to st- Well, okay, there's definitely more units than this, but that's all we have for now. Ooh, this guy's got 10 speed. Iron sword. Iron sword. Eagler, why is he our enemy? I thought he was on our side. He's actually promoted. Wow, look at those weapon ra- Wow! Not that it matters. Uh, nothing to steal, at least that we can see. Formation. Dork is at the front, right? Also, Nils near the front, because he has to sing for people. And our other... I think this is actually fun. Well, maybe undeploy... Or we don't really need him. This looks fine to me. Oh, we should give the Lance Reaver to Lin. Because it's not like we can keep items in between runs, so we should give the Lance Reaver to Lin. We need the armor slot. So we're gonna do with Wallace's Knight Crest? I mean, we're gonna promote Wallace. We're actually not gonna use Wallace in the the real playthrough of Hector Hard Mode because we are leveling our Lord, so we're actually going to go to the the good version of Forfanged Offense. So we actually will get Geet, although we can't use him. Oh, I meant to save. Sigurd, put me in the lead, please. Surely you know that we, uh... Thieves, if you must, can see through fog. Follow me, everyone! Where's the fog? Oh! So you've come. Ah! You! You're Lord Wallace! Kent, who is this? He used to be the commander of the Knights of Kaelin. Aren't you supposed to be retired? I heard you were sowing fields now. He's playing farming games. I am, and I was. Then I received orders from Lord Lundgren. I was told to capture an imposter and a pair of rogue knights. Lord Wallace, surely you don't believe us to be Oathbreakers, do you? Bring me the girl that claims to be Lady Madeline's child. What are your intentions? If I don't like what I see, I will take her. We will prevent you. You 
prevent me, you must be... Enough! Enough. I'm right here. I am Lindus. I'll understand if you don't believe me. But I've had enough of you and your foolish posturing. right well excuse me princess what you're pardoned uh, excuse me I've been a knight for 30 years and there is one thing I learned a person with eyes as bright and true as yours is no deceiver <laughs> ah yes I like you girl why, I believe I'll even join your little band of mercenaries. Are you... Are you serious? This old bull's pledged his loyalty to Kaelin. I would never allow a usurper on the throne. An usurper? What? Let's march! Lord Wallace! He, he hasn't changed at all. I like him. He's honest. That he is. He deserves our respect. Wallace with the Knight's Crest. <laughs> oh, it's Wallace! So we just started Chapter 9, and a giant walks among us. It's Wallace, baby! An Armor Knight! So, look at these stats. 13 strength, 7 skill, 5 speed at level 12, a 15 defense, and 13 con, that's pretty good. But are these really his stats? No. <laughs> Tremble, mortals! And despair. A giant walks among you. <laughs> These are his real base stats. 15 strength, 9 skill, 8 speed, 10 luck, 17 defense, 15 con. One star. Yeah. Although Wallace is available in Lin mode, we're not considering Lin mode. When Wallace joins you in Hector Hard mode on one of the versions of Four Fanged Offense, <laughs> one star. <laughs> like, it's far later in the game, and he is a general. Armor Knight is. I think it's actually better than Archer, but not by much. Five move is not cutting it. Absolutely not. By the way, you 1000% should not do what I just did. I just did it for fun, but the Knight's Crest that Wallace has doesn't carry over into Hector Hard Mode. But if you leveled either Kent or Sane to promotion level, you should definitely give them the Knight's Crest, not Wallace. Oh. If you give Wallace the boots though, then, he skyrockets up to... Five stars. I mean, it fixes his only weakness. Doesn't really matter, but let's take a look at his growths. to, even if you get tutorial, a giant walks among you 
even if you get tutorial a giant walks among you Wallace you actually should still kill him because his base stats in Hector mode are, are actually better than insta promoted Wallace This is what you get on Hector Hard Mode. Eight speed. Nine skill. These are single digit numbers on a promoted unit in the equivalent of Chapter 14 on Hector's Mode. Yeah. One star. <laughs> and his growth rates are terrible. 45 strength. I mean, he is really old, right? 20 speed. You know what other unit has 20... 45 strength. I guess he is retired. And 20 speed. You know what other unit we're using has 20 speed? Dorcas. Remember what rating we gave Dorcas? <laughs> this guy's so bad. Ugh. I'm trying to think of how Wallace can actually help you in Hector hard mode. I guess you can take the items from his inventory, but it's not like we're giving him credit for that. Anything positive we can say about Wallace? There aren't any... There's very few bald characters in Fire Emblem, so if you're bald, and you want to relate to someone in Fire Emblem, I'm sorry that this is your representative. Wallace. Oh. Yeah, I mean, no, no complaints about One Star Wallace, right? Yeah, one star Wallace. I'm gonna be firm and explicit, YouTube don't ban me, about why exactly Wallace is one star. Armor Knights, in general, are very bad. <laughs> because to do something, you have to be somewhere. And with five promoted movement, you are never going to be there. Even when you get there, you don't actually do any damage, because to do real damage, you have to double. You cannot double, because you have single digit speed. To be a good defensive unit, you can't get doubled. You will get doubled, because you have 8 speed. So that is my non-meme explanation of why Wallace is for sure... <laughs> One star. But hey, five resistance, that's actually pretty good for a general, so there's that. And we all know how dangerous mages are. Alright, that's it for Wallace, I think. It's actually the last unit we're going to be raiding today. You just gotta get him boots and speed wings and force feed him forever. <laughs> oh, he's better than Wendy, Barth, and Boris, though. Yeah, that's true. Wallace, oh my god. Duh. <laughs> Oh, apparently, 
I think this is true. If you don't use the Knight's Crest on Wallace, which you definitely shouldn't, he actually... Now, I believe this is true. If you play Lin Mode, but then don't use the Knight's Crest on Wallace, which you shouldn't, he will then show up unpromoted in Hector Hard Mode, and he'll get killed. So maybe that's actually more merciful. Alright, let's play this map. Uh, so did they forget to add Fog of War? Where's the Fog of War? Oh, it's coming soon. Okay. So we actually do want uh, Matthew in the front then. How far can this guy reach? Get out of the way, Sane. We're gonna lead with Lin here. Play me a song, Nils. We are doing the Nils Paralog thing, so we have to get Nils to level 7 before the end of uh, Lin mode. Gonna be very annoying. Hey! Hey, you! Florina, do you have any torches? What, you don't? There's a thick fog rolling and you have no torches? Wandering about without a torch is... That's a drum roll, by the way. Well, it's ridiculous. Here, take one of mine. Thanks. Use this when it's foggy and you can see a bit better. Hmm. Hmm. No torches? Mm, no need for thanks. I know all about you and your comrades. We all, well, not one of us believes what Lord Lundgren is saying about you. We all want to help the Marquess and his rightful heir. Good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks for the torch. To the front, Dorcas. And Will. I remember a certain dark magic user talking about some interesting uses for torches. Yeah. You guys should watch that video. Uh-oh. Enemy reinforcements. Five damage. Wow, I wish we had one more point of strength. Wouldn't that be nice? Win. One star. is level 11. Level 11 with 8 strength. Ugh. Dorcas, level 9. Level 9 with base speed. Ugh. At least Will has 7 strength. Oh, we can break our iron bow here. That's good. How far up can we move? We go to here. Nils is not that frail. Well, I mean, he is, but he's very dodgy, so I don't think he's gonna get killed by this brigand. 16 HP. Yeah, he can't die. And we can make it into the forest, that's why I did that. Definitely don't want the hammer, hand axe for sure. How far does this guy go? Not very far. Five movement, baby. Wrath with good movement? Look at all these enemies, scary. Ooh, 
Ouch. Can that Cavalier reach it? Uh-oh. Ooh, that was scary. Wow, they have 42 hit on us. We do 5 damage. Oh! We do 15 damage! Nice. Secrets! And perfect timing from Blue Crimson 217 with the gracious gift of convenience. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Now 20 more interns can celebrate secrets. Sigurd, the fog's rolling in. We can't hit an enemy we can't see. Keep your eyes open, everyone. All right, we definitely want Matthew up here because Matthew can see everything. So, thieves have extra sight and fog by a lot. 2020. We definitely have to heal Nils. How strong are these brigands? How much does this do? No doubling. No doubling? Can Lin kill with the Manicotti? Doesn't even need it. Very nice. Actually, very nice. So let's do this. Sarah, I don't think, dies in one hit, so we're gonna heal Nils here. And a plus one from Boonsman. Thank you for. Gracious gift of convenience. Oh, yeah, Danny Doyle got it, if he's still here. Danny is now a green unit. That's unfortunate. Good thing we got that strength point on Lin last uh, last level up. Otherwise, we actually wouldn't kill here. Why are you green? You got a gift sub. Now you can use all of the Dorcas emotes. Play him off, Nils. Two dollar donation from Blue Crimson. In addition to the previous gift of convenience, thank you for the microtransaction. Mm. Wanted to drop some love before I started work. Thank you. I really wish Dorcas could double. That would be really helpful. No. Nope. Lynn doubles and kills. I think... No, because no one else can even reach that guy on the mountain, so... There's no real point. We'll just have Lynn kill them. Don't get hit, Lynn. Very good. They say when you buy in bulk, you get one free, right? Let's see, Dorcas. Oh, Dorcas can actually attack! Look at this! It's foggy, right? It's hard to see. It's okay, Dorcas. You'll get him next time. Uh, let's make sure Nils doesn't get double attack, though, because that would be bad. Wrath pretty beefy. Just wait there. Gotta get Will here. Will, we actually want this guy to attack Will. Because Will will be totally fine. Choke this point. I don't think anyone can reach her here. Alright. Oh, more enemies. Oh. Oh, we double. Base Florina. Good thing we gave Matthew a sword, so we can actually fight back there. Uh-oh. Oh, we're sweating. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, one HP is not zero. We're fine. Gotta kill this guy. I think Will is our choice, right? Because it's not like Will's doing anything else. Get him, Will. Dorcas. If only we could double attack, that would be very nice. 
11 damage. Lin can't reach that. Uh, can Lin kill this guy? With the Manicotti? Yes! And we could even save a durability. Sick crits? Nope. Sick dodge? Nope. Sick crits? Yeah, but it didn't actually matter. I guess. We definitely need to heal. This guy's on a mountain, which is kind of a problem. How much... What's our hit rate? It's gonna be terrible. Well, it's not that bad. I think if either of them hit, we'll then dance Lin and have Lin kill him. It's probably good enough. This guy's really accurate. Shot a dude in the mountains. Now, we, if we put uh, Nils in a forest, he'll be fine. Iron Sword. Yeah, look at that. We have to hit both, but uh, odds are in our favor. We'll be fine. Will is better on hard mode because you can't kill everything with jabs and hand axe. That is extremely false. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dorcas can't quite reach the fort. I think we'll just stay here. Oh, look at this. 13 net. Look at this. I wonder why he doesn't just use it in melee. We almost have another Dorcas level. We really need speed. We really need speed. Florina has to move. Here she should be safe, right? I guess we'll use a Vulnery just in case. Wallace will choke this point, okay? We'll leave it to Wallace. I'll move Sane up here. Uh-oh. Ooh, four damage. Oh no. Actually doubled. Dorcas, please. Zero damage! Oof. Scary. Got the hand axe! Speed, please! Ah! <laughs> ah! least we got strength. We're level 10 with 10 strength and 6 speed. This is so bad. This is so bad. I don't think Nils would have died from that archer shot. I think it would have been close. So this archer shot would have done nine. So Nils would need three defense to survive. And he has five defense, so he would have been fine. I want to kill this guy. That's an iron lance. Dorcas can do it. Pretty good hit, right? Got him! This guy's 18 HP. I think Lin can one round him, right? Let's wall a little bit here with uh, Sane. Lin, Iron Sword, yep. 
fighter animations are so goofy. Yeah. Let's have Will get this kill. Excellent job, Will. Wallace might actually double this guy. Wallace has 8 speed. Lamau. Lamau. I don't think people can... This won't put her in the forest, but she should be okay here. How much speed does she have? Oh, she has 9 speed. She's totally fine. Yeah. Who do we dance for? Lynn? If Will is this good, Rebecca must be 5 stars. Game facts new. Uh, we can double. Oh, okay. We can actually kill with the Iron Sword. Thanks to being softened up by Dorcas. Uh, we're like, oh, 14 HP. We're kind of in trouble. I think we'll still be overall okay, though. Put Wrath in this forest. Oh, Wrath can actually attack. Let's actually do it. Crit. Good job, Wrath. They can actually attack. Nails and but neither of them get doubled and neither of them die, so I, I actually think that's okay. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. Just gonna move Florina here. What if there's an archer in the fog? There's never an archer in the fog, right? And there's nothing up here. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Save state. I'm not a coward. Okay. Let's uh, let's actually put Matthew on the fort here. We're fine. We're gonna end turn, nobody's gonna die. Wow, six damage. I don't think we can take eight damage here. I think we're fine. Well, that's unfortunate. How embarrassing. <laughs> All right. You have to actually hit restart here. Hey, this way we can actually have... Uh, we don't have to promote Wallace. She's bad, just play without her, true. Let's actually, uh, let's be more focused here. Let's get everyone into the forest. How's our formation? No, we're not using Lucius. Lucius is probably too good. We need Wallace for the meme value. Unfortunately, we're probably not even getting... We're probably not even getting Wallace, because we're probably going to the Geats map. Because we are using all of our lords. And hey, this way we can get a speed level up on Dorcas. Don't worry, it'll happen. How'd this guy show up? Oh, 
I have to head out, have a good rest of the stream, thank you. We're probably gonna do, uh, Lin Mode, and that'll be the end for today. Yeah, only seven hours so far, not bad. Yeah, maybe Dorcas will level up. It's... it's possible. Dude, Wrath has got good movement. Seven hours on Lin Mode. Hey, it's hard mode, and we did, uh, we did unit reviews, okay? Yeah, she'll be good once she gets the Moolah Gear, don't worry. I mean, she gets the Moolah Gear, right? It's the sacred weapon of Sakai. Why would she not get the Moolah Gear? Decent hit rate. We actually we want to move up. We have to have Dorcas hit this. You got him, Dorcas. And you're going to get your speed level up. Speed, please. We got strength last time. Strength and speed. Oh! <laughs> Lin died for this. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Tactic tactical suicide by Lin. I am actually going to save state this because if we fail this chapter again, we're resetting to this point, okay? <laughs> we're not losing that level up. This will work. Cheese rigged RNG Dorcas level ups. All it took was killing, <laughs> and all we had to do was kill Lin. Casual streamer save scums. Hey, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Hey, that's a Nils level up. Into the woods. And Wallace will choke this point. We gotta get everyone into the woods. This is fine. Wow, Sane is so good. This is Sane with one level up. Give this guy a taste of the, the Lance Reaver. Ooh, he dodged to the Lance Reaver. But then we're disadvantaged against this bandit, but I mean, that's fine, right? That's fine. Let's get him. Ooh! Reaved. Saved a durability. Can we double this guy, please? There's no way, right? Oh, no. But we do kill him, for sure. Sane attacking this guy. I think we'll actually let Will kill him. Wow, we have 62 hit. Nine health. Hmm. How about this? Ugh. Horrible. How about the hand axe, though? How about the hand axe? How about the hand axe? Axed! <laughs> oh, 
a short bow on this guy. Ooh. I think we can just shoot him once, right? Oh. Will! We definitely want to heal... Matthew. So now we can move Matthew further up. This guy can only move up to there. Dance for Dorcas? Wow, Dorcas can actually fight this guy. Ugh. One tile away. We can Javelin? It's a terrible hit rate. We don't get double, do we? I think there's actually a bandit here. I think we just hand axe him from here. Look at that movement range. Five stars! I think this is fine. Five damage. Wow, look at the base damage on this Lance Reaver. That's crazy. Lynn doesn't double Myrmidons. One star. Oh. Okay, good thing we healed this guy. That is why we did that, so... <laughs> Does this game have ambush spawns? It does, right? Oh no, that's bad news. I hate ambush spawns. Ambush spawns are when the enemy appears and attacks in the same turn. So there was nothing on this fort. And then this cavalier appeared and then attacked Matthew. Awful. A soldier, huh? Doubled by Dorcas! See ya. I guess Will can go into the woods and shoot this guy? That's okay, right? Very good. Wrath. I can go here, I guess, and then get healed? Dorcas doubling a rare side, only against enemy Lolgers, of course. Alright, here Lin does actually have good... Has a, has a lot of remaining HP. This is probably fine. Iron Sword this dude. We actually would've killed him with the Iron Sword. How can we dance without dying? We want to stay in the woods. This guy has... Three speed. How about this? He'll never see this coming. From the woods! Are we sure Will's a one-star unit? Florina gets shot. She can if she goes on the fort, so she shouldn't. I hope she doesn't have the javelin equipped. She did, so that actually would have been a problem. This is fine. We're probably fine here. I don't think anyone will die. And Wallace will just chill there. No damage!
Pathetic. This guy's getting double dorked. Whoa! Dorcas was a follower of Jesus, also was a girl. Interesting. Wow, we could actually die here. If that uh, cavalier attacks and hits us. Ooh, Sane's... Oh! Oh! Wish we could use that unit. No! Oh, now I've done it. Sane! Lindis. Sigurd! I'm no good to you like this. I'll only slow you down. I'm sorry! But I can't afford to fall here. I must retreat. R.I.P. Well, if he was really a good unit, he wouldn't have died. Hey, now we can see the extra dialogue for uh, when he dies. <laughs> All according to Keikaku, okay? Don't worry about it. Can we double this guy? We can. We can double him with the hand axe. That's hilarious. See ya. Chonked! I actually don't know if we would have doubled him without the speed level up. This guy's 20 HP. I think Lin just one rounds this guy, right? Lin's hidden ability isn't combat ability, it's giving healthcare to her friends. Yeah, both our Christmas Cavaliers died. Must be because they're bad units. I think we can kill this guy. Ooh, we can Reave him. Or Manicotti them. Uh, the Reaver gives us way better hit. Look at this. Five hit. Got him. This Sigur guy is real bad at tactics? Excuse me. Excuse me, this chapter... Oh, it's not the Vortex of Tactics. We can shoot this guy, but he doesn't die. What if we shoot him twice? Whoa. Matthew can get him, right? Oh, yeah. Let's actually turn on animations for our other units. I don't know if we're actually going to see uh, armor unit animations again. Look at this. Look at this! Just wanted to let the enemy show off, okay? Anybody need healing? Everyone seems to be okay. I guess we'll heal Dorcas. Uh, I guess we won't heal Dorcas. Not scared of that guy. Death comes for you! Get doubled! Five damage, pathetic! The boss is right here. Does this guy get killed? Oh, he gets killed exactly. If we move Matthew, we lose this vision, but we don't need this vision, right? So let's actually just do this. You can see uh, Matthew's attack animations. They're pretty cool. Thief? I think thieves also get bonus XP. That might not be true, though. I think it's true.
definitely gonna have Lynn pick up the kill on the boss. I don't think she can actually reach the boss here. Florino, what do your... Well, I mean, just use the torch, right? Oh. We can reave him. We can reave him. I think we're gonna reave him. They get bonus XP, but the reason is weird. Oh, what is the reason? I think Wrath will just chill there. Uh-oh. Reaved! Reaved! Secrets! Come on, Wallace. No damage! No damage! Look at this. No damage! 19 damage! 19 damage! Why is Natasha in the sick crits damage? Are you feeling sick? This is on an, an unofficial Nintendo PC, yes. I don't actually think Will can reach those brigands, right? No, but he can attack. Oh, he can. So we can do this. Thank you for your contributions, Wallace. Wallace must be a pretty good unit. I don't know if I can trust you, Roger Smash. I think your profile picture is an armored unit. You might be biased. Class power sounds woke? Can't have that in our game. Look at this. Look at this. This is the tactic of champions. Armor knight in front, archer in the back. How do you beat this? Five star tactic. I don't think Dorcas can reach us even with a dance. I mean, we can reave him, right? Secrets? Save the- Ah, oh, no. Ouch. Well, we did crit them. I'll take it. We're just trying to get healer XP. It's not kill boss, so we can actually dance for this guy and, like, attack him. So I think this guy actually has a hand axe. Yeah, he has both. So even if we use the Lance Reaver... Ooh, ouch. He'll switch to the hand axe and then beat us. How's our Manicotti do? Ooh. Our hit rate is terrible. Okay, here's the plan. We Lance Reaver, then he switches to the Hand Axe to attack us, and then we switch to the Manicotti and we kill him. That's what we're gonna do. If he hits us, I think we are still okay. So we can actually attack him here. Bring forth the imposter who calls herself Lindis. That's me. She shall not pass beyond this place. I am Lindis. I am no pretender. I'd ask you to believe me, but your heart and mind seem set. Enough talk! Have at thee! This guy's promoted. Enjoying the return to FE7 Lin mode? I am. Don't attack with the Lance Reaver? Why not? He's gonna switch to his Hand Axe here, but we'll be fine. Then he'll switch to his... Hand Axe, and then we're gonna we'll whip out the Manicotti and we'll kill him. We can move Nils one tile down, right? I think we actually want to do that. I forgot to rescue Nils. Never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. Ooh. 
Ooh, 60 damage. Ouch. All right, now weapon triangle advantage is ours, which means that we can't lose. Well, let's make sure to pick up this free will kill first. Look at this. Good morning, this Pokemon game looks kind of weird. I know, it looks really good, right? Surely we crit? I think we, it's like a 50-50, right? Because we double attack? Yeah, it's basically, wait, we don't even have to crit him. We don't even have to crit him. There's no way, okay, so he has 17 attack. How much defense do we have? It's not zero, right? It's two. So we can't die. But Lin can die, so we're just gonna heal her here. If he hits, we lose? Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. He also won't hit us because he's gonna die. Because we're gonna crit him on turn one. We're gonna crit him on the first attack. Here it goes. Easy. Easy. Goodbye. What did I say? Easy. Uh, go. Go quickly. The Marquess. He knows nothing of this. His life is... There's no illness. Only... Poison. Uh, please. For the Marquess. For all of Kaelin. This guy's talking a lot. I thought we crit him. <laughs> Strength, please. 40% chance. Oh! So we have four base strength. We've leveled up eight times, and we're at eight strength. We had 40% growth. So I don't actually think we're below average, but man, it feels bad. It definitely feels bad. We can get some will kills here. Don't worry, you just need <laughs> more Lin speed for when we lose eight from Soul Kadi. Oh, get him, Will. At least she's ready to promote now. Yeah. What level is Nils the best to grind to? Next map has rain. We don't need Sarah XP, but we do we do need Nils XP. Nils has to get to level 7. Oh my god, that's gonna take forever. That is gonna take forever. Next map is the last one, right? I think we just have to spam end turn. Speed up function? I don't even think that's gonna help, right? The next map has rain and it makes everything slower. Oh, this is awful. Are there any supports we can build on this between our units? So we're gonna do Roy and Lin A. Probably Dorcas and Bartra A. Are we actually gonna use Wrath? Oh, Lin Mode has no supports. Oh, okay. Roy Lamal? What's so funny? His love love doesn't matter. I said Roy Lin A? Yeah. 
We're gonna do Roy and Lynette. What are you talking about? Oh, Roy and Lynette. Good news though, Dorcas has a support with Bartra. Oh, an enemy! Okay, well, extra kill for Will. Yeah, riveting gameplay for sure. How have, how have your days been? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I think this game is fun. This game actually has been very fun so far. I, I hope you agree. Oh, destroyed. What? Five stars? I really enjoy FE7, so do I. Definitely some issues. I think my biggest complaint, well not my biggest complaint, but one of the big complaints is 2x effectiveness. 2x effectiveness really sucks. We're not gonna go all the way to level seven on this map. We're probably gonna do one more level with Nils and then, uh, and then end, I guess. Your day was good, thank you for asking. Well, thank you for answering. With Will, you have a chance of Lynn, Wrath, and Rebecca for support. It's gonna be great. Well, we are using Rebecca, so hey, that's something. It's unfortunate we aren't ranking characters on normal, so a lot of units are just bad if they aren't mounted or a healer or a flyer. Yep. Unfortunately, that is how a lot of Fire Emblem works. I mean, if this was... But there's really no point in ranking things on normal mode, I don't think. Because then everyone's five stars, right? Because everybody's just good enough. You had pizza for dinner. What was on the pizza? Riveting gameplay, by the way. I think I do actually have riveting gameplay. I might have removed it, though. I can get it back, but... Pepperoni and bacon, both? Two? All right, we'll end this map next turn. Big Nils level up. You only need two more levels on Nils. Oh, plus res. Plus res. You love to see it, right? Oh, sorcery. We'll get a bit more XP. Gotta make sure to get that one-star tactics. How are you supposed to know to get Nils to level 7 if you don't look it up? Walt, are you saying? You buy a guide? I guess so. Are you going to Oswin? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think Oswin is actually too good. Spoiler for Oswin's rating. Oswin, one of the best Fire Emblem armor knights in the series, I think. I'm giving Oswin. I mean, you can guess, but... Three stars. One of the best armor knights ever. Three stars. Sad. Four movements. But hey, it's not one star. It's actually a higher rating than Hector. Because Hector's not getting three stars. Riveting gameplay. Gotta make sure to wait after getting danced. That's probably good enough. Seized. What kind of man was General Eagler? When Sane and I first became knights, he was our captain, our teacher. I think he must have known we were telling the truth. That's why he... Yeah, why did he force the fight? Something must have. Lord Lundgren was exerting some hold on him. Eagler was trying to protect someone, a friend perhaps, or family.
Maybe he had something to say, but his leg just hurt him too much. Stalwart silence. May Lundgren never know the peaceful embrace of Mother Earth. You can't say that on YouTube. I care not what others do. I will stop that man. Sigurd, the final battle is approaching. Lindis, please forgive all my nonsense on the battlefield. It was a moment of weakness. Oh, but Sane, you look much better now. Yes, I'm almost as good as new. That's... That's as may be, but your coloring is still awful. What? Your coloring is still awful. Oh. Yeah, he does look pretty bad. Huh? <laughs> you should find some place to rest and heal your wounds. No! You must keep moving forward. Well, we can't just leave you behind like this. I'll be fine. I may not be able to defend you, but I can still ride. I'm sorry that I won't be any help in combat. For all your jests, you truly are a knight, aren't you? <laughs> My ears! Please, stop. I suppose you must continue, then. But you mustn't overexert yourself. If your injury worsens, I will force you to rest. Well spoken, milady. I abide by your decisions. He can ride. Uh-oh. Evil music! How are you feeling today, my dear brother? Lundgren. You fiend! Your granddaughter is dead by now. And soon you will join her. Lindis, why did this happen? I... I only wanted to see her once. Have you lost all hope? Has your life lost all meaning? Then hurry up and die, you miserable old daughter. You and your precious granddaughter are in my way. I curse your name. I despise you, my worthless wretch of a brother. What a fiend. We can't allow Lundgren to win. Chapter 10, The Distant Plains. General Eagler has been defeated. Lynn and her band draw ever nearer to Castle Kalin. Within the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy, Lundgren, awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. I think we can do it. Nils is not level 7 yet. We gotta get him to level 7 on this map. Chapter, te chapter 10, The Distant Plains. Oh, we like this song. Lady Lindis, you should be able to see Castle Kaelin once we pass these mountains. Grandfather, I'll be with you soon. Everything rests on this next battle. Lundgren will not be receiving the reinforcements he expected. He'll move against us with everything he has soon. Let him come. Let them all come. I will not be turned away. I will see my grandfather. I've come too far to let anyone stand in my way. This is it, Sigurd. This is our final test. My friends, for one last time, lend me your strength. Oh. Check map. Anything to steal? Doesn't look like it. No. Gotta get these villages. Lead Matthew? Is there a fog? There's a snag here. Although I don't think that really does anything. So just this village to visit. The snag swap challenge? Oh no, just for, for the laughs? Okay. The house has an energy ring for Dorcas. We're giving that to Lynn for sure. Lynn definitely needs it. She needs it for sure. 
Alright, formation. Nil's near the front, I think. There's no turn limit or anything. Do you think it'll rain? I wonder. I don't think we need Wallace. I don't think we need Urk. I think we need Lucius. This is probably fine. You have 15 heal uses left. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah, it would be a shame if it rained. Player phase. Alright, let's see. I think we can get uh, Dorcas into that guy's range, right? He can go to the forest. Perfect. Dorcas in the forest with the hand axe. Yes. Yes! What a terrible night to have a curse. There's Will. Wow, Wrath has really good movement. We can drop Will so We can maybe drop Lynn somewhere. This mountain. We can drop Lynn on that mountain next turn, I think. Maybe not next turn. And she'll be okay there, I guess. There's like no enemies. Mounted unit has good movement. Local Sigurd is not- Look at this! Look at this! Got him! Oh, weapon level increased! How's this? Oh, he's in the forest though. Oh, we have 62 hit. That's not good. Fouls. Oh! <laughs> nice try! Are we sure that Dorcas is a one-star unit? Wow. Good thing we got that plus one speed. Those clouds look bad. It's gonna rain soon. Let's go, Sigurd. We should press on while we're still able. I got an iron axe with your name on it. Pa oh, no, wait. We wanna counter this guy, right? How many hand axe charges? We still have seven. We'll put him in range on purpose. Take this! Ah! Could get a Dorcas level up. Can we actually put... We can. Gotta make sure we don't actually get hit by that guy. I mean, this is fine, right? He can go onto the mountain. Oh, and that guy can shoot. Florina. Let's actually just do this. Rain is a great addition to the series. I can't wait to see it in FE8. This is one of the gimmicks I'm glad they dropped. Rain is awful. $2 rage from the Boonsman. Thank you for the... Graphic that I can't find. A mm. microtransaction. New scene idea, Curse of Bows featuring Walt. Maybe like, take a bow or something. <laughs> we can do something about bows. I mean, bows are pretty terrible, but. Let's get this archer into the fray. This is probably fine. I guess we'll move Sarah forward. Is anybody even injured? I, I don't think so. Oh, this guy's on a mountain. It's gonna be really hard to- Oh, we got the Manicotti though. Oh, actually we got hit. Oh! Wow, are we sure this is one star? Sick crits. 
Our archer is so much better. Oh, that's annoying. I think we can just use our Manikati here because we get a fresh Manikati uh, when she rejoins us. Uh oh. What a great mechanic. Alright, let's see. Will is level 8, Dorks is level 10. Will should probably take this, right? Archer v. Archer. Almost. <laughs> I love rain. Oh. You're here to fight Lundgren, aren't you? Do you have enough weapons? Lundgren's no ordinary knight. He's a general. Iron weapons lack the edge to penetrate his armor. If you need something, visit my father's armory. You should go to the shop next to his, too. They've many powerful weapons and items you can use against Lundgren. Head south and cross the river, you'll see them. Lundgren's a tricky one, he's destroyed the bridge! There's an old snag next to the river though. If you knocked it over, you should be able to cross. Travel well, you fight for all of us. I think it's just an ad for his dad's shop. Yeah, exactly, is this paid advertising? You can't beat Lundgren like that! But if you buy something from my dad's shop, you might be able to. How many many Kata uses do we still have? We still have 26. Yeah, we can totally style on this dude. Secrets? Secrets? That's fine. Archer's not even worth it. Yeah, we have to get Wrath killed. So things to do on this level, get Wrath killed, and get Nils to level 6. Man, look at this, look at this value. I think this is level six. Yeah, so we need one more level. He'll probably get that naturally, because that, that's only ten more turns. I, I guess Florina can just go to this village. Wow, the rain even slows her down. That's actually crazy. I didn't expect that. Do we really need Wrath dead when we could have trained him? I mean, if we... It's like free XP to kill him. Nice dodge, Lin. Secrets? Mm. Look, the clouds are breaking. The rain should stop soon. Sponsored by Cast Form. I guess she can pick up Sarah. Is sick crits like critical sickness or something? Do you mean what the Japanese says? We need Cloud9? Cloud9's a really good ability, it's just on terrible Pokemon. Dorcas can literally pick up Wrath. <laughs> He's holding the entire horse! He's so strong. We can have this guy attack us, I think. We'll just have the Manicotti equipped. Come on! Six hit! Secrets? Got him. Secrets. Uh, it literally says sick crits, as in, like, ill crits. You wouldn't say this in real Japanese, of course. We are moving. We're just gonna drop this horse here, don't mind me. <laughs> Nils is really far behind. We maybe should have, uh, rescued Nils and not Sarah. Feeling sick? That is why Natasha's there. Wow, there's like no enemies. Why are there so few enemies on this map? We could get a will level up. Uh oh. 
What? What was that? That's not fair. <laughs> At least she didn't die. I've got a good feeling about this. Speed three. Speed seven. Get out of here, nerd! <laughs> Double dorked! <laughs> the dancer value. Sarah, unfortunately, cannot heal herself. Unless she uses a Volnary. I guess that works. And, and items don't carry over, so we may as well use this now, right? Cheers. Refreshed. We definitely want to kill this guy. And we do have the Manicotti, so we can do that pretty easily. Oh. The Reaver's even better, right? Secrets? Please, strength. Speed. What is this? I think our Lin is below average. Can we pick up Wrath? I think we can. Alright, let's put his horse on our horse. Uh oh. Good thing we healed. Oh! Time to reeve. Does Lundgren have only lances? Yeah, only lances. Ooh, we only have three lance reaver uses left. I'm in danger. Don't worry. There is a way to heal the healer. Are we subbing to Lundgren's only lances? I'd rather sub to Lin's only swords. Alright, Will. You finally made it here, have you? Such a long way. We're all behind Lady Lindis, all of us. Here, take this. Use in your battle against Lundgren, please. It's an energy ring. It'll increase your strength and magic power a bit. There are lots of items that augment your abilities. They are, these are hard to come by, so think carefully before you use them. Of course, not using them at all would be a terrible waste as well, right? I would describe not using it at all as a pitfall. Items like this might vanish once you've used them. Bear that in mind and use them wisely. May. I mean, they 100% will, but 
We're giving that to Lin for sure. There are many criticisms we can have of Dorcas, but low strength is not one of them, so Dorcas doesn't need it. Who did we rescue? Oh, Wrath, right. The Dancer value. We definitely should have gotten Nils up to the front. Only swords didn't know you swung that way. I know how to swing swords. Good thing we healed her. Okay, we're fine. 433 microtransaction from Prometheus. Thank you. Mm. For the microtransaction. One dollar for every strength, your growth rate has been 33.33. So we are below average, because although Lin's strength growth is not very good, it is 40%. So we are actually getting unlucky here. Will has the ring, right? The dancer value. I'm tired of Fire Emblem characters forcing sword fighting on every main character. Actually true. I actually agree with you, yes. Alright, I don't actually want to use our Lance Reaver here. Secrets? Well done. Secrets. I want a Mage Lord? Yeah, I'm sure a Mage Lord would be really good. Oh, that's not Micaiah, okay. So. <laughs> Mickey is your Mage Lord. Why would you say Mickey is your Mage Lord and then not use Mage Dorcas? Come on. <laughs> I'm revoking your internship. We're trying to get Wrath killed here. The reason why we're getting Wrath killed is because then we get base Hector Hard Mode Wrath, who's actually better. Oh no! Wrath is in danger. Oh no! This rain won't last long. I guess just one turn. Ah, oh, what a great mechanic. Ah, oh, awful. The value. We're actually- oh, we have to get to level 7. So we're actually not level 7 yet. How far do these guys reach? <laughs> oh, I need healing! I think this is fine. We just end now. We don't have to buy anything because we don't, like, gain anything. Oh no, we're in danger! I hope Wrath dodges this next hit. Oh, good, uh, good dodge, Wrath. Secrets? Well, that one doesn't actually do anything, but I'll take it. And I guess I did sneeze. 11 11. It is yellow, so 11 11. If I can find it. Macro transaction from Prometheus. Now, 8 strength might seem bad, however, not playing Lin mode gives you a level 4 Lin with 5 strength. Her base strength is 4, so it could be worse. That's true, it could be worse. We also don't have 8 strength.
I guess we'll shoot this tree. We have 10 strength. No problem. You had eight strength without the ring, which should have gone through your boy Darkus. Dorcas? Dorcas doesn't need the ring, okay? Dorcas is fine. The dancer value. That should be fun. Oh no, that was a close call. No! A warrior's death. Ah! Uh, wrath must withdraw. But he paid us 5,000 gold! I guess maybe he had another stash of money away. Somewhere, so he can afford to He can afford to retreat here. There we go. Tactical retreat. No, no, it's because he paid us the money, right? So he doesn't have money. Which means he can't afford to fall here. So he has to retreat. There we go. Sorry, I messed up. Bye, Wrath. That was on purpose. Can we get one extra move with nails? We can't. Oh, I wish we had shove in this game. I think with one extra shot? Will actually levels up. Can we get strength and speed, please? One or the other. I'll take both. I'll take neither. I think our will is actually below average. That's a pretty scary sentence, right? Our will is below average. Level 9 with 8 strength and 7 speed. What? I think we got Dorcas. Ah! Please speed. Please speed. Okay, Dorcas stole his speed. And we got plus one res. Foul sorceries. Yeah, our strength is not that great, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, how many uses of Mankati do we have? We have 18. We're totally fine. Wow. Ooh. Doesn't actually do anything though. All right, we have to get, uh, we can't forget to get uh, nails to level seven. takes at least two more turns. This guy, I don't think he moves, but he does have two range, so you gotta be a bit careful. I don't think we need to go shopping or anything. Yeah, Garcia is definitely better than Dorcas. I'd give Garcia, like, I don't know, three stars? He's fine. I think, I think Garcia is unironically overhated and 
underrated. I say as I give him three stars. It sees. Okay, it sees, so we can actually kill him. Because we can still get XP on Nils afterwards. How do we do here? Ugh. Ooh, 23 damage, but that's with the Silver Lance. Ooh, reaving him is really good. And he is only lances, so we'll actually do this. And we're not going to attack, we're just going to wait. At the risk of tripping the hotline, which GBA Fire Emblem game, game is your favorite? Hmm. Well, when you take risks, sometimes they don't pay off, right? Which Fire Emblem game on the GBA is my favorite? That's a good question. Hello, and thank you for calling the Automated Imported Cheese Content Pipeline. Your inquiry is important to us. For frequently asked Fire Emblem questions, press 8. Please hold while we connect you with a representative. This call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thank you for your patience. The answer to your inquiry is... For first-time Fire Emblem players, I recommend Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones for the Game Boy Advance. It's incredibly easy, and you have some freedom, but not too much freedom. <laughs> my favorite Fire Emblem game is Echoes, my favorite character is Kanas, and my favorite class is the Swordmaster. Thank you, and we look forward to any future inquiries. Does that answer your question? It doesn't, because I just remembered that I didn't actually... My answer was Echoes, right? Which doesn't actually answer your question. So my answer would actually be... Probably... Fire Emblem 8. The Sacred Stones! I like the flexibility you get from the promotion. Choices. But I also really like FE6. It probably shouldn't have tripped the hotline, you're right. That was my mistake. It was user error, please forgive me. I'm delirious from using Dorcas for eight hours, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's get him. I'm sure we get unique dialogue here. Yeah. Oh, we get the big boss dialogue! So you're the girl claiming kinship with my brother. You'll play this farce to the end, won't you, Lundgren? The royal house of Kaelin has no need of a Sakaian mongrel. Oh! What? Sakaian mongrel. How dare you! Cool music, though. I'm looking for it. Cool music for... If you want something done right, leave it to a human. Racial tensions. Lundgren. I'm starting to hate that man. I definitely don't hate... This 2222... We need Macro transaction from Prometheus. Dorcas? More like dork ass, am I right? <laughs> no one has ever made this joke before. I mean, we did do... We did say that when we first met Dorcas. And I guess the emote is literally called dork ass, but... I know you are joking with that. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'll put an end to this foolishness here and now. Can we get a vengeful crit? I think our crit rate is only five. To further your own black ambitions. Uh, okay. If you want something I done right, I guess the right, racial tensions are coming from both sides. <laughs> You've harmed my grandfather in the very land you ought to serve. 
I have neither pity nor mercy for for you. We'll get no sympathy from her. Lundgren, pre prepare yourself! Who did you steal those lines from, Lin? Who do you think you are? A two-star unit? I guess she's just cosplaying. Well, <laughs> that's all he has to say. Oh. Five damage. This is after the energy ring, by the way. <laughs> Ike Slander? Good thing Ike's in two games. Can Dorcas actually hand axe him? For two damage. I mean, this is free, right? This is my realm, and you've entered without my permission. You will not leave these lands alive. Good effort, Dorcas. Level 7 nils! I should be clear, uh, with this two-star Ike rating, this is Fire Emblem 9 Ike. Fire Emblem 10 Ike is five stars. <laughs> Get him, Dorcas. Two damage. Oh, that's a lot of XP. Oh, that's a lot of XP. There's an internal war within me. Do we save Scum a speed level up for Dorcas? I mean, like, Dorcas is so bad. Yes, no. That'll be his reward. We'll, we'll, we'll do one, okay? We'll do one. We won't go too crazy. Oh, no, we kind of want a pure Dorcas, though. Yeah, we should have a pure Dorcas. We won't... Okay, we'll do this. We'll go, like, in between. We'll, we'll, we'll boss abuse for a level up, but we won't save scum for... A speed level up. I think that's fair. Half breed Dorcas. Hey, don't don't say things like that in my chat. Take this. FE10 Ike is medium. A lot of people use his bonuses for capping stats in FE9. Even non-transfer Ike is really strong. FE10 Ike is no joke. This also does do something. This makes it so that he's going to have his javelin equipped when we attack him with Lin. This. Do we get any XP for de dealing no damage? I don't think so. So only Dorcas could do this. Will is nowhere close to leveling up. Just have Dorcas kill with the hammer? Do we do a Dorcas kill steal? I don't think so. I think Lin has to get the kill. Like, thematically, it really should be Lin with the kill. Ooh, good thing we healed Nils. By the way, we've been using Sarah this entire time, right? A fair amount, I would say. We haven't been, like, abusing to get Sarah level ups, but whenever we've needed healing, we've used Sarah to heal. Base level? <laughs> we have not leveled up once! This 
guy's fighting back. He knows. He's threatened by Dorcas. Ah, we're fine. Ouch. Uh, do we have enough hand axe charges? I actually don't think we do. Good thing we've got a hand axe delivery boy. Unfortunately, no supports, so... We don't actually do anything by doing all this, but we are gonna get one last Dorcas level. $5 micro action from Vanilla Physics. Miss most of the stream, but donating for the fun I'll have watching later. Also, do you like Dragon Quest? Thank you for the... Generous microtransaction. I am gonna say I don't particularly like Dragon Quest. I played one, uh, like the most recent one on the Switch. It was alright, but it does feel very outdated. I'm not a huge fan, although it had a really good translation. There's a thief character... And then he has a skill that increases his evasion called Dodgy Character. That's really funny. <laughs> we have him break his javelin on Dorcas. We could. We could. <laughs> I don't think that's worth it, though. So what's Dorcas' res stat at right now? It is... I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. We have A in axes. I think we have to hit him one more time. Yeah, one more time. Oh, six move! Here's a hand axe. Got a heal. I'm gonna hop off for the evening. Good night! Thanks for joining! I'll see you next week! How many streams to finish Hector hard mode? Probably three is what I'm thinking. Uh, we actually don't have to attack him, right? If we get the level up, we can then attack with Lin. Please oh, okay, we, we missed anyone. Probably four, maybe five. Hector hard mode is pretty long. Two if we're fast with Hector hard. We'll start with three. I think we can finish in three. Because they're probably going to be like eight or so hours-ish. Oh, but we also are going to try and do all the Guidance, so... Might be a bit longer. Alright. Hit him and then get the level up? Alright, what do we get? Please speed or strength. At least one of them. Oh my god. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. That's so bad. We're level 12. These stats are pathetic. What's our base strength? Our strength growth has been horrible. Oh. It all averages out in the end, right? We'll be okay. We'll be okay.
I think we're actually ahead of the curve on speed though, right? Because we got- no, we're exactly on average for speed. Because we got two. We're well behind for strength. Oh. 33-33. We Macro transaction gold. from Prometheus. So up 11-11 from last time. Although the message is the same. Dorcas! More like dork ass, am I right? No one has ever made this joke before. You are the first one ever to think of it. God, Dorcas is terrible. Alright, this is it for Lundgren. It's because Lynn siphoned his. Lynn siphoned his strength level up, right? Is it crit? Okay, we missed. We're gonna get a strength level up on Lin, and it'll all be worth it. Good dodge, sick crit. Stylish. That's what you get for being a racist. That annoying little girl. Nothing but a savage. From Sakai. If you want something done right, leave it to a human. That's what you get. The Kalen throne should be mine. Racism never wins. That's why we're gonna get a good level up. Nothing but a savage from Sakai. <laughs> We've won, I guess. At last, I can see my grandfather. <laughs> You're Lady Lindis, are you not? Who are you? I am Reesman, the Chancellor of the Kalen Royal Family. I had received word from Kent and Sane when you first met. But then Lundgren discovered the message and imprisoned me! It's my great pleasure to welcome you to your true home. Thank you, may I see my grandfather now? Yes, of course. Do not be shocked by what you see. But do be shocked by this. Hmm. A bolt of brilliance! Shocking revelation. Lundgren has been poisoning the Marquess's meals for some time. His body has been ravaged. He's been bedridden for months. Wow, they actually had a door opening sound. Who is there? I said no visitors. Uh, I will see no one. Stalwart silence. What are you doing? Leave me to die. Well, excuse me, princess. You're pardoned. Uh, excuse me. My name is... I'm Lindis. Is that... Uh, my father's name was Hassar, chieftain of the Lorca. My mother was... Madeline. I was raised on the plains. Stalwart silence. 
Could it be? Come here. Let me see your face. Yes. Eight strength. There's no mistaking it. There is no doubt. You're definitely Lin. <laughs> Eight strength. You are Madeline's true-born child. And the last thing you saw before he died was a Lin with below average strength. He didn't deserve this. Grandfather! <laughs> Lundgren told me that my granddaughter had died, but the truth was far worse. She had below average level ups and was a one star unit. My heir and you too. He told me you were dead. Thank you. Thank you for living. Uh, I am. <laughs> Blessed. Mother and father were slain last year by brigands. I, I was the only survivor. I lived on, but... Silly cheese, he survives? How could he survive? He's been poisoned for months. Are you saying that he's so happy to see his long-lost granddaughter that he actually purges the poison? That's ridiculous. And that would be so contrived. They, they wouldn't do that. Lindus, please forgive a prideful old man. If I had but accepted your parents' love, there would have been no bandits. We would have lived here together in perfect peace. Grandfather, my parents, my tribe, our life was one of love and peace. The end was tragic, but up until the attack, we were truly happy. Truly? Madeline had a life of happiness? Knowing that gives me so much joy. Thank you, Lindis. I can die in peace now. No! Grandfather, you mustn't say that! There is no avoiding it, Lindis. I've taken too much poison for far too long. The damage increased by 6% a turn. It's too late. Be, ba be brave, Grandfather! Attack twice! You will recover! Believe me! On the plains, we say that illness fails in the face of a strong heart. I'm with you now. You mustn't! Give up! We might be able, it's possible. We could pay to win with this 307 microtransaction. Mm. Thank you. Down to a 30.7% growth on Lin. Oh. You were with me? Yes. We have so much to talk about, walks to take, music to listen to. There's so much I want to do with you, so much lost time we can recover. That does sound nice. You know, I, I wasn't too serious about surviving, but now that I hear that we can go on walks and listen to music, I think I won't die. <laughs> wow. It's so easy! Are you dying from poison or old age? Don't. Just use... Giga Refresh! We've got the antitoxin right here. Cheers. Refreshed, he might survive. And once you're well, I'll take you to the plains. I'll show you the endless sky, the oceans of grass. Oh, I don't want to see that. I want you to know the lands my mother loved so much. The lands Madeline loved. You're right. I still have quite a bit of living to do. You can do it, Grandfather. Lindis. Lady Lindis, 
Do you honestly plan on remaining here? Tell me truly. Yes, until my grandfather is well. He definitely won't die now that we said that he won't. I can't leave him now. I won't. The physician sa says that Lord Hausen looks like a new man. It's like he was never ill. Wow, that's really contrived, huh? I can't believe they did that. And it's all thanks to you, milady. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's the only family I have left. I want him to have a long life. Well, I guess Grandpa's saved. <laughs> Lady Lindis. What is it, Florina? I've been taken into service by House Kalen. From here on, Lynn. I mean, Lady Lindis. We'll always, or we'll be together always. Really? Oh, that pleases me so, but please don't call me Lady Lindis. For you, I'm still just Lynn. My Pegasus and I fly for your house now. I am your servant. There are rules to follow. Florina, I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's more important than how I address you. Please. I suppose I'll just have to get used to it, right? Very well, I understand. Oh, thank you. I do love you, Lynn. I'll- oops, I mean, Lady Lindis. Alright. Well, you can touch me, but only because you are. Five stars. <laughs> oh, Florina. Lady Lindis, I've decided to stay too. Okay, not this guy, though. Will, weren't you planning on returning home? Shouldn't you be leaving, Will? Well, I was, but I've- Grown quite fond of Lindus's legions, you know. I couldn't possibly leave everyone behind. This guy, the attitude, he thinks he's gonna be leaving people behind. It's a wonder we haven't left you behind, Will. <laughs> One star. <laughs> I'll send word to my family regarding my decision. I'm sure they'll be glad to hear it. No, oh, pleased to have you, Will. You're too nice, Lin. <laughs> Sigurd, you're leaving, aren't you? No, I'm not asking you to stay. It's just... I'll miss you. When I found you unconscious on the plains, I had no idea we'd be together for so long. These past... 8 hours and 34 minutes. You've helped us so much, and I'm sure you've learned all you can from us. You'll do just fine on your own. I have the utmost faith that you will be a master tactician. Sigurd! That's from someone who's seen you at work. Well then, take care. I... I hope I see you again. I'm sure that I will someday. Maybe next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, JST. You only got three of us terribly wounded, not bad. Kent, Knight of Lycia. Chapter 8, Vortex of Strategy. Though grievously wounded in battle, Kent has not neglected his duty. He has remained at Lynn's side and has seen her safety to Kaelin. Sane, Knight of Lycia. Chapter 9, A Grim Reunion. Though grievously wounded in battle, uh, Sane has never neglected his duty. He has remained at Lynn's side and has seen her safely to Kaelin. Florina, Pegasus Knight of Ilya. Three battles, zero one. Zero lost. Florina has arranged to stay in Kaelin. She spends her every waking hour in rigorous training, hoping to become invaluable to Lynn. Her fear of men has lessened, but only slightly. Will Archer of Foray, 37 wins. With his cheery outlook and his happy go likely demeanor, Will has become quite dear to Marcus Kaelin's household. Kent is teaching his manners, befitting a sworn man of Castle Kaelin. Dorcas, fighter of Burn, 40 wins! Once Lynn's true heritage is recognized in Kaelin, Dorcas returns to his home in Burn. There he cares for his wife and makes a good living as a mercenary, fighting the local bandits. Sarah, cleric of Austria. It's Dorcas! Where was this art? Ultimately, Urk succeeds in seeing Sarah safely to Ostia. While her behavior is irritating at best, she is sorely missed. Her acerbic tongue has become legendary. Urk, the wandering mage. His contract with Sarah complete. Urk set off for Aturia. His time as a mercenary is just part of his training, and he is glad to see it end. He has since returned to his mentor. Wrath, a Sakaean nomad. Chapter 10, The Distant Plans. He suffers an injury in battle and departs from the company. Okay, bye, Wrath. <laughs> Matthew, the enigmatic thief. Matthew vanishes after the final battle where his whereabouts remain a mystery. Ooh, I wonder if we'll see him again soon. Nils, the mysterious musician, level 7. Nils and his sister Ninian take their leave of Castle Kaelin after a few days. He may well be traveling the land, mastering his musical skills somewhere. Lucius, the traveling monk. Lucius studies in Kaelin, studies in Kaelin for a time, but he departs after receiving summons to another land. He has since been seen traveling with a hard-eyed mercenary. Ooh, who could that be? 
Wallace, the Kalen general, one win! For Wallace, struggle, Lin's struggle only whets his appetite for battle. He sets off in search of a cause worthy of his blade. He lacks any sense of direction, so maybe years before he returns. He literally cannot use swords. Sigurd, the tactician! Sigurd leaves Lin to continue his training. He plans on traveling through Lycia. Lin refuses to say goodbye, believing in her heart that she will see him again. Lin, the sword fighter from Sakai. 54 wins! One loss, it counts resets. Lin now lives with her grandfather as Lady Lindis of Castle Kaelin. Under her loving care, Lord Hausen recovers and uh On clear, dry nights, Lin can be seen high atop a hill near the castle. Perhaps she is remembering the home of her youth. The Plains of Sake. How'd she get a horse? Oh, hey, it's Roy. Where's the music? It's a pretty sudden ending, right? Well, we're not going to be playing uh, Roy mode. We are going to be playing... Hector mode. We actually cannot. Oh, we can pick. We can pick hard. I actually can't press B. Ah. Here ends Lin's story. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Chapter 11 Another Journey. Would you like to continue playing? Here I will say, no. As of chapter 11, Roy becomes the story's main character. Did I not pick Hector? Sigurd's role will be to act as tactician, aiding his group. Help Roy to fulfill the chapter goals and fight his way to the end of the game. You'll start your first campaign with Roy, then meet his friend Hector in chapter 12. And who knows? You might even meet Lin again. If any of these three is defeated, your game will be over. Is it not if any of these three are defeated? The game will continue if any other allied units are defeated. However, a defeated unit can never take part in combat again, so be careful! This is Hector, right? Hang on. That is correct. Any is the noun. Okay, you're right. Uh, let me make sure. I should have the save data for this. It should be okay. Save data should be here, but... Just in case I am going to save state. Just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, it should be Hector mode. One year later. Ostia's good. A month has passed since word came of Marques Ferre's disappearance. Rumors and speculation run rampant throughout Lycia. The head of House Ostia, Lord Uther, takes no apparent interest. Oh yeah, the Marques's younger brother is considered odd by the- yeah, it's fine. We do actually get Hector, it's just very weird how it said that it was Elliwood. He and Marques Ferre's son, Roy, are fast friends. Neither of them have good speed, so I wouldn't say either of them are fast. A hot-blooded youth, he cannot ignore his friend's plight. Marques Ostia's younger brother, Hector. He would one day be a courageous general. Uh-oh. A steel warrior to be feared. He is neither a general nor a warrior. This is just a lie. The path he chooses will test him 
to the limits of his strength. Probably a good place to end, right? He is a general FE6, that's true. I wonder what happens to an FE6. He'll be fine. All right. I think that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed Lin Hard Mode and the uh, unit reviews. They are going to be turned into a premium at some point eventually, but I am behind on all the editing, so it is going to take a while. Not even nine hours. Easy game, right? Thank you guys for joining. No, I can't jerk, because um, the window for jerking has already closed today. It is almost 4 p.m. here, and uh, 2.30 on Monday is the end of jerking. Finally streamed a good game. I'm more of an FE9 guy myself. I like FE9 as well. The main character of that is good, right? Uh-oh. Hope to see you next time. When uh, we will begin Hector Hard Mode, and hopefully like three days in a row, complete it. We are going to try and do all of the guidance, but we also are going to be using the worst units, so... Might take a little longer than three streams. Must be refreshing to play games you like on stream? Yeah, it is definitely very, very... I gotta find it. I think literally all of our units that we actually trained are below average. That's a big problem. But I guess we'll deal with it next time. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Hope to see you next time. Got a lot of sword units, right? Watch out. Those swords are sharp. Livestream severed. I'll see you next time.